get ready to make the season brighter than ever and craft your Christmas live with Sara. Join us for the most fabulous and festive night out as Sara takes to the stage to show you how to turn your home into a winter wonderland. Cozy, bright and full of magic, Christmas is Sara's favourite season and she's got so many fantastic tips, money-saving tricks and creative ideas to bring your handmade Christmas to life. Find out how to reuse pieces from around the home and craft with your family to light up the festive season with joy and sparkle. From beautiful baubles and surprises to hang on the tree to the cutest cards for friends and family. Give a little more with your gift wrapping, craft keepsakes to cherish and make your Christmas table look extra special. We'll be touring 13 theatres up and down the UK from the 19th of November till the 11th of December. Tickets start from just £30 with VIP packages also available. You're all invited to craft your Christmas, so head over to Ticketmaster to book your seat today. You know we're really pleased we're getting more and more brand new suppliers here at Hobby Maker. We'll wait until you hear the latest. Cricket is joining us at Hobby Maker. And we've got exclusive deals just for us at Hobby Maker featuring the Joy and the Maker 3. And if the stock sells out, which it probably will, you won't see it again until next year. So make sure you join us this Thursday for the exclusive exciting launch of Cricket on Hobby Maker. You're an honorary witch for the, for the two oh, next two hours. Thank you. I'm very excited because today is my first day with these two lovely ladies. The lovely might, be your, might be your last. You no, might never won't. want to work with us again. You know I love this lady <laughs> and I love it. Has a what? <laughs> That's a good start. She reminds you of another one. <laughs> I'm clumsy. It's I knocked right. some of the dim I, I knocked it over, Alex. I'm so sorry. We'll forgive you. Yeah. I will fix it though. Sorry, girls. I'm just worried right. about your collection as well. I've an eye on it for doom like yeah. that, didn't I? Yeah, because I think you want them to fall into your bag. She knows me too well. <laughs> I I resemble that remark. You do. <laughs> uh, can I just say, I walked in today, right? This lovely lady here, lovely Linda. I walked in. And the girls, do you want to come in, Hells? Are you? I feel like you, you're all you're scrunched out the way there, Hells. So I came in today. Straight away, Linda saw my lovely little pooch, and she said, "Can she have a treat?" And she bought her a chewing. You're so lovely. I know, but I'm a dog. people who know me know that you're a I doggy just girl. love my dogs, especially my Lexi. It's gorgeous. Sunshine in a fur coat. And, oh. I, and I think Ivy's exactly the same. Exactly the same. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, thank She's you. So sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, before we start, in case anybody, because I've not worked with these girls before, the collections are phenomenal, brilliantly priced. And what you can do with what we've got for you today is, is untold amounts of crafting. You're going to be in your element. But how did, bearing in mind I'm now an honorary member, and I'd like to say thank you very much. <laughs> You're very privileged. How did Crafty Witches come about? How, how did it, who started it? Why the name? Oh, guilty as charged. I thought it might um, be you, Linda. <laughs> well, I, I retired, and this is on the record. I retired. I um, unofficially retired on July the 2nd, officially retired on August the 13th after 18 years. 18 years of? On shopping telly. Right, OK. Because um, I am a pensioner. As many oh, people she know. She does not look like I need your I need your face cream. Seriously. <laughs> Take after me, ma'am. Um, <laughs> and um I, I fully intended just to, you know, drift off into the distance mm. and enjoy my time hanging my washing on the line yeah, and what and just have relaxing you. And yeah, reading books and spas, yeah. walking the dark, cuddles. And then one of the girls who worked with me in the other company um said that she want could I try and find us some work because she wasn't very happy. So I asked people around, and it's tough these at the moment, it's, isn't it? It is for a lot so of people. So then she Absolutely. came back and said, "Linda, why don't you set? Why don't we set up in business together?" So this other lady is Becky Seddon, oh, okay. who is well known in the industry as a designer. I, yep. 
So I said, oh, let me think about it. So, you know, I was quite enjoying yeah, being making, retired. It's a big deal to actually make the decision yep. to retire. It's a big deal. So, um, well, especially after working like seven days a week. Yeah. And, and it's tough not having shopping hold, television, yeah. it can be, can't it? It was. Yeah. And um, I thought about it and I thought, well, what can we do that I don't have to send parcels out and risk... Yeah. Risk what little pension I've got and everything, you know? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. So, digital downloads, my, down, CD ROMs, digital crafting is my. Favorite. You were at the forefront, I've heard about this. That's what I have been demonstrating, standing on my soapbox. Um, you were ahead of the game, weren't well, you? We were. I worked with this lady who brought the very first CD ROM to, to crafting. And it just went on from there. That's a game changer. Totally so revolutionary, it, that was. It's always been at the heart of my crafting. Yeah. So I said to Becky, well, why don't we do digital downloads? And we were just going to have a website. And then we saw the f I saw the first collection we did. And I said, you know what? This is good enough to go on shopping telly. And... Um, I came here and approached Andy, right. who I've worked with for he's, yeah, nearly he's 19 years. Yeah, he's raved about years. you before the show. Yeah. And um, Hells hello, hello. worked hello. with me on another channel, mm -hmm. and she said, well, can I come I'm with game. you? So, you know, somebody has to employ you. Well, oh, I don't yeah. employ you, but, <laughs> she had, you know, I, I, I felt sorry for it's her. It's nice to be loved, isn't it, Hells? It is. <laughs> well, we're known as Chappers and Sherry Cam. Yeah. We're like a double act. We love each other, really. You can tell. Yeah, yeah but you've got that relationship where you know each other so well, you can have a bit of balance. Well, actually, I'll let you into a secret. I'm wearing her hand-me-down. <laughs> she told me this. I said, you girls weight. look amazing. Right, she's lost weight, and I've lost a bit, so she's given me this top because oh, she couldn't I'll fit in it what. anymore. So now I'm wearing her top. Can I just say, you look amazing. Thank you very You much. both look amazing. And don't they look gorgeous? Can we just say, lads, can we just say, though, girls look beautiful, very glitzy. I said, next time I know I'm on with these girls, I'm going glitz. I'm going full on glitz. So, so uh, then the, we decided what we would do. And then it was, what do we call ourselves? Yeah. Well, many years ago, when my niece and nephew were very small, they're in their 30s now, out of the mouth of babes, we were sat around the kitchen table in my mum's kitchen. Yeah. And uh, there was my sister, my brother-in-law, my nephew, Matthew, my niece, Laura, yeah. my mum and I. And little Laura, who was about six at the time, piped up, Auntie Linda? I said, yes. She says, my daddy calls you and Nana the Wicked Witches of the North. Oh. To which my brother-in-law nearly dropped, choked it, on his food. Yes, <laughs> he did. I and, think it's a compliment. And, well, I took it as a compliment. Good. So I'm known as the, as the Wicked Witch of the North <laughs> in the family. So the Wicked Witches, this is Hubble Bubble. Right, like this it. This is Hubble Bubble. Who looks as though she's been on the gin. <laughs> and she probably has. You do, you do gin, <laughs> don't you? Occasionally. I don't yeah. drink, yeah. I don't drink gin. Oh, oh, I'm red wine. Oh. Then we've got Toil, who yeah. is Becky, yeah. who's at home. She does all the design, but she's got two young children, Nola right. and Bertie. So oh, she's lovely. she stays Great at names. home. And who's the who's the witch on the top? Well, podium? this is me, and, and of course I'm trouble. You're trouble. You've got to be trouble. And, and it's be just, trouble. I mean, we've only been in business for eight weeks. It seems like a, a Are like you serious? Time. Honestly, yes. Eight weeks? Yeah. That's how long you've been going yeah. on the new, under the new name? Yeah. And you come up with this collection already? Oh, we've, you know this, your this, stuff. This, this is our, th is it our third, second, third, fourth, fourth In that show. You, well, you, that, then that, that just well, we shows just the go, experience like you've that, got. You it just, magic it, a magic wand. But you say that as well, but then equally, that's a magic wand that's coming off the back of 18 years of absolute hard graft and knowing your stuff. Well, so, uh, we'd like to think we know what crafters want. Yeah, you can tell. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. I've come in and said, oh, you've got gnomes, you've got birds, I'm bird mad, and your collection is just absolutely gorgeous. Now then, we'll talk you through how it works. Now, this collection that we've got today is brand new, and there's five yes. different parts to the collection, yeah. isn't there? Anybody who goes on our website, yeah. you've not seen these collections before. So what is your website, first of all? Right, www.thecraftywitches.co.uk. The Crafty Witches. I came in and said Crazy Witches. They went, well, with that as well, we'll answer to anything. <laughs> well, I met you last week, and I was like, I just assumed it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's crafty. I said, I'm sorry. That, <laughs> Yeah, so the craftywitches.co.uk. Yes. But this collection that you're doing for us today is not on your website. It, it's on there because there's a, pub, a, a page called As Seen on Hobby Maker, oh. and that's where you'll go to retrieve your download link. Right, okay. Um, but they are 
five brand, brand new, new well you. we've actually got six brand new collections because we've given you a freebie have you yeah in with that deal that you've yes oh that's amazing yes oh brilliant. Um, those of you who have bought previously will be will know about our spellbinding classics oh. do you get all the brand oh, it's just it. really good isn't oh, it i like it it's really good i yeah. didn't realize that all these things would all come Thank together goodness for your niece and nephew i know <laughs> <laughs> So you're getting, we're, we're building up a collection of classical papers in right. 10, colour to, uh, 10 colour families. Right, okay. So we've done the greys, you've had the daybreak, the twilight and the midnight. Okay. We're now going on to the blues, so you're getting the celestial one. Nice. So you're getting that free with the Book of Spells Volume 1. Oh, this is brilliant. And we've got this new interface to show you, which is quite magical. Yeah. And uh, we've been really excited Look about it. it. So you know, this is what's lovely, though, because your your passion, your knowledge, your experience, clearly, it's very it's very infectious. It's it's lovely, and your colour tones are beautiful. So we have got some lovely samples. Poor Alex set up everything so absolutely exquisitely, and I've accidentally just punched right through it, didn't I? I did. I'm so sorry to everybody. So I will fix that. I will. It's all right. I'm not touching it again. Oh, Alex, come and help me. I'm so <laughs> sorry. You're not going to want to work with me. You know, you said it was the last time. She's, she's worse. I'm all right. She? I'm normally all right, aren't I, Alex? <laughs> I am. Honestly, maybe, maybe back me up here, you lot. I'm normally all right, aren't I? Maybe you're a bit scared of us because we're witches. I, I think it's the air con. I, I'm going to blame the air con. <laughs> I am. Alex, come and help me. Alex, come in, shot and help me. Right, anyway, so I tell you what, if you can talk us through what what we go what we're going to get on the collection then you can talk us through how we actually get to right. it it's such a clever idea and i'm going to try and tidy up right okay so do you want us to go over there why don't you do that yeah, and i'll fix in fact right. alex then could fix my mess couldn't you alex <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leave you let's go over there then i'm don't let me touch anything <laughs> don't let me touch anything oh apparently we said we were going over there oh my poor director Sorry, yes. have, we, have we messed? Have we upset him already? <laughs> we're good. We're good. Right. We're in. Right. We're in. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I, I, so sorry. these are all digital downloads, um, which are what is you. Lots of companies do digital downloads, but what's unique about our Zena is we give you an interface, yeah. so it's all visual, because the, as you get older. <laughs> <laughs> You start to forget things like oh, you can don't. remember things from way back, but, but you can't remember what you've gone upstairs. Uh, for. Thank, okay? I hear you. Yes. So what we've done is we've given you an interface with thumbnails, so everything's visual. Oh, so you can see what it is you straight away. You can see what it is. So it's not just like a fine yeah. name. And right. I have to give my husband something to do, so oh, he yeah. does all of this. Trouble, aren't you? Well, yeah, yeah. He's had, he's had he's had twelve years of being retired, so he's oh, had enough so he definitely time. Definitely, been occupied. Yeah, he does. What's his name? Colin. Colin, we love you, Colin. Uh, <laughs> we love Colin. <laughs> so you've got five collections, and within each collection, now if you got the uh, Black Friday book of uh, spells, I heard about that one. Yep, we've actually put more in the collections oh, this time. Nice. We've given you eight extra pages, Ooh. so we've gone from twelve to twenty. Brilliant. So you're going to get backing papers. You're going to get toppers. You're going to get sentiments, oh, inserts. Right. You've got essential papers, which are those everyday papers, your dots, your stripes, your ginghams, yeah. etc. And then you get solid colours for your mats. And you've also got some embellishments. Hells like their flowers and leaves. So just to keep her quiet, because she's... Oh, she, I'm tree mads one with honestly, you, Hells. She, she nags me. Terrible. Good. It's paid off. So we've given, we've given you flowers and leaves as well. Thank so you. you're getting five books with a hundred... With 20 pages in, so that's 100 printable sheets. Wow. Now, these are the files yep. on this... Um, and we're going to be able to see it on screen, yeah, aren't we? On this Brilliant. digital yep. download, yep. you are getting the files that we would, if these were printed paper collections, these are the files that we would send to the printer, the professional printer. Right. Oh, so you've got access to that. Oh, that's So brilliant. all we're doing is cutting out the middleman. Which saves you money. All right. It's also eco-friendly because mm. there's no plastic case to put the USB in. There's no USB. It's there's, a link, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There's nobody delivering it in a van. Nope. And folks, you can hide it from your husband because there's no <gasps> parcel arrives at or the, the door. Or the wife or the partner. Yeah, the wife, the partner, 
the kids. Hide it from yourself, if you like us, yeah. and you can't remember why you, you know. <laughs> I feel like a new... Again. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that new? No. <laughs> Had it years ago. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> So, right, so... We so, get... it comes as a download. Brilliant. Tomorrow, you will start and get an email from the Crafty Witches... Brilliant. ..with instructions and a code. Right. And the instructions take you to the page on our website for you to then put the code in. Brilliant. And it, it takes the price off for you. Right. Yeah, because you... Oh, my goodness me, what the girls are doing for you today, price-wise, is... I, ne I, I nearly fell over myself when I saw the price tag for what you're offering. It's amazingly generous. It's because we can cut out the middleman. It, you've proven it. It's brilliant. brilliant. And, and um, Zena will tell you all about the free postage because yeah. it's a download. Yeah. So We'll we, explain all that. Yeah, we yeah. negotiated with um, Hobby Maker that you would get your postage yeah. refunded. Yeah. So it's a, you, you, will, you will start to get this into your inboxes tomorrow. Brilliant. brilliant. Now, can I just clarify on the post and packaging? Because it's a little bit particular. So obviously, if you come in today, and I know you've got an amazing following after all those years in the business. If you come in today and you buy just the Crafty Witches item, then because it's a download and you get the email, you get charged the post and packaging automatically because that's how our system works. But then automatically, our customer service will refund you your post and packaging if you buy just Crafty Witches. Now, if you've already bought a shed load of stuff from Hobby Maker today since six o'clock this morning, you might have bought Auntie Pauline's crackers and whatnot. Now, if you've already paid your post and packaging, then obviously that, this is included. So you won't get that refunded because you've got to pay for your post and packaging for everything else. But if you only buy Crafty Witches item today of the download, then you will get your postage refunded. So we can't play fairer than that. So does that make sense? Any queries, message in and I'll, I'll sort of re-describe that to you. But that's, yeah. So I'll tell you what we'll do before we actually see everything else. Shall we show everybody? Because I'm going to tell you now, hands on heart, after watching all of our guests that come in since I've been here since July, the price point that you've got on screen for what the girls are giving you is phenomenal value for money at £29.94. But Linda and Howells are actually going one step further and giving us an extra special deal today, aren't you? I am, yes. You're being very good, honestly. <laughs> She's like Father Christmas dressed up as a witch. I'm telling you. Uh, I'll tell you, what, it's, it's, look at that. That is a £10 saving, which basically means you're giving us five collections that you know of. I know you're giving an extra freebie, but you're paying for three, so you're getting two effectively three free or £10 off or whichever way you want to look at it. But when you see what the girls have included, I think you'll be very, very, very chuffed with that purchase. It, it's Brilliant. amazing how we've built up a following, yeah. <coughs> Zena. It's, um, it's humbling, actually. We're actually to say a big you, thank you to everybody. You. And do you know what? That is a lovely thing. But you, you, this is your chance to give back for all that lovely loyal support you've had over the yeah, years Yeah, it, well. it's, it's so nice that people have followed yeah. us over. And I got an email from a lovely lady the other day who said, I didn't know you were on Hobby Maker. I, I saw you the other day and I've started watching the channel oh, more. Right. So that's lovely that's that people lovely. are coming over with they us. They want to find you, they want to know where you are. Or they want to see what's going on in our lives. Exactly. Don't they? yes. They're so fun filled. Oh, <laughs> yeah, do you know what? You can tell that about you. you can't, they're so friendly. What you see is what you get with these girls. It, honestly, instantly lovely. Um, so, should we have a little look? Because what I'm, I will just say about the collections, thank you, Alex, for tidying up my mess. Thank you so much, my friend. He's a good lad. He's a gem, isn't he's he? A, he's a gem. It's a good job, isn't it? Oh, yes, all this lovely disco. Um, well, what I have noted about your, what I've noticed about your collections is, A, the cuteness and the, the really unusual uh, designs of the faces and things of the, of, of the, of the um, gnomes and these beautiful little, little dinosaurs. We license, the, yeah, th these are all um, licensed artwork yep. that we use and we've bought the commercial license so that the angel policy is you're allowed to make and sell finished products. Just going to ask that, that's brilliant. Whether it's for charity, to raise money for charity or whether it's for personal profit. Right. Um, the only things we don't allow you to do is we don't allow you to print and send, no. sell the individual no, no, no. papers. Well, that wouldn't be fair, would it? And you cannot take this into another programme and change the colours and everything yeah. because that is not included in no. our licence. No, of course not. Of course not. But you can, there's so much you can do with these because, as well, these are PDF files. Yeah. And the, the, they're used in conjunction with a PDF viewer, something like Adobe Reader or Foxit. Now, within that those programs you can resize oh great oh even better and great remember anything that you can put through your printer yeah 
you can print on too. Okay. And you don't need an all sang singing, all dancing printer. P okay. Printer. Hells is even printed on copier paper. Oh, wow. And, it's still and that's when you know out. how good it is, don't you? Yeah. That's not great quality, is it? Yeah. It's not got the right... These are yeah. at 300 DPA. That's 300 dots per inch. Right. When I first started in the, the crafting world, we used to do them at 72 DPI. Oh, my days. Wow. Which wow. was not very good. I'll, wow. let, I'll let you show them, Hells. Sure. Yeah, I'll make well, you do some we, work for your money. Do you know what, as well, I was going to say, Hells is going to be the, the uh, glamorous uh, demoe today, the demonstrator. Um, so I think what would be lovely to see in action, see what we get, and then we can go to the... Well, have a look shall, at the download, shall, shall we? we do, shall we do, show you the book overall... Yes. Then go through each set, right. and each set will do the set, and then Hells can do the Is that okay? Is that, does that Perfect. sound like a Wonderful. Let's okay. get cracking then. So you will receive a link to a download. Now, if you don't receive that link within a couple of days of this, of t tomorrow, if you don't receive it tomorrow... 48 hours later. Yeah, yes. about 48 yeah. hours. Either <laughs> you haven't put an email in with your order yep. and people are still doing that so you need a, a valid email address yes. please if if it's not in your main folder look in your junk or your spam folder yeah. in case it's got into there does happen yep and in the extreme um case is sometimes your security will not allow emails with links in mm. to to come in to your inbox mine does that sometimes if that happens you need to get in touch with us because yeah. although we're witches, we're not psychic. <laughs> so we don't yes. know that you haven't... We yeah. have to assume, and sometimes yeah. that makes... You know that the saying goes. But you'll be really uh, helpful if that happens. If unlikely, that happens unlikely and you haven't got the email, email hello at thecraftywitches.co.uk. Tell us, give us your order number... And Great. we can send you it another way. Great. So you will get it. But so the most important thing is, please have an email address. So let's have that email again then. Hello at... Hello at thecraftywitches.co.uk. And email in, because the one thing these girls want you to do, there's no point doing all this lovely hard work, sending you the link and then you not being able to access it, because that's, that's not the well, point. Well, as well, so. <laughs> we've got a fourth member of the coven. Um, he's known as Kevin the Warlock. Oh. So if you have technical issues... Oh. Right, we like Kevin. We all have them from time to time. We love a Kevin. Time. We all need a Kevin. If you have technical <laughs> issues and you, you think, oh, I can't get this working, just email us and with your permission, please, right. we'll get Kevin the Warlock Great. to email you and he's very gentle. Brilliant. We like Kevin. Yeah. So, so let's when you get the download and you get you get the link, yeah. it will come as a zipped That's file. Nice. Yeah. So we zip it up to compress it so that it, it you know, it doesn't take up as much space. It's like when you vacuum seal you do, you close. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to unzip it. And when you unzip it, if you've bought the one with the, th the free classics, Spellbinded classics, once you unzip the main file, you'll have two more zip files. Okay, All you do right. is, um, let me change it my glasses. On. I have to get my right glasses. <laughs> is you would... Um, Right click on it and go down to where it says extract all. Oh, okay. Click on extract all. Yep. And then you will get your book of spells here. And the how, how let's get rid of the housekeeping. Yeah, let's get okay. it done. So Windows XP and later. Windows 11 users can use it and it is future proof. Because you're printing right. from Adobe Reader, as long as you've got an up-to-date version of Adobe Reader or Foxit on your laptop or your desktop, most, most, most it will do. work. Yeah. So this will, if, this will last you a lifetime unless you really delete is. it. If you delete it by mistake and you've got your order number, we'll resend you the link. Oh, bless you. So Windows XP and later for Windows users. Yep. Mac users can use it, but they can't use the, the lovely interface. Now, you can use it on phones as well, can't you? Because Hubble Bubble, use, but you can't use the interface. So if you okay. are a Mac user, yep. remember you want to play with the files. So you need to go into autoplay. And if you are a Windows user, you want to run the files. So you go into auto run or auto run.exe. Okay. So are we... Can I just say as well, if you are struggling to remember all of this and you don't want to write it down and whatever, just remember as well, you can always watch this back. 
it couldn't be simpler either via YouTube or the easiest way is to go onto hobbymaker.co.uk. At the top of the screen next to the search box, it says TV Guide. You click on there, you search for today's show at this time at one o'clock and you can replay it back straight through the straight through the internet. So it's that easy. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to remember all this, don't worry, it's there. The girls are on hand, they're on the end of an email and you can rewatch this show back. So all the instructions will be there for you. All right. Also, if you go to our website, there's a how-to page. If you click on the how-to right. page, there's documents you can download. Oh, brilliant. Which step, with step-by-step -step instructions right. as so you, to how to so do So we're holding things. your hand all the way yeah. through it. Yeah. Brilliant. So can we bring this page yes, up on please. screen? Yes, please. Yeah. Right. Thanks, so Dad. this is the Book of Spells Lovely. Volume 1. Isn't that lush? It looks great. It's really good. Now, I can't have my sound... Uh, on okay. in the studio because it yeah yeah it'll interfere. Yeah. When you click on the cauldron, yeah, you click on enter, your book dissolves and it oh, tinkles. Great. It will tinkle. Oh, I love it. Right? Yeah. That, that's Colin's doing oh, that. I like that, Colin. Clever. Oh, clever, Colin. So down here. We have your more information. Now, again, when you click oh, on these... Oh, there's your how-to, look. These, these pop like bubbles. Oh, it is. So I? you've got the contacts, you've got your terms and conditions, you've yeah. got your how-to, and these all open into PDFs oh, that great. you can print off. Brilliant. So we click on back, okay. and then we'll click on back again. And here are your oh, five, your nails. five right. chapters. Brilliant. Okay. So chapter one, fairy tale stories, something for the little ones right. and the not so little. Or if you like whimsical characters, yeah. the gnomes. Oh, gnomes have the taken gnomes. the crafting world by storm. Yep. We're coming up to Valentine's Day. We got married in February. So Aww. you've always got those romantic yeah. occasions. My favourite, something for the men because they're so yeah. awkward <laughs> to buy for. Yeah, Colin. <laughs> then we've got sparkling book here, which is a beautiful muted shades of dusky blues and, and beiges, floral. And then we've got the twilight garden, which is a bit mystical. Yeah. So let's go to fairy tale stories. So you'll okay. notice when you move your cursor, it changes to a hand. Yeah. Click on it and you're straight oh, wow. in. And this Can is I... what I mean by everything is... Oh, that's brilliant. Visual. Yeah. So you click on that one. And let me just get rid of this. This is just my computer. Oh, that's your has security started thing, doing isn't it? this. It's not a oh, threat. live on it. Right. It's really helpful. <laughs> it's just this security settings okay. coming up. Ah. Right. So this has got cute characters, um, dinosaurs and yeah. dragons. Um, and you can see it's opened up in Adobe Reader. Yes. And then we've got the square. So you've got circles. It's going to do this all the it's time. It's going to drive you mad, isn't it? Until I. As I say, just ignore okay. that, folks. Then you've got your squares. Lovely. Then got your you've got... Now, well. if I go back to the circles... Yeah. See, it's gone now because I've closed it down. Magic. Use your circle dies to cut those out because I defy anybody. I don't care how expert you are to cut the perfect circles. So just use your circle dies because what we've done is um, we've given lovely. you an extra bleed. Oh, I see. Right, so make it easier. So you're not going to... Um, you're not going to... Um, Damage the thing. Okay. Just say, excuse this, folks. <laughs> I should have done all this before. All right, darling. So now, this in the last in the Black Friday book of spells, we gave you two sets of toppers. We've now given you four. Wow. So we've doubled the amount of toppers. Let's get rid of this again, and click that. Look get rid of that. Those. And then while, while Hell's demonstrating, I'll do it to the rest of them. And then then go down to the cauldron at the bottom, Wait, click on next. next, and oh. here are your backing papers. Now, we call these decorative papers. Beautiful oh, papers. Wow. Uh, oh, and the colours, like you oh, say... They're really you know, unusual. The colours, we know what colours to put together. Yeah, you can um, tell. So... You know, this is the 40. Between us, we reckoned we had 45, 45, years. 45 years of experience wow. in the crafting and world. And do you design these between you all? I don't. I, Becky oh. and I pick the... Um, right. the Crafty Witches is a partnership between Becky and I. OK. I'm the... I'm the brains and she's the beauty, I suppose, isn't she? I'm not having that. <laughs> You're gorgeous. <laughs> but 
but she does. Uh, she, I, I say, oh, let's do this. I come up with most of the ideas yeah. and then Becky... Puts them into action. She, well, she gets inside my head, Zena, yeah. and it's a really... It's not... A, it's a scary place. Yeah. There's not many people well, you're a witch. go there. There's a cauldron in exactly. there, isn't there? Oh. There's not many Sorry, people go there. Look at it. <laughs> Please don't do that. Not till you've demoed. <laughs> Um, <laughs> click on next on the cauldron. Now, here are your essential papers. And in this time, we've got... Um, we've got a wave. Oh, lovely. And we've got... Um, uh, oh, nice. Spots. And right, then okay. we've got two solids. Lovely. Then we've all that match perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Then if we click on next again, we've got... <laughs> Sorry about this, folks. Um... Print out A4 size. Now, you can cut them down. Okay. You can shrink them down. Right, you can resize. Brilliant. You can resize. You can use them on the front of cards as well as on the exactly. inside. Yep. You and can the back. stamp. Yep. You can stamp your text. You can scan it into a cutting machine. You can write your text. You can do good old fashioned handwriting. Exactly. Um, and that. And then you've got your sentiments. Oh, look at that. So these are for all occasions. And then at the bottom, we've got some, you know, thanks so much for all you do. Oh, lovely. And Have a happy day. We've also got the alphabet tiles. So you can personalise oh, your cards. that was from here. That's yeah. brilliant. So, oh, and on nice. next, we've got oh, this the flowers, stop. courtesy of Hells. Hubble Bubble. Mm -hmm. We've got your leaves. <laughs> We've got your tags. Oh, wow. Um, oh, you really have thought of everything, girls, haven't you? We've tried, yes. You have. So you've got your tags. And Did I see some like tag and borders and things? Oh, wow. You've got your pennants, so you can use these down this side. Lovely. Oh, that is... So you've got... You've lived... You yeah. There's not a single thing that we haven't got here, is there? No. If we but go back... The colours, the colours are yeah. so unusual. You can see, Zena, that nothing jars on the no, eye no. because Beautiful. it shouldn't be there. So nothing is jarring on the eye no. for the wrong reason no. because Ab it shouldn't be there. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this is all brand new today, so nobody's had no, access to this. No, this is the first time that the viewers or the, or the, the people who follow the coven, nobody's seen this before. Oh, thank you. It's and old. these are just some cards. Can show some? You can. Now, these are what... Um, I picked these up at the Hawthorne Services on the year 19. Oh, did you? <laughs> who's made, who's done these for you then? These have been done by um, Dawn, who's a member of our coven. Dawn. Oh, she's had a lovely time. So can I ask a question, um, Linda? How, how many times can, once you get the, the, the load and you, uh, the, the download and you, you get the access to this book, how many times can you print them off? As many as you as want. Many, so there's no limit? No. There's no limit and it's 14 99 no, you can run workshops with these. You can do after-school oh, classes, you can do brownies. Wine, all those sort yes. Of things. And just have your friend. Yeah. Around. My friend's coming yeah. around for a card-making session uh -huh. tomorrow night, my first ever one with my friend, with my neighbour. I'll give, you, I'll give you a code. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean <laughs> it. No. <laughs> but oh, that these, makes me feel really this, bad. This is the most inexpensive way. It's brilliant. Keep people who've followed me for over the years would know that I used to teach craft Did you? in a prison. I wasn't in prison. I wasn't an inmate, <laughs> but I was a teacher there. And it was I used to teach in the young offenders and oh, I used I to bet teach that was really rewarding. In, a, in the adult male prison. And I was the most popular teacher in oh. in the in the prison. Oh, oh do you know what? Can she have a round of applause <laughs> for that please, Callum? That needs a round of applause. Thank they, you very much. They could, amazing. They could barter with the cards. They were worth a Mars bar or half an ounce of tobacco. <laughs> so the cards used to go around. But yeah, we're having But it was, it, was, it was an inexpensive way yeah. of me being able to go in and earn some and money for, for myself. And yeah. for the prison as well. Yeah. That, imagine. Yeah. What, gosh, that seems such an obvious idea now you've said it. You know, which, does it, does but, uh, which prison it is? No, no, no. It could be any prison you, you want to. You don't need to tell me, <laughs> But anyway, it's, sorry. You know, you, your nieces and nephews, your grandchildren, Anybody. your, your kids, neighbour, like mine. Tomorrow. You know, you can print it out on copy of paper, and you need to print the best quality because they are yeah. high resolution. Yeah, yeah. But this is an inexpensive way of crafting. And if I started off because I used to be a treasurer for an animal charity up in Northumberland, 
and we oh. rehomed dogs and cats mainly. Oh, I knew I liked you. So, before. you know, this was to, to raise, you want to spend a, a little to raise a lot. Absolutely. So I used to make cards to sell at um, oh. craft fairs. I mean, this little one. Oh, I wish oh yeah, I could my, my see dog's one. down here. <laughs> oh, if, I'm, if I disappear, <laughs> I'm having yeah. a cuddle. Can I just. So, this is the first one on the book. This is the. What's this, this called again? The, this is fairy tale stories. Fairy tale stories. I can't wait for you yeah. to see, I can't wait to do the gnomes as well. Now, shall we. Can we. Are you going to do a demo as well so we can see. Would that be all right? Yeah. And then go back to the next one. Oh, she's collection. gone, she's gone in a keep, otherwise, I'll have to half well, her exactly, wages. Just... You know, I mean, hell's. Can, can we have a look at yep, one? In, of course. And then we'll go over to the next one. Uh huh. Brilliant. So, um, I've, I've got to hold my hands up. I have had nothing to do with any of these demos because I've literally just got back off holiday. So, Linda's oh, done all the demos. Oh, where? Where have you been? I've been to Bella Vista. Where? Cape Verde Islands. Oh, you lucky. She Ooh. pleads poverty, you know. Tell she you says what. she's got no money. <laughs> she wants to throw an extra demo in for that then. <laughs> so what Linda's done is she's prepped all my demos for me, bless her. And good boss, this okay. one is the fairy tale stories, and this is one of the top sheets that's been oh, printed out. Um, Linda's used a die cut to cut that circle, and then mm. I've just gone in and cut that extra bit because the cool thing about having a digital download means you're not limited to how many layers no. of paper you've exactly, got. Exactly, yeah. So when you buy a paper kit, it's limited, so you're less likely to be doing the decoupage. Yeah. And like most of us it. do like to start cutting out and layering yeah. up. So let's get this put together. So this is one of the essential papers, and we'll just add a little bit of glue to the back, and then there's some white paper just to add a border around the edge and then some black card for that to sit on. So these are going to be the mats that this is going to sit on. Uh -huh. So we'll bob that one on there. That's and then colours. we'll stick this one down. So what sort of glue is that, um, Hells? This is just like a book binding glue. Book binding so it's, okay. yeah, it's yeah. just a... Like an all purpose? All purpose, yeah. yeah. Okay, nice you. and sticky, making sure I've got, I've got that. I'm only asking around, that because but... I think I'm still quite new to it. Yeah. And also I think this collection is so perfect for people that are brand new to card making. It couldn't be more cost effective, could it? Well, this is it. And yeah. you don't have to print onto expensive surfaces. Um, yeah. I will show you in a moment the other things that I've printed onto. But like Linda said, mm. if, it, if it'll go through your printer, then you can print on exactly, it. Exactly. Now yeah. you don't need a re an expensive printer. No. We've just got like home office printers. Right. They're not expensive. And if you do something wrong, you're under no pressure now, especially while you're learning. You just print it off again. Exactly. It's That's a piece all you of need paper. To do. Oh, I wonder you're what you're going to say then. No. <laughs> I wonder what she's going to say as well. Oh, what do you think you're oh, going to no, say to I, me I, before I'm, the watershed yeah. then? <laughs> I'm sick it all. No, oh, no, Linda. No, I've learned. I've had, I've had, I've had 18 years <laughs> practice at this. Oh, me so little art. Stop good. then, Linda. You don't have to put a 10-second delay on what I say. You're all right. <laughs> I think we all held our breath then, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> what was the... What, what did the... Sorry, I think oh, I was going to say, Hells. You can tell me later. I'll tell you oh. later. <laughs> Linda is... Um, I'm very naive, you she's know. Very, she's very... Um, oh, I'll... Yeah, we'll tell you I'm in old, the break. Yeah, I'm I'll old, tell you in the break. I'm old school. <laughs> I say things and it's got other meanings <laughs> and I haven't got a clue. We know. We can tell you're an innocent. Yeah, I am. I we carry it. I've been very married innocent. to the same man for 43 <laughs> years, you know, bless him. Hello, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous, can I just say, as it's building up. Look at these beautiful little images. So we've got Lovely. that gorgeous little toadstool house. Then this cute little cuddly dragon. And can I just point out, this is only number one of, well, five collections. Yes. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. For the same so, 14 99 This is the thing, and you've got so much in there. And you know what it's like when you make a card and then someone will say, well, can you make me yeah. two of those, three yeah, exactly. of those? Yeah. What about invitations when you need a lot exactly, of them? Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, and party invites and all sorts exactly. of things. Exactly. Christenings and... These images would be perfect for kids' yeah. birthday parties. The world's your lobster. Exactly. You know, exactly. The world's your lobster. <laughs> yeah, my friend says that. <laughs> you well. can do whatever you want. This could be good for the mother-in-law as well, for a dragon, couldn't it? <laughs> say in. <laughs> say it out. <laughs> I'll get in bother. <laughs> we like getting in bother, though, don't we? <laughs> we don't have I'm to. I've stood next to trouble. Well, we don't have to go looking for it. It finds, it finds us. us, yeah. So you're just popping some foam pads on to raise yep. it up now, aren't you? So there's a little bit of 3D foam on there. Look at these two cuties. Look at them. Oh, I love this right. collection. So these have all been cut out with 
nesting dies. Okay. And then you can just start to lay them up. So Brilliant. I've got everything roughly where I want it to go. Uh -huh. So now I can commit to the stick. Oh, I, I like always, that. Commit to the stick. Yeah, I always make sure I've got everything where I want it. Um, like we're talking sometimes. about the glue stick. Yeah, you know if you're um, you know if you're using like a collage style. Yeah. Take a picture on your phone. That's a great idea. And then you you know where everything's going to oh, go. Oh, good idea. Because by the time I've taken everything off, I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, it's like making with menopause. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but she can't blame old age, you see, so she has to blame it. Yeah, I just blame else. menopause. <laughs> And then one of those lovely sentiments. I love it. And got the cool those. thing about these, I've cut, I've cut into this one, so I've chopped it up. But you'll see everything is all straight yeah. lines. Yeah. And all of the sent. How many sentiments are on each sheet? Can you remember? Forty, about forty-eight, I think. Forty-eight. And if you've got a trimmer, you, uh, you just trim those straight down exactly. the nice Exactly. Yeah. Straight line makes it so much easier. Brilliant. And then look let's that. open this one up and. Here is one of the inserts. Oh, wow. So simply oh, it's folded. a double Look insert. Yeah. So if you wanted to, you could cut down the middle. That could be the front of a six by eight card. And then that yeah, one could girls, go That's the, the first double insert I've seen. I like it. And the other thing oh, as yeah. well, you'll see that there are spaces that have been left it's empty. Writing. So print that out Brilliant. and then run it through your printer again, maybe using your own sentiments on there. You can stamp on them. So right. that's the beauty of having that little gap there. And the colour intensity is the same. We've not deleted any of that colour and rinsed it out. Right. So you've got that colour saturation so they can go on the outside right. of the cards as well. So Look that one is that. stuck down. And then oh, one last gorgeous. little sentiment just to go into the middle. And like Linda was saying, all of these colours just go together, work Don't perfectly like. together. Like that blue there, you'll see, is here from the hat and from this little... Do you know though, what's lovely is the second you've done that demo, Hells, it makes you want to buy it. The second you do that, for and that's one of the five that's just collections. Them. That's just and that's, one. Well, that's your topper sheet. So yeah. there's, a, uh, there's one, two, that's one topper sheet. You've got five. Which is that one, yep. and then that one, then the dragon. That's unbelievable. But you can print it out as many times as you yeah. want. So you could keep going. You could even then go in and add that yeah. in. And you can add your little gems and your flowers. Yeah. But you know, all I can hear from the gallery is my producer saying, oh, that card is so cute. Oh, that card. That's all I've heard her saying for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> or five minutes while you've been demoing. Look Absolutely at this Absolutely phenomenal. Dragon. He's just so cute. And then, to finish, a few mm -hmm. little bits of sparkle because you can add that. So, so what is that you're putting on then, Hill? It's just glitter glue. Oh, just a lovely. little bit of sparkle. And then just to pat that out so it's not quite so clumpy. And that'll just add... Oh, that is beautiful. Those little sparkles. You see as well, Zena. you know, if you buy a printed paper kit, <clears throat> you always have your favourites. Yes, and you yeah, And you, and you don't out. want to lose it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to, you know, run out. Yeah. But you will inevitably oh, with sure. this. You, you'll it's still have your favourites, but you can keep printing exactly. it and printing it. If you want to foil it, you can. Right, okay. If you print, you know, by using some of the foiler machines and mm. things. So you can add, but you can't take away. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So you're starting with the bare bones and it's it's what you want to do to and it. And like you said, angel policy-wise, everybody can sell to and Make to charity. Make sell and, and yep. charity. Brilliant. And Even. when you start printing it onto fabric, it opens up a whole oh, we've new got some world. To, we've got some to show. As oh, if by just, magic. Yeah. It is. It's almost like magic, isn't it? There's Look some magic in that. there. So I've used, this is the, the same page all the way through wow. that I've printed on so you can see the comparisons. So this is just printable fabric and it's oh got a backing goodness. on it, which peel off once you've printed it. And <gasps> if I show you Look what I've this. made with it, so I've made a little zippy bag. Oh, hells. And on the flip side, this is one of the toppers, one of the square toppers. Now, Linda's going to show you in, in a couple of demos time how to make these larger. Oh, Because brilliant. in Adobe, but you, you don't lose them. Yeah, you don't, and you don't lose any of the integrity. No. Because no they're such high quality uh, images. Like all your makeup bags. Yes. Cases yeah. and and, oh, and yes. yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, now we're all engaged, aren't we? If you weren't <laughs> before. Yep. Oh, you are now. That's amazing. And then this is vellum. So it's just <gasps> vellum that I've run through my printer. Oh, and you'll see. That looks great print. with the vellum, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. But um, 
when we did our launch, do you remember those vellum flowers that I made, the brooches? Mm -hmm. So the flowers that are in the collection, yeah. print them onto vellum and cut them out and scrunch them up. And oh, then they make wow. beautiful floral oh, wow. decorations as well. So that's vellum. Oh, I'm sold, girls. And then this is just copy paper. Now, I wanted to print onto copy paper to show you that if you can't stretch to expensive printing paper, right, okay. this is as good as it looks on So that's, the, that's why you like when you go and buy the packs and the yeah. boxes in a, in a usual yeah, station yes, shop. Um, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Wow. But print on best quality. Yeah. Don't print on draft or text. Yeah. Print best on quality. best quality. Yeah. Um, okay. And you will still get that effect. Okay. And Brilliant. then finally, pearlescent card. Oh. So this is actually pearlescent paper. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, so look at that. Like sparkle what a lovely sheen that's got on it. So all of those things that you would normally buy in a paper kit, it's either going to have some foil on it or it's going to be yeah. pearlescent or, you know, you're going to be limited. Yeah. With this, you've got the image. You can print it onto anything that will go through your printer. Could you print on acetate? Yeah. Yes. Oh, great. Wow, yeah. it's got printable it all on it. Printable shrink plastic. <gasps> oh, great. You can turn that into jewellery then as well, exactly. couldn't you? Oh, great. Like those, the, the little dragon. Yeah. You could print on shrink plastic and shrink him down and, and make little, little earrings. Gnomes as well. The little gnomes yeah. that look so cute. Oh yeah, we're sold. We're done. <laughs> yeah. All of this, we're only one into the five collections. We're one in. Now I'm conscious of the time. Should we go to the next right, one? So let's go to the next Sales, one. Thank you. That was beautiful. So back thank to you. the PC. Put yeah. my glasses on. And this time we've got the norms, the yeah. love norms. Are these your favourite, if you're honest? Um, yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so norms are, phew, they, they took the world by storm. And we did a collection a few years ago in Another Life. Yeah. And um, yeah, took, oh, took we started off with the norms and it's just become a total... Yeah. Well, everybody that just raves after them. Everybody, everybody look, I bought two at a market yesterday. Little, little, fun, yeah. little, you know, little hangy Christmas So ones. here you've got your circle toppers. Then you've got your square toppers. Then you have larger toppers. But remember, you can resize these. You've got your square toppers again, but they're all different. You've got Valentine's there with the hearts, and haven't you? And you've all got sorts. click on next, you've got these beautiful papers. And what I've wow. done is I have printed the whole collection out of these, Zena. Those ones that you're holding are the ones that I've increased the size of oh and decreased. Gosh, gosh. Um, look at these beautiful. <laughs> oh, we're looking at some. She else. looks like Heidi. Do you remember the old the Heidi program that used to be on? We used to come home from school. Oh yes. Do you remember? Do you remember? Yeah. But I wasn't sure about you then. Now sure. these are just ordinary inkjet printers, and do you know wow. red is? It's like when um, if you have a red car and you have a bump in it. It's one of the hardest colours to match or to well, print. It's one of the most expensive It is, to, yeah, like, because it, it, and all sorts. it has yeah. so many different shades to it's it. It's expensive. Um, but um, we'll show you the printed papers. Um, so if we go back to the decorative papers, yep. there's one, there's two, three and four. That one's lovely with all the norms in. Then click on the next cauldron and we've got uh, diamonds this time. Oh, lovely. And we've got grey dots. And again, you can see the colours all mix and match. You've got your solid papers for your mats and layers. Brilliant. Then you've got your beautiful inserts. Gorgeous. Two inserts now. Yep. And then you've got your sentiments. And you can see all the four yep. colours are in yep. there. Yep. And then you've got your alphabet tiles. Click on to next. That's you've got great. your florals. You've got your leaves. You've got your tags. Love the fact you've got tags as well. And you've got your pennants. So if we... Sh I've never heard them called that. So pennants. or p p Banners, I think, go that way yeah. with little... Uh, yeah. These are pennants, like pennant flags that oh. you used to... So this is your kit printed out. Brilliant. Now, I have an e eco tank um printer it's um not all sing and all dancing because it doesn't do as you can see it does not do borderless printing uh -huh. i was gutted when i found out it didn't but it, you know um I'd, by then i'd been oh look at that it. it it doesn't drink the ink but you can see how well they all print out so this is a complete collection and you're going to get five of these and we keep going. Look, it's never ending. 14 99 We're only two in. We're not even halfway. Yeah. 
And then you've got, got that for your inserts, well. you've got I'll your sentiments, that. you've got your alphabet tiles, Brilliant. you've got your florals, your leaves, wow. and then your tags. This is and genius. And can, can, right. I, show the, can yeah. I show that as okay. well? I think as you've I've enlarged okay. it, it's brilliant. So, We'll show you how to do this after the next demo. Right. But within Adobe Reader, which is the PDF you I use, that's a topper printed at 100%. Is it okay. easier for the cameraman if I, if I lay no, it down? No, that's great because we haven't got one over here. Right, yet. okay. So that's it printed at 100%, you can see. Okay. If you change the print to 75% and it's easy to do, yeah. it it brings them down but it keeps everything in proportion yeah, yeah. if you like to make smaller cards oh, right. that's it printed at 50 percent the quality is exactly the, the same. quality is exactly the same oh wow now that is the insert printed at 75 percent uh -huh. so if you want to make a an a, a seven by five card or the likes oh, this is clever. that's it printed at 50 percent yeah that's the backing paper at 75 percent because if you're making an a6 card mm. you don't want your backing paper to have all the big roses on because mm. it'll swamp the topper you want it in proportion yeah, with the artwork scan. for the yeah, topper yeah, yeah. so you can do your papers at the different percentages this is brilliant but we can go the other way yeah, this fascinated me right. actually so this Going is up. where we have to use what we call the snapshot tool so i'll show you how to do that okay and what you do is you take a snapshot so you, you isolate one of the toppers right so that is the topper printed at a hundred percent that's how it would look if we can, can find you manage? the right Shall I hold that and you find there we okay. go yeah right there's, there's the topper as is on the paper. I took a snapshot of it and right. there it is now at okay. 100%. Uh -huh. But I want to make it bigger. Watch this, this is great. So that is it printed at 150%. Yeah. We've lost none nope. of the integrity nope. Nope. Not of the all. artwork. And then I got it up to 175%. Wow, look at that. And you can see. Now That's that, that printed onto fabric Yep. Put on the front of a tote bag. Absolutely. Or a nice cushion. Or a cushion or, or something yeah. like that. So that's what you can do a within, with, yeah, within yeah. the parameters. Yeah, you can get that transfer. You can get a printable yeah, yeah. transfer. Do you see what I mean? But from a, from a crafter's point of view, this, this download is unbelievable value for money. It is. Oh, it's just limitless. Brilliant. Brilliant. If you're just getting into your crafting... Like me, I mean, that's the best 15 yeah, I'm going to spend. Because it can become addictive and before yeah. long, before <laughs> you know it, you've spent a small fortune. This yeah. is the best <laughs> way, this is an inexpensive way of dipping your toe into I the think water. I think anybody that's been watching this channel for any, since we launched in March and you've still not tried it, this could not be more cost effective. It just, it, as long as you've got a printer, you're sorted. And a pair of scissors. And it's like I say, <laughs> Zina, you know, we all go through our dark times. Mm -hmm. And if you yep. get into something like this, if you do your, your sewing and you do your printable fabric, yep. you can get lost in the doing. It's so and important. just for a couple of hours, yep. you can forget your troubles. And I went to an artisan craft market yesterday. It was the last one of the season. I went because my friend that does uh, dog treats was there. And I thought I'd go and support him because it's freezing cold. And there were that many people there with beautiful boxes and handmade cards and things. And we were all, every single one of the stall owners said, I started this for mindfulness and, and, it, and it helped, has helped me through. Every single person on every single stall had a similar story mm -hmm. to tell. And I think even now, the world has changed since COVID. We're all in a different place. Our priorities have changed. Every, everybody's feeling the pinch. And I think I, I would never, if I had something like this, you would never buy a card again because you can't put a price on homemade. No. Handmade. Sorry, I keep getting told off for that. Handmade. There is a difference I, between I handmade totally and agree. homemade. I totally agree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite right. So, shall we have another demo? We'll with, have a demo with we, this Is one. that all right? With, are you all set yep. up, Hells? Thank you. So, we have a demo with this one, and then we'll get on to the next one, and then we're almost halfway. Well, should we, should we then speed it up a little, go through the yeah, other three? Shall we? Just so people can see yeah. where they're getting for the okay. money. 
Is that after this demo we're doing that? Or? Shall we? Shall we do? Uh, we'll do one more. We'll show you one more. Okay. Right. So okay. let's just go uh, home. <coughs> so which one's this one? This is the my favourite. Okay. This is for the men. Oh yes, you did say. So we've got favourite things. You know, the night nice, nice shoes. There's that beautiful wolf's head. Yeah. We've got the posh car, and we've got the the hat and the like bow tie. It. Yeah. Beautiful colours again. Lovely. And that, that wolf. He's gorgeous, he is really isn't he? Very lovely. handsome. We've got the glass of uh, malt whiskey, whiskey there. Yeah, nice. We've got uh, more toppers and we've got the fourth row of toppers. So between those, you've got a myriad yeah. of toppers to yeah. choose from. There's something there you'll use. Then you've got these beautiful backing papers. Gorgeous. Um, again, you can see nothing jars on the eye, no. Zena, does it? It all blends to perfection. It does. It mix, yeah. matches and harmonises. Oh, that's nice. Then you've got your dots. I love dotty papers. Mm. And then you've got your classic stripes. Nice. You've got your solids. So we've got the blue and then we've got like this mustard colour. I love colour. that one. Then click on next again. You've got this lovely insert. Oh, lovely. You've got another insert. Mm. You've got oh, your um, sentiments. My producer's just said a very good point. This is so easy to navigate around, isn't it? It's it so, is. It's so obvious. If there's anybody that yeah. worries about technology, you haven't got any worries with no. this at all. You just click, mm. go to um, print, and, that's it. and then press, you need to set up, you know, if you're mm. going to properties, you want to print on yeah, press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just click print craft wow. and send it to your printer. And that's it. And that's it. This is brilliant. Um, and can I say something that we haven't talked about yet? Because the more stuff you buy, the more space you need. Oh, <laughs> exactly. We all feel that pain, don't we? Now, the thing is, that's all very well, and we're all going to still be buying the, 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 the collections and everything else as well. But if you are struggling for space, just print what you need when you need. It doesn't have to go on no, a shelf. I it's uh, there. I am it's... waiting for my craft room, which is my office as well and it's based in what would be the little bedroom yeah and i'm waiting for it to come through the lounge ceiling and it's where colin <laughs> sits lexi and i sit on the sofa on the opposite side of the room yeah but yeah you're yeah. right it's space true. you know space is a premium for, for for a lot of us and we do struggle and i think a lot of us myself included have got the new craft room in, in the spare bedroom if we're lucky enough to have one or on the dining room or it's table. on the dining room table and it drives people mad it drives yourself mad if you mm -hmm. live on your own Stuff everywhere. This this solves all of that. So it's, it's brilliant, girls. Honestly, I'm I'm absolutely for my first. It's my first <laughs> friend is coming around tomorrow night with her daughter to make cards for Christmas. I know we're a bit late, but it's our first go. So uh, I might need my email speeding up. <laughs> <laughs> so here we've got the toppers. I yep. love these toppers. They're great. And then you've got your pen tags. Yeah. So over to Hells for the yeah. demo for the. Yes, please, yeah. Hells. Sorry, I was getting it's too oh, easy, isn't it? So cute. She was right behind Linda then, wasn't she? I was oh, oh, to you, Linda. She oh, literally was on the, your ankles. Oh, <laughs> I, think she, I think she likes your designs. Does she? <laughs> she does, yeah. She's sweet. She, <laughs> might, she might be in my trolley when Oh, I she might home. be going home with you, might she? she? Might, I don't think Lexi would, well, would I, like no, it. Well, yeah. Can I just say as well, just before we just hand over to Hales, we've had some lovely messages coming in. Oh, really, I'm not surprised, but thank you for the support. So Julia's messaging, she's my neighbour. She's, right. she's not the neighbour coming round, but you can all come right. round if you want tomorrow night, Jules. Uh, I can't wait to finish all my Christmas pieces so I can start playing with those lovely characters and flowers. Lovely images, you lovely witches and three kisses. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. And then Mary as well. What's Mary say? Hi, Linda Helzina. As promised, I have purchased this kit. You will <laughs> not be sorry. Absolutely love the dragons. They're so cute. Hope Hell's had a great holiday. And that's Crafty Hugs from Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Good for you, darling. Best holiday. Oh, that's good to hear. Oh, good. Shot to the system coming home. Yes. Yes, <laughs> that was a bit of a shock, wasn't it? <laughs> well, over to you, my lovely. Okay, so we'll go back to the little Gnomies, and here we've got an 8x8 eight eight card. This beautiful dotty background. Imagine that printed onto fabric. Gorgeous, How fabulous would yeah. that be? Yeah. Then one of the lovely backing papers. So we'll just add a little scribble of glue on there just to stick that down. Uh -huh. And then a mat for it to sit on. Lovely. So we'll just start to build this up now with all these layers. So that's going to go around about there. Oh, I love it already. So oh. next, 
one of the toppers you'll see looks like that. So yeah. you've got, it looks like all the layers are already done. Now yeah. you can use it in its entirety. Uh -huh. You could use it singularly for just a smaller card, like a five by five mm -hmm. card. Cut it out, lift these bits up, yeah. or print it onto fabric. This is a different <gasps> collection. But this oh. is one of those that I've actually just stitched into a little oh, bag. Oh, that's So gorgeous. on that one page, so there are these two toppers. Oh, and I've literally it. just added some wadding in there, added some stitches, and then a zip. So cool, like yeah. I said, not just for card making. You can no. also, and then think, you could have your own little online shop to sell exactly, them, little craft the stores. Thing, yeah. So all of these things that we're like using lovely pin cushions and all sorts of things, couldn't you? Uh-huh. So Linda's written on the back here, it says 12.7 by 12.7. I measure everything, Do right? You? So I measure the topper and then I add five millimetres on to the next mat. That's what I do. Right. Do you? So okay. then it just gives you a nice thin a Nice mat. size border, yeah. It doesn't take over. It just yeah. brings it all together. Yeah. It is lovely, actually. So how much do you measure it again? 0.5? Point, point 0.5 millimetres. Point 0.5 mil yeah. to give you that extra size of the, of the backing. And if you're working inches, about a quarter inch. Quarter inch, thank you. Because we, we mix between the two. Well, I am a bit in inches, girl, but I craft in centimetres because it's <laughs> easier for my old brain these days. It's like paper craft in centimetres, but fabric craft in inches. It's I can't fabric craft in centimetres. Oh, well. I just can't get my head round it, which is <laughs> daft because everything else that I do, I'm measuring in centimetres yeah. and millimetres. Okay. It's what you get used to, though. Of course it, it is. Of course it is. In right, different times, so we're all different, aren't we? This has been printed again. Lovely. And then snipped so we've got the little gnome girl like that you can see now how you can start to build this up yeah. and make some decoupage and then some leaves oh this is where the nag comes in so these are printed obviously they're printed flat and i've just pinched along just oh, okay. to make them into more of a 3d oh, shape and i'll get some glue gel for this and we'll bob Here's a question. There. Just while people are learning, why do you go to a glue gel? What, why? Right, because a wet glue is more or less a grab straight away. Okay. And what I want to do with this is lift it up a little bit, but I also want to put leaves underneath it. Oh, so okay. if I use a wet glue and committed, this is giving me that little bit more time. Right. Okay. To move things Thank around. Thank you. It's just like learning, because it's it like is, having to yeah. go to glue school as well. It is. It? There's it so is many the yeah. glues that we use. Yeah. But you'll find as you start crafting, if you are new, that it will become almost second nature. Right. The okay. ones that you go to. Okay. So you can mix your glues, but I tend not to. I tend just to stay with the same ones. Okay. So that is going to go there. Oh, you see how I've got wiggle room in it now? Yeah. I can give it a move around because it's an embellishment just in case it's going to go in the wrong direction. Okay. But then this, this little button, I'm just going to add some wet glue. Right. Okay. And bob that into the centre. Oh, lovely. You could put a gem in there, a pearl in there, some glitter, exactly. flower stamens. There's so many options, aren't there? So we'll pop that in there. And then I have got some pearls. Oh, and I did by magic. <laughs> that one. Sorry there, house. That's okay. <laughs> I must have read your mind. That's the thing, I suppose, because you see cards being made all the time, you think, oh, yeah, I oh. can do that with it. But that, that yeah, ties in with, the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the, dot, the polka dot at the back. With the exactly, pearls. yeah, Perfect. and it all starts to come together. And then oh. we'll just do a couple... Oh, oh. Of <laughs> nice one. <laughs> a couple of little dots there. And whenever I'm using flat back gems, they're mm. usually repositionable. They've got a little sticky thing on them. But if they're going through the post, they will ping. So right. add that little bit of extra glue. I know it's a bit belt and braces when you've already... Oh, that's a great tip, though. I hadn't ever thought it, of that. It just means that they're going to get there where you want them right. to be. Okay. And you always uh, craft in threes or fives, odd numbers. Yeah, it's like, like gardening. even, do we? No, it's, it's like gardening. Yeah. Threes or fives. So now... Do you like gardening as well? I used to grow all my own bedding plants before it's I started true. working. What? Seriously, you yeah. Can you cook but, as well? Yeah, but I don't like cooking because I used to I used to run restaurants and sandwich bars oh in another God. life. Right. How many lives have you? Are you a cat? I've had quite a few. Are well, I'm old. Cats? I'm old. <laughs> so I've old. done a lot. Yeah, I've done a lot in my life. <laughs> <laughs> She's not old, is she, everybody? I is. used to work for a bakery company, which now cooks nice sausage rolls. But I used oh. to be an area manager. Oh. And I used to um, bake the bread in the hot bread shops if the, bake, if the baker didn't turn up. 
Oh, you for many years, morning, for many years, I couldn't smell, oh, hot, wow. you know, uh, bread baking because I smelt it every day. Oh so. gosh, wow. Yeah, I've done quite well, a few well, things. Well, oh, that is beautiful. Sorry, Hells, we're chatting That's away okay. over here. I'm so, so sorry. So this is one of the inserts. I've cut it down to size to fit in the middle. And then the little um, Gnome girl, she's on one side. So I've just oh. cut her out, moved her over and then added one of the sentiments. That's lovely. Look at go. that. And then again, you could add any of your little crystal drops to it. You could add gems, but you can also print in grayscale and then colour it yes. yourself as well yeah. if you want. Yes, to. Yeah, so yeah. you could print the whole of this digital download in grayscale. Wow. And use it as colouring pages. That's a like great that. idea. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea, <coughs> well, isn't it? Goodness me. I think as well, if you've got any grandchildren or godchildren or neighbours or ki just kids that you happen to be looking after, you might be childcare, what a great £14.99 to spend to keep kids occupied over the Christmas holidays. Because everything you do is expensive, isn't it? Well, not this. That is, and that card. I just saw how much cards were. Just plain printed cards without any embellishment. Mm -hmm. They were selling them. The cheapest one I saw on a store was £2.25 and that hadn't, it was that big. And it had literally got a sentiment and a picture. That was it. You give somebody something a, like a that. handmade present. I mean, because you can turn these. Don't just think about cards. Think about memory exactly. books. Think yep. about journals. Colouring books. And if you haven't got a lot of money, you can make something Brilliant. like a journal, like a memory book yeah. for your photographs with it. And you've yep. made it with love, so it's extra. Like you a calendar. You can't source. put a price on it, Absolutely can you? Absolutely agreed. Absolutely agreed. So, should we see the next one? Okay, so now we're on to sparkling bouquet, but Hells, you're all right with my favourites. So, sparkling bouquet, this is oh. beautiful shades of beige is too, mm. it's too common a colour to, mm. to describe yeah, it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, but you've got that beautiful dusky uh, blue it's like it's there. almost a sepia and tones in there, isn't sepia it? Sepia is yeah. a better word. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep You it. can have that, look. Shall we keep Zena? <laughs> yeah, we'll I didn't it. start well, did I, by knocking no, all your no. stuff off? Well, we've forgiven you now. <laughs> that, Thank that's, you. That's, 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 yeah. If you that's, don't knock the stuff off, yeah. don't get disturbed. Oh, I'm all right then, <laughs> girls. Thank you. You're too kind. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's in the past now. Oh, we're all right. That's been and gone. So you've got your square toppers, different sizes your larger cards but you can split these all up as well yeah and you know I love cutting out and I do have dexterity problems with my hands because again for those people who have followed me over the years they've been through all my broken bones with me oh bless you um, oh dear oh, I've just been I've just been <laughs> thrust a scar in my face <laughs> that that was um no, I didn't chase the postman. Andy Love went on air and told everybody I chased the postman. Oh, he's a devil, isn't he? And he man? wasn't good looking and it wasn't the dog's day off. I just wanted to ask him a question <laughs> and I fell. I, I stood on a stone and oh. went like that and totally smashed my wrist. Oh, darling. Um, but went on air with a plaster cast from oh, did you? my wrist up to... Oh, yeah. like the carry-on film. Oh, yes. <laughs> We were just saying as well, I know this is, I know we don't like to talk about it, but it's an inevitability to us all. I'm going to a very close friend's funeral tomorrow. I'm dreading it because it's a burial and I'm thinking, oh. Anyway, we were just saying these colours are beautiful as well they for would. muted sympathy cards as they well. They would. Um, yeah. All occasions, mm. you know, happy, sad, yeah. young, old. Yeah, um, exactly. And perfect. And a wedding yeah. They would. Yes. So many crosses everything, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Because these backing papers, I mean, this one here, that is gorgeous. Yeah, I so delicate, isn't it? Yeah. And then click on next and we've got your classic. So we've got gorgeous. your stripes and then we've got like a... It's like Ooh, a like, almost like an animal print, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And then we've got your two colours there. But again, great for the gents' cards as yes. well. Totally neutral. Yeah. Lovely. But, um, beautiful mm. um, inserts Lovely. there. And then you can see the four colours. Yeah. And you've got your alphabet tiles to personalise. That's what I mean. Do you know, they would be great for teaching the kids how to spell. Exactly. My great niece is uh, coming up, she'll be five in January, mm. going on 15. <laughs> and um, that would be great. I, cr I craft with her. I used to craft with her dad. Yeah. 
but I still craft with her dad because he joins in. Um, and when I go to their house, um, yeah, we sit and do some crafting. I bought her a little die cutting machine oh, and what have brilliant. you. Oh, brilliant. Look at those. Um, beautiful gift tags, those. But I love there. the way you've done some with flowers and some plain. Yes. I really like that. And That's the same great. with the, yep. um, the pennants there. Yeah. So that is your sparkling bouquet. Beautiful. Absolutely. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out here now. I honestly believe, and, and again, I'm quite I don't mind being told off because I know I'm new to this, but I just say it as I see it. I think that $14.99 for this collection is worth it just for the sentiments and the personalization with the with the with the with the letters as well. Because you you're don't making just, your money there. Yeah, you don't just use them with these. That's I mean, mean that's with everything thing, you do. Each of these collections, if you buy them individually and you can because they're on your website. Mm is 4.99 so there's 25 so you're only paying for three and we haven't shown you the freebie yet that you're so you're paying for get. three you're getting three free well, yeah ex exactly you? you're only paying for half oh, price them aren't you today so do you want me to show you the final one and then well, hand over i would say yes can we have a really quick reminder of anybody that's just joined us because we're an hour into the show just a really quick heads up and reminder housekeeping on how, what they do if they want to buy it so put it in the basket right. and what put then the basket um Tonight, all the orders will be sorted. So the orders will come through to us tomorrow. Okay. We will then start sending you out emails. Look out for an email that says from the Crafty Witches. So we need a relevant yeah. up-to-date email address. You need an up-to-date email address. Okay. If you don't get one within 48 hours, an email, it, it, have a look in your spam folder, have yep. a look in your junk folder. Yep. If it's not there, contact us at hello at the crafty witches .co .uk. that's an email um again go to our website it's all on there tell us you haven't got it give us your order number and they'll sort you and out. and we'll sort it out that you know we can copy and paste and send you the link. A download link yeah that you're going to that you're paying for if if you don't get the email and um you, you contact us again it could be that your security has um not let the email through because it's got links in it. Again, let us know. If you haven't got it within 48 hours, we are witches, we're not psychics, so we don't know that you haven't got exactly. the email. Exactly, tell them and they'll sort Unless it, it bounces back yeah. to us, we have to assume that you've yeah. received it. You will then go to the, it'll give you a list of step-by-step -step comprehensive instructions. instructions that I have written. And at the bottom of it, there will be a code that when you go to the second page, you put the code in, it takes the price off, so you're getting it for the price you've because you should be twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, without paid, the freebie, you've paid it to um, Hobby Maker, and then you will get two emails: one confirming your order and one with the download Absolutely. link. Absolutely, and that's and it's as simple as that. Now then, just quickly as well. If you've bought lots of other things from this morning, it might have been Pauline's crackers, it might have been the Hobby Maker highlight, which we're repeating at three o'clock with Sandra from Santangle. We've got Crafters Companion this afternoon. If you buy lots of other things, you still only pay your post and packaging once, which for most of us in the main part of the United Kingdom is £3.95. But the good news is if you only buy this from the Crafty Witches, you will still get charged your post and packaging, but because it's a download, we will automatically reimburse you for that post and packaging within the next 48 hours or so. So that will automatically happen. So if you only buy the download from the Crafty Witches, the PMP will be reimbursed for you. So the only thing I will mention now, because obviously it's all about looking after each other here and looking after each other as, as crafters, obviously when the girls send you the email with the link to, the, to access this, this is non-refundable. So once you've paid for this order at $14.99, the 30-day money-back guarantee is not applicable, which I'm sure you can understand the reasons why. So when you buy, you wouldn't want to anyway, but I'm just saying this is non-refundable. Okay, so just to, that's all the housekeeping, but it'll be the best $14.99 you spend. I can promise you that. Anyway, sorry, there's your housekeeping. <laughs> okay, so I've got um, my favourites. This is my favourites, and this has been enlarged. Do you want to show them how to do a sandwich? Yes. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Great. Right. Yeah, why not? Right. Great. Like. Let's go into so this cool, one. The really cool thing about having a digital download is that you can actually, as Linda's shown you, you can resize it yeah. in your print options, but you can also take a snapshot and then resize each individual one. Brilliant. So, Linda's going to show you how to do it. Okay. It's dead simple. Right. It. Thank you, Dan. Because I taught her. <laughs> I know, and then you forgot, so I taught you back. Oh, touche. Touche, hells. <laughs> right, so can we call this up, um, Dan? Is that possible? Mm -hmm. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Dan. Okay, right. so I click on the top sheet. So this is the topper that Hells is going to use. Go into edit. 
and go into more. Now, this is my version of Adobe Reader. Okay. You might be using Foxit, you might be using a different version of Adobe Reader, but you're looking for snapshot. Take a snapshot, okay. click on that, and then we're going to draw ah. a square oh, so over it. it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let it go. It says it's been copied. Okay. Click on OK. Go to your printer, and there it is. Oh, wow. Now, this is my printer properties box. Yours might be different, depends what printer you're using. Mm. This is where, if I go into properties, this is where I can change the, um, the intensity of the ink yep. and what have you. But you're looking for a box that says custom scale, custom scale, adjust size. Okay. Something with a percentage. Ah. Now, that is at 100%. Okay. That is as it, as is, it is on the sheet. Yep. So if I change this to 150 and click on there, oh, it's changed the size. Great. These are just the bits that I caught because you can't get exactly over the box. You'll always get a bit extra. If I change this to, let's try 200, but it might be too, too big, big, but it's not. Oh, it's look. perfect. Great. But when you print it out, it has lost none of the integrity. Nope. nope. Now, if we want to go the wow. other way, let me close this down and get rid of this. If we want to make it smaller, I just go into print and then I just change that to 75 or 72 okay. and it will, it oh, will clever. change the size of it. Brilliant. If I go back to 100 again, click on there. It's not going to do it. Let's choose another one. Let's, yeah, let's give you this one. Mm -hmm. Let's go into print again. Mm -hmm. And let's go down to 50. And click on that. See how oh, it's taken it down. Wow. So if this you make here brilliant. six cards, yep. if you printed that out, that big one out at full size, it, it wouldn't even dwarf, fit on the it? card. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how you chop and change your brilliant. sizes. This is so it's easy, as simple as that. It? And again, the instructions on how to do that is on your download in your how to but it's also folder. on your website it's the also on the website as yeah. well so you're never yeah. alone and again if you want to re-watch this show back that i would make sure you do that just go to hobbymaker.co.uk next to the search box at the top click on tv guide click on today's show at one o'clock and uh, you've got all this all the demos all the information all the how to's again so you can keep that forever on a down again it's on download isn't it so sorry that's okay because I want, because I know that we're doing the resize, so I wanted Linda to show. Yeah, no, brilliant. To do it. Thank you. So, but like Linda said, if you can't remember, then just it's all the information's there for you Great. anyway. And if you but get stuck, we'll even. Although it's not for us to show you how to yeah. use Adobe Reader or yeah. your Foxit or what have you, we will help you get the most out of your digital. Ke does Kevin do that? Well, that's when Kevin that's the Warlock Kevin. comes into. Ke oh, form. he's a good lad. He Very teaches, gentle. Apparently, he teaches us a trick or two, there doesn't he? We does. all need a Kevin. Yeah, he well, does, we all he need does to all the technical stuff, and he'll tell me technical stuff, and I'll say, okay. Yeah. And he'll just she, go, like, she hasn't you, got, you haven't got it out. Yeah. hasn't got a clue what's <laughs> on. No, not a scoop. I'm thing. just like that. Yep. <laughs> so, right. what Linda's just shown you, this is what it looks like when it's printed out. So, you'll see on your A4 wow. sheet, that's the original size. Uh -huh. And then that's at 200%. Was that 175% oh, one, that one? Goodness. Yeah, that's 175%. Wow. So look at the difference, but it's, it's not pixelated. You've still got all of that beautiful detail because yeah. of the DPI of the PDF. Yeah. See, I do know some technical things. <laughs> don't very very it, impressive. Don't know, it, don't know what it means. But <laughs> I can say it. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've learned the jargon. I don't know what it means, but... I don't talk the to talk know. and all that, yeah. You see, I, I'm on a need-to-know basis. I oh, don't I'm learn stuff if, I, if it's not necessary because it'll take up valuable space. I don't know if I still want to learn it if I need to know it. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Oh, look, it's just oh. printed at 200%. Oh, she don't miss a trick, this one. She's good, isn't she? Hello. Oh, I have to... She's good, you know, Well, you see, I couldn't talk to her because she was on her way back from oh, a holly bobs, yeah. you know. Not going off to these foreign places. Hello. On my way back. And mm. having... I'm glad you had a lovely holiday. Called. Yeah, it that's was great. Yeah, I'm in the oh, this time last week. What were you doing? Um, oh, 
Oh, quite possibly too. Sitting probably on the drinking beach sitting with a pina colada, <laughs> non-alcoholic. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, right. Okay, hold <laughs> If you yeah, believe yeah. that. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, yeah, I mean, come it's on. It's a pig just floored exactly. across. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone off on your broomstick, I tell you. <laughs> He's yeah, where's your broomstick today? Yeah. I forgot it. I bought oh. her a broomstick, a new oh. all singing, all dancing oh, broomstick. You know, you know, you know it off uh, that jungle yeah, website. That old, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but it was really cold and it would have taken too long to de-ice it. <laughs> and I thought, the, there's absolutely no way that I'm going to be going along the M6 on my broomstick. Now, you see, I, I prefer to use foam pads. Hells likes a glue gel, but I prefer foam pads. Yeah. Um, I think it depends as well if you're keeping it flat. If I yeah. wanted that nice and curved, I'd yeah. use glue gel. Yeah. But that's what pads. effect you want at the end, isn't it? I exactly. Love that. As well with foam Lovely. pads, once you stick them down, they're stuck down. But if you put a bit of glue, get yeah. a glue stick, yeah. and just put a bit of glue, you do get a bit of wiggle time with oh, them. Okay. You do. Getting all the tips and tricks off you lot, haven't we? Oh, we've been in this game a long Aye. time. Haven't we, Hells? We have. They've been in it 40 years, they're only 27. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> The that was round about my perfect age. Is that 27? Yeah. yeah. Oops. Yeah, I think mine was about 30. Yeah. And it all goes downhill, doesn't it? At a rapid rate. Well, <laughs> it, it, was, it was 40 that got me. I did not want to be 40. I didn't mind 30, didn't mind 50. See, I was happy. I didn't, want to be, I didn't want to be 30, but 40, I was fine. I'm uh, 50, I was fine, uh, but... Nah, you're never 50. 30 was the I'm one 51. That got me. Oh, God. I love you. Yeah. Oh, be I've done. I wouldn't have thought that I, would you, Hells. Did you not mm. think I was did you not think I was fifty? Did no. you think fifty fifty seven, sixty? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I would have said Is it the acne? mid thirties, early forties. Oh, you can come again. No, my fortieth birthday I only had it because I had a party. Oh, you gotta have a party. Yeah. Um, I didn't get a 50th because it was COVID. I didn't. I was really oh, looking forward to party. Yeah. I, had, I had a 50th. I'm having a birthday. fake 50th next year. I oh, see so you're with me. You're 50. Um, I'm 52 now. Oh, I'm 52 in Jan. I'm not far from you. Yeah, I'm 53 oh, next you year. You look. Ama you all look amazing. You do, don't you look at me like that, Linda? <laughs> <laughs> I got the glare. <laughs> I honestly have to say, I am absolutely, and excuse the pun, spellbound by all of this collection <laughs> and the price point is phenomenal. I feel like you've just, I feel like we're robbing you. I do. <laughs> How it feels. It's, it's because you're cutting out the middle yeah. man. Well, we know that about and, here because that's what um, we do, jewellery maker and You know, you can and... put as much into a download as, as you, you want. Can. So... Um, valley for, it's still very jet look at that we've added yeah. more in yeah um, especially what we did on the you. first one first so of all, now, i want to show you because if you haven't got a paper trimmer if you are really really new to craft yeah because these are all straight lines just a pair of scissors you just, i was gonna say you just cut, you don't even need cut a trimmer do you straight line and then you could add in one of the smaller ones let's add that one up there yeah, go on let's have another one let's have another i one. love these so, um strip lines. sentiments because yeah. they can fit in any card can't they help exactly can. It's so just we'll lovely. But then you like you say you've also got the personalisation aspect as well, well with all the You letters. see, if this was a, a kit, a paper printed kit, to do that wolf, you'd have to use three of the same topper mm. and you might only get two in yeah. a kit. And then you can't so you can't do and that. And then you're done and that's it. But then, you know, you can put all your bits and pieces in another box for that's another good, day. Yeah. So, you know, you so print off and brilliant. just cut out what you need. 14, and the other cool thing about this is that you can cut it. I'm just going to cut this one wonky on purpose so you're making a feature of it. So I'm cutting into it. I'm going to pick my tweezers up with this one because... Well, you need a good pair of tweezers, don't you? Do. You do. It's good to have a pair of tweezers. Totally agree. If you've got sausage fingers like what I've got. <laughs> oh, God, so aren't we hard on ourselves? <laughs> Especially us women, we're so hard on ourselves. You have not got sausage fingers. On your special day. And do you know if you make the card and you don't like it, Zena, just you, print it out and make it. And that's one. the thing, it's not, not like you're under any pressure, no, are you? And you're not going to cry because you've used. You've got, you've I've got a set of papers up on the top of my wall um, storage in my office craft room, and they've been there for over. For nearly 20 years. Really? They're very, you only got one sheet of each. And I get oh. it out every now and again. I had a tidy out in my craft room in August when I was retiring. 
and I, I, I hadn't looked at them for 16 years, wow. about 16 years, but I, I, I couldn't part with them. They're back up on the shelf again. Nostalgic. I've got the <laughs> same ones. Have you? Yeah, I can't oh. bring myself to you. <coughs> it was this company so that's nice. no longer in existence. Oh, so right. you can't get them anymore. No. But, and they're just so precious. Can we see that again? Would yeah, you mind? I'm so sorry. I don't feel like we finished properly looked at that. And it's absolutely stunning. There we go. Look at that. Look at him. Rawr. Rawr. Oh. That's, that's what Lexi looks like when she wants her breakfast. Yeah, I know that she face. Looks she looks yeah. firm eye. Yeah. Like Still smiling that. though, that wolf. <laughs> Still smiling. It's not a menacing wolf, is it? It's a lovely little, oh, I know what you did last night. Look, <laughs> that is stunning. Thank you. Thank you. And oh, would you believe... We're still not finished with the collection for £14.90. I'm still not done. So should we sit? Thank you, Hells. Thank you, lovely. What we got next? So next we've got Twilight Garden. This, this the birdie one. one. This is, it's like um, a bit magical. Oh, you yeah, with a cat and everything. Because you've got that cat on that beautiful yeah. moon. And the, the, the lovely sort of, the, I think they're made up birds. I don't think they're real birds. Um, so they're your circles. Uh-huh. Here's your squares, and here are your larger toppers. Mm -hmm. So you could cut this one out. You can see you've got the, the lines there to follow. Or you could cut the four corners off, or you could just have this as a topper separately. Yeah. Then you've got um, the four squares oh, there, and you've got some without that. the birds yeah. on and the cat. Butterfly. Then you there? just click on next, oh, yeah. and you've got your backing papers. Beautiful backing papers. This I love this one. Isn't oh, that lovely? That wow. one. It's like an aubergine. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Is that a moth or a butterfly? It's I beautiful. think it's a moth. A moth, you know, can be just as beautiful I agree. as butterflies yeah. are. That's a beautiful. Do you know what? I used to have a doll's house. Mm. I never had a doll's house as a child. I had a deprived childhood. I couldn't, I went, I'm the oldest of five and oh, toys, yeah. you know, oh, oh. we had to share, we even had to share a bike mm. between five of us, which <laughs> was never easy. But I had a doll's house when I was older. That would be beautiful. Wouldn't just it, as a wallpaper. Downsized a little yeah. bit. Like on a feature wall. Yeah, you can do all that though, can't you? And then we've got this, that's a beautiful yeah. one as well. So lovely, it? so unusual. And then we've got your... That's like a dusky yeah. um, pink. Yep. Then you've got your grey dots. Gorgeous. Very usable. And then you've usable. got your dusky pink, and that's almost and like... again, very that's unisex, like a, all of it. That's yeah. like a plum colour, mm. isn't it? Click on next. You've got these beautiful oh, yeah. inserts. Beautiful. And really the creative. one with the bird on. Now, oh, you could take that. that. We could do a snapshot just of that one there. Shall we do it? Yeah, the bird. Right. So yeah. edit more. Take a snapshot and just highlight it again. Highlight yeah. that. Let it go. Go into print. There it is there. We could blow it to 150. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can I borrow that? Mm. Thank you, darling. I'll and show then you. you could put that on a cushion pan panel or a tote. I mean, how's it turn that into this beautiful Beautiful little little purse, little bag. You've got the the, uh, the gorgeous moth on the back there, look. And then, I mean, this needs to go on our sewing channel as well. It's just adorable, isn't it? These are only printed on, is, what, what do you, you don't print these on full, like the full best colour, do you? No, just on the plain paper setting, in yeah. my print settings, because anything that's going to be more absorbent, if you print it on breast quality, it's going to get saturated. Oh, so you don't do these on best quality? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's good. just on plain paper. Mm -hmm. So, like vellum, the Sumi paper yeah. that I use, um, acetate, anything like that, you don't want to overload it. Okay. So, fabrics, um, the iron on transfer, which I didn't get a chance to do yesterday, unfortunately, but having just come back on holidays. <laughs> Did you mention that? She should have. She, she, has anybody mentioned she that Tara has been on holiday? <laughs> uh, I, she should have stayed up late and got it done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've not got excess baggage on my broomstick. I wouldn't be <laughs> uh, bags for me if I'd stayed up late. <laughs> oh. I love it. See how the yeah. colours, when you when you see the sentiments, you'll see how all the colours go together. They, they, it's the, just, they like you say, nothing jars yeah. with anything. Yeah. Everything blends, everything works. And then you've got your alphabets. 
Chakra. And then got all your ordinals yeah. on there as well, yeah. You've got your florals, your leaves, your tags. So these are great for your journals, Absolutely, your memory yeah. books. Yep. Scrapbook and then and you've got your yep. pennants as well. So now you've seen all five collections. But you said there was a Brucey bonus. There is a Brucey bonus. Can I just say as well that you're only paying for three. So each one of these collections you could buy on the website individually for four nine five pounds each. They're all there. You can do that. But with this collection at fourteen ninety nine, the ladies are giving you two for free. That's ten pounds off, and they're about to give you an additional item for free. So basically, you're getting the whole collection for half price. And Christmas is a time for giving. It is. You've proven that. <laughs> Hey. Well, what we've done, is, as I say, we've as a business, we've only been like I can't believe we, this. we launched on the channel here on the fourteenth of October. So we're evolving. We're finding easier ways to bring the products to you. So Brilliant. the book of spells. Normally, we would have given you those five collections separately. Yeah. But what we've done to make it easier for those of you who are not really tech savvy. Yeah, tech yeah. savvy. I'm one of them. We've put them into this book to make it's it very easier usable. for you. Yeah. Now then, let's um, go into the celestial skies. Right. So this is your spellbinding classics. Now so is this, this a complete freebie one. This is the Ooh, freebie one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now this one is building up into a library of thirty collections 30 30 so if we're here long enough to give you 30 freebies which we hope we will be won't we oh yes um we're giving you 10 color families oh and in okay. each color family we're giving you dark medium and light oh clever so the yeah. the first three we gave you were the grays so right. we gave you um midnight which was the dark, mm. Twilight, which was the medium, and Daybreak, which was the light collection in the grey tones. We're now giving you, I don't I have no idea what this You've is. You've got some lovely pop-ups. You could be in real trouble <laughs> soon. You could, couldn't you? Um, <laughs> this is... <laughs> see what, this is see what your viewing history is here, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Honestly, you girls. Colin, I hope you've not been on her laptop. That's no, all I can say. No, he doesn't go on my laptop. <laughs> This is because we're connected to your Wi-Fi. <laughs> so it could be You blame some... us, Linda. I will. Go on, you no blame us. <laughs> so this is your second lot of colours now. These Brilliant. are your blues. Oh, so this gosh, is this celestial. Popular. So these are papers that you would use in your everyday crafting. Mm. So you can use this with any, any other suppliers, any other companies. So what we've given you is like swirls. Oh, I love it. Stars. <gasps> That's my favourite. That's my favourite. Hearts. Oh, this is brilliant. Florals. And again, your angel policy is that we can still sell can what sell. we make, can't we? So brilliant. we're giving you the checks. Well, that goes the one with the men's collection with the car. Yes. Like the checkerboard flag. Click on next. We've given you the ginghams. We've given you the stripes. But then we've also given you the stripes, positive love and it. negative. Love it. And then we've given you little dots ditzy dots bigger dots and you've gone dotty large dots Oi. oh so wow. they're all the Brilliant. negatives okay now we're going to show you the positives so there's your swirls nice i like that one there's yeah. your stars Ooh. there's your hearts valentines your Sorted. ditzy flowers we all know somebody that's ditzy yep then we've got your solid colour, because right. you had to have your solid yeah. colour. Yeah. Because mm. that's where it all starts. Mm, when you're layering There's and stuff as well. There's your ginghams. Oh, There's your day. stripes. Mm -hmm. There's more stripes. Then here are your dots. These are your positive dots. So you've got, got yeah. your ditzy dots. Ditzy dots and dozy dots. large dots. And your larger ones. Now... Oh. I don't know about you, Zena, but I like everything. Everything's got to match perfectly. Yeah, I'm right? exactly that person, yes. I am a Virgo. And yes. if if it's, if it's you've got a pinky purple, I can't put a bluey purple no, with it. No. And there are pinky purples and bluey yep. purples. 100%. It, it, it's like running your fingers down, down the blackboard. Black board. Isn't it? It's like, uh, uh. So as long as you're using the same printer mm -hmm. to print your stuff, you will always get the same shade of blue. Okay. Because you're using the same printer. So you've done So we've done your... Um, Alphabet tiles, we've done uppercase. And the ordinals. We've done and the ordinals. We've done lowercase. Then what's we've that done, one? That's your no, lowercase. No, that one at the end. What's that one? That's 
even smaller. Oh, brilliant. So we've done that. Oh, you're in. right, you are. Yeah, all the old And then we've oh, done them in lowercase. And then you've got your relatives. Oh, and you've with got different step spellings. Father, thank yeah. you. Now, my mum was my mum. Yeah. Some people's mums are the mums. Yeah. Some people's mums are the moms. Oh, just thank you. Can I just say, yeah, in the Midlands, it's mom. Mom. You cannot yeah. buy a card in any... And I've tried for... 51 years, well, the ones where I could actually go, go into a shop. I didn't when I was a baby, obviously, but you cannot get really? a mum card. Because up north, anywhere. Up north, you can get mum cards. Yeah, you can't get mum. Because when you call a mum or a mam, that, that's their name. Well, yeah. You can't then go mum, because it's like no. you're calling them the wrong name. Well, they think you go and posh on them, don't they? And, and how many people, I'm sorry, get me on my soapbox here. How many parents have split up? You can't get stepmum no. and stepdad. It's and, honestly, and I've, I've spent years trying to find a stepdad yeah. card. I'm an auntie with an IE. Yes. What if you're an auntie with a oh Y. My, you see? Yeah. So we've given I you like them. that. And then we've given You've you covered them. everybody. And then we've got your sentiments oh, there as well. Wow. Awesome. So this is your freebie. Oh, 14 90. That's not bad for. Can we have a little look at them, like real? Yeah. In like real. Just, do you want to do a show? Yeah. Showing? I've just printed a few of them off. So that's your um, positive Sorry. swirls. Look at that. And that's your negative swirls. Yeah. That's your positive stars. I love stars. And your negative Ooh, stars. Ooh, la la. And then your positive dots. Yep. And your negative dots. Yeah. As I say, these are just a few of them. There's oh. your sentiments. Brilliant. You've got everything. Your there. auntie and uncle, your relatives, and yeah. there's your sentiments. Brilliant. You've got and everything. And you're getting that for free. Yeah. And again, the next two lots of uh, projects that we yeah. launch, you'll get the next two in this selection. Brilliant. And, and then you'll have, you'll have two of the ten sets in your library. So this, these are your spellbinding classics. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, come on. Um, also, no, we talked about, you. depending on what you can put through, your printer, you can print on too. So earlier on, we can show this again, couldn't we, Hells? Yeah, do you Hells, want to? Yeah, we, we had vellum, fabric. You can do acetate. Should we have a... Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, you... Oh, do you oh, am I allowed? Oh, you're allowed, yeah. Ooh, do -do. Right then, so, fabric. Now, which collection was this one? That's the sparkling bouquet. Sparkling bouquet. You'd think that was a, you would say, that's a fancy, you, it's not one of your 25,000 printers. This is your everyday printer that we've got in our own homes. It is, yeah, yep. it's just an eco tank. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. So this is your everyday printer. Standard office printer. Yeah, standard office printer, yeah. Now this is your vellum. Look at that, Andy. Now Andy, our big channel sales manager is now in the uh, producer's chair. It's very important, big wig. Look at that, that's vellum. That's good, isn't it? You think about that and you're asked to do it. Oh, now you did say, do you still do high, the highest no, quality on no. these? No. So what do we do? You're just plain paper. Because when you're doing it on a better quality, it means there's more ink going onto the, the card or the printing okay. medium. So if you just do it on plain paper setting, okay. you're not going to oversaturate it. So right. anything that's not absorbent, like okay. acetate or a vellum, where it's going to sit on the surface, uh -huh. Just Take your time. Yeah. yeah. And also anything that's super absorbent, like a fabric, yeah. then just do it on the plain paper yeah. setting. But the rest of the time for all the card yeah. making things, we yeah. want it on full, full. But as well, when you're printing on a like a acetate, give it time to dry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did a really cool thing it. though, because I printed on acetate and put copy paper over the top oh. while it was still wet and then rubbed across and did oh, like God. a print transfer. Oh, I like that. that I did look really cool. Ooh, yeah. That's not. Now, is that, that's your normal printer paper, isn't it? Yeah, that's just copy that's paper. That's just copy paper. Yeah. That's copy paper. That's, that's how good that's this is. That's on plain paper as well. Yeah. That's amazing. And then this is the, this is your pearlised one, isn't it? That's the card. Now look yeah. at, look at the effect there. I mean, this is absolutely, you see what I mean? This is the collection that just keeps on giving, doesn't it? <laughs> so just to reiterate as well, if you only buy this item today, just this one, we automatically charge you the one day's post and packaging, but because it's a download and you get the link, what happens is we will then reimburse you that post and packaging. Now, however said that, if you've bought Pauline's crackers this morning and you bought the Hobby Maker highlight that's about to be repeated from Sandra at three o'clock from Santangle, or you want anything from Crafters Companion this afternoon, then you will still pay your standard. And that's for most of us, the £3.95. That will apply including this as well. 
You only get it reimbursed if you only buy this. And also, just remember, because you're buying a link and a download, once it's in your possession, it is obviously non-returnable. So your 30-day money-back guarantee, not that you'd want it or need it, you wouldn't have that applied to this code. Okay, but I'm sure you can all agree that's absolutely fair. So that's all the housekeeping. Brilliant. Because <laughs> of the what, you know. Now, Linda, is there anything you else you want to show us on well, the... Well, we've showed you everything, but if somebody's just joined, yeah. do you want me to show them I think it's a good idea, that? yeah. Right. We so, might even squeeze in another demo, might we, as oh, well? You yeah. never know. Are you ready? Wait, him. Oh, yeah, I think we will, Hel. So, when you get your download, um, yeah. you will... Um, well, how does it get sent out? So, so OK, yeah, so let's right. go back. I put that in my basket on brand new. I've never ordered before, and I, and I go, right, put that in my... Hobbymaker.co.uk, great. Or if you haven't got Wi-Fi, you can call the call centre. Right, got the number, brilliant. They're just up here. Yeah, they're not they're not abroad you know they're fine you'll get them they're really helpful again free phone number credit card paypal debit card it's dead easy for you to lose your money to us it's fine <laughs> uh, so there's your code there's your there's your amount 14.99 you're not paying for hardly any of it and you're getting freebies 10 quid well you're actually getting free paying for three and getting three free that's yes, right. that's right. Um, so they put the code in. I've put my code into Hobby Maker. What happens then? Right, you will get sent an email from, and it'll be titled Download Instructions from the Crafty Witches. It will have your instructions of where you need to go to on our website because okay. you have to retrieve it from our website. Okay, fair enough. You will get a code according to what product you've bought from the show. Okay. It tells you step by step how to retrieve that okay great and then you will get an email from us download instructions from the crafty witch right yep you click on the link and it will download uh, to your downloads file as a zipped file it comes as a zip file so we compress it like vacuum because pack. believe it or not you know some of the collections we sell you send you are over one gigabytes I'm not surprised this, with this one's lot. not too big but one of our big collections would be one and a half gigabytes right. or something like that so you have to unzip it. When you unzip it, if you buy the one, the, the product with the free um, Spellbinding Classics, when you unzip the first folder, you'll have two more folders to unzip. So then you would unzip that one. You will get a list that says autoplay, auto run, and three more files. Okay. Disregard the three files. Okay. If you're a Mac user, you use the autoplay, and then you go into Docs. If you are a Windows-based PC user, you just go into AutoPlay and when you, uh, sorry, AutoRun or AutoRun.exe, depending on how your computer. So it's set run up. if you Windows, it's play if you Mac. Exactly. There you go. And then you will get this fabulous it looking book and it's so easy to follow but again if you've got any queries you can either re-watch this show back the last hour and so all you do hobbymaker.co.uk search bar at the top go on the tv guide you can click on the day to day click on one o'clock you watch this as many times as you like so it's another download effectively or through youtube and again, on the craftywitches.co.uk website, there's all the how-tos there as well. There's so all the how-tos, yeah, easy. because obviously if you can't get into your download, you can't get into the how-tos on your download. Yeah. So they're on the website, so you can go to there and see, right, okay, I, need a, I yeah. should have done that. Yeah. But, but get in touch with us. They've got a Kevin. We've we got all a need Kevin. a Kevin. Kevin's yeah. going to help you with any technology yeah. as well, and he's really nice, apparently. Now, you even get sound effects, but we have, we've had to switch the sound off on my it, yeah. uh, laptop because it... It's it, lovely, honestly. You'll love it. It goes tinkle. It just tinkles like you're just waving your wand. So if we can have like a, a look spell at spell noise. You know, like Harry Potter. spells. Yes. This what is, happens? This is the interface that we've decided on going forward because, yeah. as we say, you know, we've only been yeah. in existence for about eight weeks. It's incredible what you've done in eight weeks, isn't it? So, to have this um, as an interface, it's I phenomenal. I came up with the idea, let's have a book of spells. Yeah. So Becky um, did this. You click on the cauldron that says enter. Okay. And the book dissolves oh. and you'll get the tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle right? noise. And then down here, well, there's the, um, the website. Down here are your contact yes, brilliant how to contact us great how to files and you can see download and unzip file you can oh, transfer now if you it. don't want to keep all of these downloads on your laptop because you think you're taking up space you can put them on a usb if you want to it's a good idea isn't um, it you can put, put them on one of those external drives that you can get from that website that's the name of a jungle <laughs> That they only cost they cost about twenty pounds and you can you get about two terabytes on them. Yeah, they are good. See, Hell's has got yes. one. 
if you know, Hells yeah. knows how to do it now. She, she's a whiz now. She's a whizzy, she's a whizzy witch. But I taught her all she knows. <laughs> it tells you how to print off your papers, how to Brilliant. understand SVG files, and that might come in handy soon. Yeah. Use SVG files. Use SVG files with. We've got. You know. Use SVG files with the cricket. Use them with the other machines. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Can I just, I've just seen a VT and I'm really jealous and I've got a bone to pick with you, Andy Love. <laughs> Andy Love, you've done it on a day I'm not in. I'm not happy with you. Actually, no, I can watch it at home. Scrap that, I am happy. We're launching the cricket. So I've heard. The cricket, the cricket on Thursday. So you can use this with that. Okay. <gasps> if you've, if the, if the digital downloads has got SVG files on, you can use our SVG files oh, with the cricket man. machine. Can I just confirm? Is that two o'clock on Thursday? Put, set your two o'clock and five o'clock. You are not going to want to miss this on Thursday. It's going to be huge. Sorry, I'm so excited. And it's exclusive bundles to us here at Hobby Make. I'm actually really chuffed it's my day off because I can buy it. Brilliant. Thank you. Sorry, I'm excited about that. <laughs> so click on back. It gives you the terms and conditions. When you press on these buttons, they, they pop. They pop like a bubble. Yes. At so the you, cauldron. You can play with the sound effects as well. <laughs> so then once you've opened the pages, here are your five. And I love that you've got the thumbnail so we can visually yeah. see what they are. So Brilliant, saves time. It just goes, we'll quickly go through this one and then we can... So that was the cute dinosaur and the dragons, wasn't it's it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. The mother-in-law file, we called yeah. it, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> so these, you know, there's something there. When we do the book of spells, we're going to try and bring things for all, you yeah. know, all generations yeah. and for girls and boys. No age limit. Ages. Um, yeah. And five generic collections yeah. that will build up into a library. And if you go on That's our website, gents. these have never been seen before up until now. Absolutely. They've only just Brand new been today. released today. Um, so you are getting the, the newest collection. That whole collection for gents as well as. Yeah. I mean, that's just great. And these are 4 99 each on our website. And they're limitless and the angel policy is that you can make and sell once you've made your beautiful collection. So, and there's no restriction to how many times you print them off either. And you, you just print on demand. Yeah. You, don't, you don't have the that's problem the point. of storing That's them. what we said, didn't we? You, know, you haven't got to have it, the space. Houses are getting smaller yeah. and some people only have, they, they don't have the joy of having a, a, no. a dedicated their own craft, room. craft room. And you can have trouble if you do live with somebody that isn't into crafting, you can have that little bit of argy-bargy of the can. fact that they don't like their space invaded with all the stuff. You know, the dining room becomes the craft room and it's, you know, your dinner's ready and it's like, you know, there's a, this, this stops all of that. It just stops and it all in its tracks. As we said, it's eco-friendly. Because yes. there's no plastic case, mm -hmm. there's no USB, nope. there's nobody using a van to deliver it to your door, no. and you can hide it from your other half. Hide it from yourself. They don't know you've got it. <laughs> they don't know it's been delivered straight to you. But your what person. a great gift as well. If you're buying for somebody, like I've got a lovely friend, Dorothy, she's just turned 80. If you're watching, hello, Dorothy, she's emigrated to New Zealand, and I want to send her something. Well, it becomes really expensive. I can email her this. Mm. This can be, I can buy this for her. You could. You, I know you could email this to my friend. Yes. You could then FaceTime or WhatsApp. And work together. And work together. Ha what a lovely idea that is. You know, craft across the oceans. They don't have, you don't, you know, it's just a nice thing to do, isn't it? You know, and then I haven't got to think about the postage. How long is it going to take? Is anybody on strike? What's the cost of the weight? Well, it's none well, of that. We've, we've got customers already in America and Canada oh, now yeah. who, because, you know, they don't have to wait for it. Exactly. And yeah. pay in worry about customs, customs can you send it yeah, in through the border there's none of that see yeah. it's, it's massive actually when you think yeah. about it isn't it i mean how much if you actually printed this all off right and you didn't have the one post and package and you wanted to send i wanted to send all this to my friend dorothy how much would it cost me to yeah. package out to new zealand I well, I sent a I sent a mince pie tin to her because she wanted a proper mince pie. They don't do mince pie tins in New Zealand, apparently. <laughs> Not the right ones, because you know an eight year old is very particular about mince pie tin. Do you know how much it cost me? The mince pie tin was twelve quid. Do you want it cost <laughs> me to send it? Twenty three quid. Twenty three quid to send the book, and it's not very heavy. You don't start me anyway. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, then do your soap box. Yes, off. Yeah, she's on her soap box. She's all right. Can we have another demo? Yes, indeed. Thank so you. this is the sparkling bouquet and we've got one of the beautiful inserts. I love this. Um, yeah. It's like a 
five-sided, but it's a regular shape. Cool, it's really so quirky, it's got, isn't it? Yeah, it? it's got a name, but yeah. I can't remember what it is. So it's a thingy shape. Yeah. So I'm just going to lay Look that at one. colour, though. Like so. And then one of those beautiful sentiments. And I've taken the grey, which matches in perfectly yeah. with this colour down here. And we'll bob that one in there. But of course, you could print that out and then run it through your printer again if you've yeah. done your own sentiment in Word. Yeah. Add your stamped images to it. if you Personalise it with the alphabet. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So the other side of this mm. insert had got this set of flowers. Oh. So what I've done is I've gone in and I've cut them out. So I'm going to use those on the front. Oh, so we can even, those of us that love fussy cutting, we're covered as well. Oh, or hell's yeah. little set. She loves that fussy cutting. I do like so. my cutting out. Yeah. Keeps her quiet. It does. <laughs> and I've actually learned to do it now without sticking my tongue out at the same time. Oh, I can't cut without oh, sticking my tongue out. That's you really have to teach me that. It's really oh, embarrassing then. when you're on live TV you when you start good, you? Stuck in, sticking your tongue out. <laughs> and do you see how frugal I am, look? I used the other side of that paper to cut that out of. Oh, shocking. But you can, you can, you don't have to well, worry Of course you can, because it doesn't bleed through, look. Exactly. Has anybody ever been awake and seen a surgeon doing it? Can you imagine if a surgeon actually does that with their tongue sticking out? It would be very good, <laughs> wouldn't it? would be very hygienic, would they, when they've opened you up? You're like, oh. You wouldn't see it, though, because they wear a mask, don't yeah, they? That's yeah, that's Yeah, but can you imagine what that would look like? Yeah, that's Can you imagine true. that with your tongue out, Hells? <laughs> well, can you imagine waking up in the middle of an operation for a start-off? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, you can have them now without having a, a proper general anaesthetic. Oh no, they'd it. have to mm. knock me out. A friend of mine had a hip operation without a general. <gasps> they right. do tend to keep them awake now with one of them. Yeah, I yeah. think my granddad had that. That won't be it. That won't be me. It'd be like, mm. no, knock me out. Right then. So we've got that added to the centre, and then oh, one that of looks the great. little toppers that Linda has cut out, and then. Thank you, Linda, for your preparation. I've been an absolute... I gave up my Saturday. Oh. Yeah, but it was, was it while the football was on? Yeah. Because <laughs> he, can't, he can't be himself when I'm sat downstairs because I don't allow the bad language. It was. Well, I had my, I had my stepdad and his wife visiting, so I wouldn't normally be a football yeah, person, but we were... we were a bit of contention. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. see, Colin's team were playing Hell's team on Saturday. Oh. We oh, were robbed. Yeah. Oh. The so she says. She, they're, oh. Whenever they lose, they're always robbed. <laughs> so who's were whose teams? Colin Sports Middlesbrough. Oh, okay. Town. Oh, oh, okay. I know. So I avoid all this being single. <laughs> you don't have to worry about football. <laughs> Yes, you, other league. Uh, you've uh, got this clubs beautiful. You've got this beautiful yeah, she's dog. My, she's my. Dog. She, she is so gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. She's laid to sleep behind. She us. has, hasn't she? She's had a lovely. She's having a lovely relax. She's See, finding your demos very relaxing. Hells. I know. Bless the look. <laughs> Le place. Lexi would be up in the middle of us on, yeah, with her paws <laughs> on the counter. What are you doing? What are yes. you making? Well, yeah. So gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Well, so is your demos, Hells. They're absolutely beautiful. These collections, I, can't, I still cannot get... If you've got it in the, this in your basket, do not leave it there, for goodness sake. So Check it out. It's, it's not the price stopping you at 14 99 <laughs> It can't be. It, uh, it's such a good deal. So that little bit that I cut out from the insert, mm. I'm just adding some 3D foam to the back just to lift that up. Lovely. And then I'm going to lay it across the bottom. So just add that one like that. And then oh, look at that. that. Oh, yes. There. And then I think this is just asking for some something sparkly. Yeah. It's so pretty. So just add in a few little sprinkles of glitter. And of course, if you haven't got glitter glue, use a bit of glue, a quickie glue pen maybe. Yeah. Yep. And some dry glitter. I don't like dry glitter because it gets everywhere where it shouldn't get. So that's. Oh, yeah, but you know what we sell here on uh, Hobby Maker now? We've got little tabletop oh. glitter vacuums. Oh, right. Oh, they're ace. I've seen those <laughs> oh, you need to get one of them. They're so good. I once had spilt glitter on the cow, got as much up, but then went like that <gasps> to hoover it up, and you Lexi was oh. laid underneath. There was glitter in the in, lounge, yeah. the kitchen, <laughs> in the car. <laughs> Oh, once you've got glitter, that's oh, it. You're you covered, aren't you? It's Absolutely like, um, covered. Gilding flakes. I yep. had a massive big tub of gilding flakes. Did you? And they were on the side. <gasps> and Alfie, my old cat, jumped up, knocked him over, 
and they were, can you imagine oh, air just full of no. gilding flakes? They were literally stuck to it. It looked beautiful while it was in the air, though. It, it suited him. <laughs> he, had, he had gilded claws. Now, look at this. Just remember, this is one of five collections. You're paying for three, and you're getting a sixth collection on top. So it's half price today. Brand new. Five collections on this download. It's unbelievable. So, so now, just remind me, how do you get this, how do you get the freebie one then? The freebie one. Sorry, I'm... will be in with the um, in with the link. In with the link. Right. And um, it will. Oh, sorry, that's the same. Just one so again. I know how to, because I couldn't remember how to get right. there to that one. So when you unzip it, right, and you click on auto run. Yep. That is the interface. And it's you will the get. celestial spellbinding class yep. that you're getting as well as the spell yep. as the volume. And this the, is yeah. your freebie that's building up into the library Brilliant. that will have thirty collections. Wow. So when you get it, you will have over nine hundred. Mm. Is that right? So there's thirty sheets, and there's. 10 collections, yep. three in each, so that's 30 times 30. It, You'll yeah. have 900 wow. printable sheets. And they're limitless to printing them off as well. Limitless. I mean, for anybody... There's a namesake of mine in Norfolk. Hello, Zena. Um, those of you with basketeers, Margaret and Jan and Crafter and Jackie and Tracy and Karen and Sue just coming. in, June, Neil, and, oh, Angie, Pamela, Barbara, Carol, Julie, Leslie, Jill and Zena, the list goes on. £14.99. You'll get an email starting to come from tomorrow and then you'll get the link and then every, it's dead easy. It, you just need an up-to-date email address. £14.99. The angel policy means you can sell anything that you make as well. And, we, and the girls were saying, do your own, do your own workshops, you know, do, uh, doing your WI, do, go and do... You know, to, honestly, Brownies. Well, do, you, do you know what? I, I've, on a walk, I've met a lovely lady called Mo. She's the most positive lady. Her daughter loves crafting. They're coming round to mine tomorrow. We're having lovely cured meats and cheeses and a bottle of Prosecco. Oh I'm nervous because I'm, I'm, new to, I'm, not, I'm new to card making as well, but we're having a card making session tomorrow night oh, at my house and I can't wait. I'm <laughs> so excited. And that's come from meeting a, a friend on a dog walk and hobby maker. So I, I, we're having that, definitely. It's brilliant. And I cannot applaud you enough for what you've offered to everybody i think it's phenomenal thank value you. thank you you've been lovely and can i tell you what else that that this lady does she came in i can't i, I mean <laughs> i'm not going to show you the brand because that but you know look at right she, i saw that then i went oh you got this absolute she went no that's for you and you I'll, ask and ask andy because he's in your ear no she, he's gone so oh, has he, he gone? had one as well oh, i used to get them all the time she's, yeah she's bought this and it's not even one of them little treat size ones out in the bag it's a whopper <laughs> you're so kind are the chocolate bars are available it's like when they ask you what good. size glass of wine you want there's only large it only comes thank in you. one size <laughs> thank and, you and sandra will verify that as well yeah, when we Sandra's, have dinner yeah. together she heard me say there's only one size <laughs> there's only one size and it's a large <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Can I just mention as well, the Hobby Maker highlight, it was a good one this morning. If you missed it at 7am and you weren't there, do not worry because it gets repeated. How much stock is available? Because I heard about 150 went this morning. I think three quarters of the stock at 7am this morning with the amazing Sandra of Santangle did fly out the door. Oh, da, da, da. She's stripping <laughs> off. See, <laughs> she, da, da, she could be a crafty da. witch because she's she in black. Be. She could, couldn't she? Yeah. She looks lovely with her hair up, by the way. You look gorgeous with your hair up. I walked into her, I said, who's that? And I went, Sandra. Oh, she looks lovely. Sandra is one of the nicest it's, ladies thank you. in craft. Isn't she? Yes. She is, she absolutely. Is. She's amazing. She's got this. Right, can I say... You two have been an absolute joy. We were looking forward to working with you. Oh, really? Because you like us, you've been vaccinated with a gramophone needle. <laughs> so, you know, there's plenty of chatty. You never lost for words. No. And I just apologise about knocking all your lovely demonstrations. It's all right. Fine. Yeah, I do apologise. <laughs> right, girls, thank you. Get that download checked out. It's a measly 14 99 I'll see you after the break for the Hobby Maker Highlight. <laughs> When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed 
and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. You know, we're really pleased we're getting more and more brand new suppliers here at Hobby Maker. We'll wait until you hear the latest. Cricket is joining us at Hobby Maker. And we've got exclusive deals just for us at Hobby Maker featuring the Joy and the Maker 3. And if the stock sells out, which it probably will, you won't see it again until next year. So make sure you join us this Thursday for the exclusive exciting launch of Cricket on Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24 7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Here at Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymaker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobbymaker. If you've recently missed your favourite show on Hobbymaker, it's really easy to catch up on our website. Simply visit hobbymaker.co.uk and click TV Guide. Here you'll be able to choose any show broadcast in the last seven days, which you can watch, pause and rewind at your convenience. And to make shopping even easier, any items featured in the show will appear underneath. With Hobbymaker's catch up, there's never a reason to miss out, no matter what time of day. to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker! Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and p Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. You know, you're so stressed coming from there to there. I know. It's been quiet, yeah. Well, I, I had Just... my hat on, and then Jimmy said, Are you going to give the girls their witch's hat? I said, No, I was going to keep it on. Then I've got Linda off, jewelry maker, telling me, talking to me through about Christmas presents, about three sets. I went, You go away. <laughs> I need to talk to me, Sandra. Oh. She look lovely with her hair up. Thank you. Honestly, it really... I don't mean to... It's not that it doesn't when it's done. No, no, it's it like, it was like, well, do I, do I brush it straight? No, it looks... Like lo honestly, morning, do that more if you look absolutely it gorgeous. Yeah. No, love it. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. That's it. Now, it is as it is. I happen to have a hospital appointment this morning, so I didn't get to see the Hobby Maker highlight, no. but I've heard... It was a bit busy. It was a little bit busy. We, had fun. we did have fun, actually, didn't we? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was all right. About 150 items flew out the door of the Hobby Maker highlight, I heard this morning. 
Yeah, it did. But it's a really good one. It's a real different. And it's for a lot of tanglers out there that have been doing this for a while. Brilliant. And they want a challenge. Exactly. And, and that's and that's yeah. you need to be able to I'm progress, push, don't you? I'm push you. I've got my teacher hat on. I'm going to push you a little bit. Have I heard you've got parchment sentiments today as well? Yeah. Parchment. You've not seen them yet. I oh, know. Parchment sentiments. And you know the brilliant A4 sketchbook that, um, that Sandra had on the show last week? And we, we, it, they sold out in a heartbeat. We couldn't get any more. You've got a few more for us today. And that's it. And that's it. We that's can't it. get There's any more. We can't, can't get any more. No, we, we, yeah. We right. So. <laughs> Where do we start? Yeah. Now, how long have we said, along with Sandra, and I know Sandra's got her own collection coming out as well in the new year, but how long have we wanted to, in conjunction with Sandra, bring you some phenomenal black liner pens? How long? It's been well, ever since I started here, I think. Yes, so it's, it's been it's been a while, hasn't yeah, it? Exactly, yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. So April, May, June, July, August, oh, oh, September, well. October, November. Nine months. It's like a pregnancy, <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're having the hobby maker baby mm. of pens. Yes, Aren't absolutely, we? yeah. Now, am I, am I right in thinking it's nine pens? Yeah, I mean, the nice thing about these, actually, I and I've, look, I've been playing with them, is that you get all the sizes, so oh, zero, 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 5 yeah, all the way up to a brush. Now, when I bring my pens out, you're going to get three in a pack, which is what we use. But wow. if you actually want the extra pens and you want to try something a bit different, then... And look at yes. the nibs there. Nice little, uh, nice little set. Oh, Absolutely. and that's the brush on the end look. That's yeah, you get gorgeous. brush on the end as well. So you've got the whole range there. So if you're oh, someone who can't make their mind up as to what size you want to use... This is it. <laughs> this is, this it. is it. And I tell you what, I, I know this sounds a little bit probably girly or whatever, but I like, I like, the, I like the, the sort of uniformness of them. I like the silver. I like... Yeah. I just... They look so you know, tangly pens, yeah, don't in, they? In, this, in a sense, mine, the ones that are... Yeah. Coming, mine are black yeah. with silver. Are they? Yeah. It just the looks same, smart, different. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does look quite smart. Silver is the, perhaps the, the go to colour for yeah. us rather than gold. I can't stop looking at you with your hair. Oh, no, stop oh, it. You look absolutely stop gorgeous. It. Stop it. I'm lost in your eyes. <laughs> um, so then, you're going to get Hobby Maker Black in conjunction with Sandra of Suntangle. Your black sketch fine liner pens, nine pens in total in different thickness from 0.5mm right up to 0.8mm in the brush. Yep. Okay? Yep. How much do you think? Two pounds a pen? Two pounds a pen, 18 pounds? Well, that's usually the case, honestly. That's good for us, that's isn't it? Two pounds a pen. Bye, girls. Two pounds a pen, what would that be then? 17 99 18 pounds? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? 17 99 Yeah, now then, the good news is as well, we've managed to secure 300. Go put it out there. The clock's in, okay? Um, I think you're going to absolutely love it. And you can actually, can I just say as well to our team, Dan Director, if you took this photography, you've really absolutely pinpointed and made it so obvious the kind of thicknesses oh, yeah. Don't of the. Don't encourage him though. Oh, no, he's going to get a big old head in there, isn't he? But he deserves it. That is beautiful. <laughs> Honestly, that is a thing of beauty. It really is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if we wanted to go into the whole you know, uniformity of distance between each pen. He could have done slightly better with that. Yeah, yeah. But the nib-wise, yeah, he's nib done well, hasn't he? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. good, yeah. Start yeah. laying them out immaculately, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Seven. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we're cheeky, aren't we? <laughs> so then, my lovelies, get ready for this. For those of you that are absolutely santangling obsessed, and I know there's a lot of us, um, this is the perfect essential for you. And I'd like to think that ourselves and Sandra have really pulled out all the stops to give you the most amazing pre-Christmas deal. Quite nice, aren't they? Yeah, nice mm -hmm. little stocking filler. Oh, it's a very good stocking filler. And also, just if you're at home and you want a decent pen to write with of different, you know, it doesn't even have to be, you don't even have to, dare I say yeah. it, be an avid Santangler, but we know you are. Yeah. So, nine pens. Tell you what, we, two pounds a pen, 17.99. You got a 0 0.5, a 0 0.2, a 0 0.4, a 0 0.3, a 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and a brush. I could have got up in order, but that would have been boring. Couldn't I? That would have been really... No, I went slightly skew if I went off piste. Okay, then. It's not 17 99 a pen, if, for those of you who are getting excited. 8 99 That makes it a pound a pen and 99p for the brush. That's not bad, then. That's not it? bad going. And not free, bad going, that. And a free little packet to put them in. Absolutely. What yeah. a steal. OK, the floodgates are open. The code is DM for mother, GP24. 
How have you checked out that quick, you lot? How I did you ever... miss out. How did you really check out? They just do. They just do. My tanglers are on it. They're on it. Yeah, but that's quick. Yeah, it is. That, yeah. that is a lot of people. Well done, everyone. Would you think that's a good yeah. Don't worry. We know you're not going to message in yet because you're too busy checking out. I know. <laughs> and we've got people like... Um, I mean, quite frankly, if you write anything, you might do your own shopping list. Yeah, absolutely. You might... You're leaving... I wrote a note on a post-it note. Other notes are available. Stuck it on my door to remind me to all the things I needed to bring to work with me this morning, including Linda's presents, who just said, yeah, can you yeah, bring yeah, them yeah, back in another day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, okay. Brush right. Exactly. Yeah. As well as your suntangling. If you obviously make your own card, you're always going to write the envelope, write the card, draw. I mean, there's so many uses for these pens. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I don't write with anything other than a fine liner, honestly. And are every one of these sizes okay for suntangling? They are, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Uh, and if you want, usually I'll use an 03 in my pens. I was just going to ask you that, right, uh, okay. I found that these are an 02. Okay. So my 03 is this 02, if that makes sense. Oh, that so you'll oh, get an idea to know. as to the thickness. Okay. So, yeah, so um, if you think, okay, 03, 03, they're not all alike. Every single pen's different, mm. as you all know. So, yeah, so that's... It's like the size of the clothes, depends yeah, where you, you buy it from, first, which manufacturer. You write absolutely. on the back of a tile. Yeah. So you try yeah. it first. So. so these are ideal, absolutely sanctioned by Sandra. Um, now then, we started with 300, we had 300 rather. How much has gone already? Nearly a third has gone already. Nearly a hundred have already gone. Wow, we have got a lot of people multi-buying. Christine and Kelly and, and Mary and Jerry and crafters coming in as well. You all like fine liners, do you? What do you use them for? Sorry, we've got, we've got um, directors and producers all going on about fine liners. Yeah, what, yeah. What, why, what's special other than... Why do you like them? They write really they write nicely. nicely yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've all got that biro that's naff and that blodges no, and that just... Naff. Yeah. Thin. Yeah, bin. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's true, though, isn't it? We all... Do you know what? After writing cards and tags, like I think we all are doing at the moment for Christmas, um, we've all got that favourite pen. And how lovely to actually have nine of them, as opposed to having... Yeah. You know, yeah, how many yeah. pens my, are you suffering three, at home? I put three in a set. You put three in a set, yeah. There you go. That's coming out in the new year. Yeah. £8.99. <laughs> well, Kelly's just had two. Christine's just had two. Estelle's just had two. Everybody else going for one each. Mary and Jerry just had two. Uh, oh, my goodness me. Brilliant. OK, so we'll recap those a bit later on. They're a pound, a pen, a, a micro-tip pen, a uh, fine liner, an absolute... Oh, now we know there's a wait on the call, on, on the phone line. It is free phone, so that's the good news. And at the moment, you'll all get one, or two, or three, or however many you want. OK, great, great gifts for people. Oh, good, she's had four. Good for you, my love. Good for you. So... Where now, that's start? not the Hobby Maker highlight. No, no, not at all. You, you, you want to do the highlights or do you want to do the parchment first? What oh. would you like do you know, to do? Shall we do the parchment? Because yes. nobody's seen the parchment. Is this the sentiments? Yes, it is. Yes, so please. You, you've been asking, you love the sentiment. When I say sentiments, they're not necessarily just saying happy birthday. They're actually my verses. So oh. the verses that you've seen as stamps recently, I've chosen some of them. So I've put a couple of little ones at the bottom. So today is your day. Oh. I've put smile because that's quite a nice one. That's lovely. You know, this is upside down, obviously, because... Yeah. <laughs> you see that. So you've got the... Uh, today you will achieve the impossible. We're all beautiful. Just takes some of us a little longer to believe it. Oh, I like that. Time spent on what is important is not wasted. That was that my is most... so key. 100% most used stamp, yeah. I would say. Be proud of who you truly are. That's true. Be bold, be fabulous, oh. be unique. You can achieve it. If you believe it. Oh, I like that. So they're really nice. So we've put they're like lovely. a we've just put a little square around them just so you can line them up so that's not gonna sort of parch. Yeah. It's just about the words here. Brilliant. But a really nice little uh, plate there. That's so the most nice positive plate I've seen. Little plate, little Could I just highlight yeah. we're very conscious that we've got an hour with Sandra, so we didn't want to waste any time. We're not messing about with the price. We're going straight to your buy prices like we did with the pens, straight in to 10 99 This is brand new parchment sentiment plate for you. We're not dropping and teasing, and we haven't got the time, so 10 99 We're going to see it in action. Yeah, let's go for it, absolutely. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's have a look. The first thing you do when you get your plate is test it, mm -hmm. because you know you're with your ball tools, you've got five different ball tools, and you've got different sizes yep. on each. Each one of these is a different font, and I didn't want to sort of change that and have them all the same. Okay. So what you've got to do is work out which ball fits this better. It doesn't take long to do, though, does Not it? Not at all. No. So take yourself a piece of parchment, your little... Uh, oh, what's it called? Yeah, 
your tumble dryer, tumble dryer sheet. sheet. And then, of course, let's well, have a look. Well, you do that again, just for anybody that's I watching just rubbed this. over it. And all that's doing is it's going to allow the friction between the ball and the paper to run smoothly. Right. There's, okay. no, there's no friction. And you so. also buy a decent brand of tumble dryer sheet. Just to do you know what? It doesn't matter. doesn't matter? No, okay. we brought quite a lot of them and we won't went for the smell. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because remember, originally we put these in boxes, didn't we? Yeah, OK. So uh, we wanted it when you open the box to smell, smell nice. nice. Okay. So, for example, this bit, today is your day here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do that one. Uh, let's have a look. This ball, too big. Won't okay, go in. it's not going in the grid. Too big. Okay. So you try the next one. See, that's not too bad. I still think it's a bit big. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can look at the different sizes of tools. And this one's a little bit small. Perhaps that one. There you go. That's better. All oh, right, yeah. So you need to try it. And I would say before you go in with your project, have a little practice. Because working with letters... I say I've not compromised on the fonts with these. I wanted some more fancy than others. Yeah. You don't want to be doing this straight in the middle of a project and finding, you know what, it's not quite right for me. It does take a little bit of practice. So you see, I'm working my way. And I'm actually going in a couple of times, you see. Yeah. There we are. And of course, because the letters are backwards, Yeah. what you'll find is you sort of think, is that the right letter? Am I doing that right? There you go. So all of that's now done. Lovely. If I turn it over. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you see, I've tested a few others as well. Oh, and I love the way you've emphasised your... Yeah, your absolutely. Order. It's all about that kind of thing. So they're different size letters. Brilliant. So you might have to sort of swap and use a different, you know, a couple of different yeah, sort of yeah, yeah. tools. So what I've done here, I've got one in, and I've actually done the today, you will achieve the impossible. Oh. So there it is. I put it in the middle of my piece of parchment because... What I want to do now, you might notice I've not got my phone. Got I had it. noticed that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we wanted to bring you something that you could actually work on and it wasn't as sort of as... The foam is brilliant yeah. and it's brilliant for something that's coming. But this is just that next step up if you want to right. actually do more f sort of free, free tangling. It works really well. Oh, we've got that in the show, haven't we? Yes. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I've actually put this. I'm just going to use my... Uh, yeah. I've actually got my words. Now, my words are backwards because I'm working on the back, OK? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in one of those tiles from earlier. This is from the, the highlights of the, the art designs. And I've got some elements on here that are going to help me, give me a bit of inspiration. OK. So if we look at this shape, for example... Let's, uh, let's bring that in. Actually, let's have a look. I might just put a little border myself first. Can I just quickly mention that silicone embossing mat for the parchment that uh, Sandra's working on right now is on your screen. It's ON1242 is your code, and it's £9.99. We're coming straight in with your prices for the moment. Okay, and yeah, we were just <laughs> Laura and my producer just went, watching those wiggly lines that you're just doing is so satisfying. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Look how neat that is. Look yeah. how nice it's going. Yeah. So what I'm going to have done my little border. Look, I'm going to take this element. Okay. Because, again, we, we'll talk about this in a little bit more detail in a short while. But it's about using it for different things and just sort of, uh, you know, taking it and expanding it. So if I copy that shape, see, lovely how that draws yeah. in there. And then I'm going to bring it up here, look, follow it round. There it is. And around again. Now you notice with my tool, I'm just I'm just drawing with it. Yeah. Not doing anything fancy. And of course, uh, I have got it on my my board. I do have my parchment board here, but it's holding up one of the <laughs> one of the designs. <laughs> so there we go. And I could sort of come on in and add in some of those. See some oh, of those yeah. little shapes yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And then some on this side. It's just lovely. <laughs> There we go. There we go. <laughs> that looks great. Yeah. I know, um, I would just say about messages about the diary. It's coming. Christmas Day. It's coming. Is it? Are you yes. bringing Christmas Day? I'm in Christmas Day live. Ooh. So I know you What time, what time, what time? Uh, 12 and 2. 12 and 2. 12 and 2. Now, I've got this sort of first shape going here, and you think, well, OK, I want to do a bit of tangling in there. Yeah. I turn it over. Look, there's my little, my little pieces. Look how fine. And I'll, that's it. And if I turn over... Now, again, bringing that art designs from the highlights, we've yeah. actually got little cards in there. Oh, the same size brilliant. cards that match our tangly trails. Ah. So everything's coming together. But I've got 20 different variations oh, on there. Oh, brilliant. You think, oh, don't know what I'm doing. So what do I put in? 
there's my card. There's my dice from my tiny Oh, table. yeah. So I decided roll the dice. I've got number five. So there we go. There's number five, Look. Right. Okay. So that is the tangle leaves. I'm going to put in. Actually, it fits really well, and yeah. I obviously, I, I didn't plan that. Yeah. So you can see there, like I come in, it says a line, it's got a little leaf on the end, then it's got lots more. So putting that sentiment in the middle, I mean, you can draw around a, a, a macro tile here, and then you've got your design, but then you can bring in all your other elements as well. Let's just bring that one in there and in there. There we go. So you see again, using that alongside yeah. this, I've got this lovely little design going but that on. takes you out of your comfort zone, but gets you well, to do does. different disentangling designs. Exactly. It? Yeah. And because you've got a sentiment to start with or a little verse, you don't feel like you're starting from scratch. You've got something to go with. Now I have actually on this, let's just put a little bit of um, colour in there. So I'm going to put this, my gel pens, yeah. sort of on the top. So just because you've worked on the back of it, you can then come in. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. And start to add. So you can add colour on the front or the back. It really oh. doesn't matter. Let's just sort of uh, point that there. And there. I know these gel pens aren't really nice. Yeah. And what's nice as well, because I've got this underneath the silica mat, it's sort of sitting into it. Yeah. And it's just a really super smooth surface. So I've got more colours. I've hidden them in my box. We've got some gel pens coming on as well, haven't we? Yes. We've got the, the gel pen. Gel the pens. gel yeah, pens. Yeah. What was I thinking? No. Now these ones actually um, are used because they match the same colours as my tiles and things like ah, that. Ah, okay. I love that colour. There you go. <gasps> some of them are matte. Some of them are shiny. Oh, I love them. There you go. So we can add these in there. I think these might be going in my basket. So I'm, so I'm just adding extra little bits of details. So really, this is all about. Yeah, using the sentiment, but bringing your own little things in and yeah. extending it a bit. We get so used to doing one particular tangle. Yeah. It's nice to sort of have... A I think it's great having this 20-sided dice thing that you just oh, then, it makes you do other things. And it just sort of takes the decision away from you almost. I love it. It does, doesn't it? And so those of us that are control freaks, it's, it's actually medication. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's medicinal. Yeah. And we all do it. We, we, yeah. we do one or two tangles and we do the same ones every time. We're creatures of habit, whether we realise it yeah. or not. You see, oh, they're just everything that we do, it, it's now starting yeah. to come together. And as you get more involved in it, you start to think, well, how do I work with that and how does that go together? Yeah. I just want to bring the one in that I've done of this one. I've used mm. uh, black parchment. Wow, I love but it. There's my sentiment. Oh, wow. And then, of course, I've just used the same gel pens and I've drawn around. So this is actually the same, it's the same tile. Oh, so you could Sandra. See there's the design running through. Look, there it is. Oh, yeah. So just because you've got this in the set doesn't mean you've got to use it just as this. Use these as design inspiration to help do other that things. Is brilliant. What it's, do you call those little things again? These are little photo corners. Photo corners. They, they look. Are, they it, really it, work, it's, don't it's they? Super. And it just means that you can take this out. Yeah. And you can and we'll play, frame it, it if yeah, you want absolutely. to, rather than have it on the card. That's stunning. So going from here we go, a plate. Yep. Some sentiments on mm -hmm. a bit of parchment. And how much was the sentiment plate again? Oh, hang on. You, yeah. so, um, how much? Ten ninety nine. And your twelve gel pens are only five ninety nine. Yeah, gel Can you pen, write yeah, that down, please? So you think, oh, it's Christmas you've got break. Your plate, you've got your gel pen. You've got your little silicon mat. You've got your macro art designs. Everything that I've done that today is works together. Brilliant, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's that really nice. Gel pens at five ninety nine for twelve. Yeah, that's crazy. That means yeah. they're fifty p each. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 50p each. I know. It's great, isn't it? But this is the thing with, with tangling. It's always about keeping it at a low cost. Yeah. Because then anybody can do it. Yeah. You can try it. And you can all have beautiful things that work. Yeah. That work. Yeah, yeah. That means that you're going to be successful with whatever it is you draw. Oh, absolutely. That is gorgeous. So, yeah, so that's, that's our parchment. And it's a lovely, positive, uplifting, brilliant um, parchment it is. plate, that is. It, it is. really It's really is. nice. And it just goes with everything else that we're doing yeah. as well. So. Yeah, what yeah, a lovely absolutely. idea. Thank it's you lovely, so it? much. Yeah. yeah. Is this is this the hobby maker highlight? So I apologise that we're a little bit late. Uh, like, what's it. the highlight? What's going on? But yeah, this morning, I'm going to put it out there now. Uh, three quarters of the stock sold out, and that was at seven a.m. Um, and now there might be a lot of you watching the show that weren't here at seven a.m. And I think it's going to happen all over again. So. Um, 
Yes. Yes. Hey, can I just tell you what, what, what Sandra just said yes to? So my direct uh, producers just said, we've only got 20 left, so more than three quarters went this morning. Can we have some more? Sandra's answer was? Yes. 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 Yes, John, if you're in the office. John. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. How many can we have? Oh, come on. How many? It's Christmas. It's... <laughs> Do you see that? It's Christmas. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see okay. in, a, in a bit, OK? Now, I just want to... <laughs> <laughs> just want to show you know the, the actual tile that we've just done yes i've actually got it here and when you get your tiles and i'll explain that in a minute it's um wow. it's been printed on black but what i've done is i've used gel pens Ooh. just to start tangling so you so can't that's the gel pens we've just done for 5 .99. yeah you can't actually see the um the print no. but the print's there but i've just tangled in and around oh. it it's really nice isn't it yeah. but that was a quick one but what you can do with this and i'm just going to bring my sketchbook in oh we've got the sketchbook coming up yeah, we did this this morning okay limited in this in this set what you're going to be able to do is something mm. like this okay, what? And I'll talk you it in a minute. that was what we did last time remember yeah and then something like these look at that and something like these Wow. And then there's one more. This is obviously that's my advent tile. We've been doing advent yes. tiles one, one a week. Yes, I've that seen one. that on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's that's my mine and my sketch. But how do we do this? And I say it's a little bit more of a challenge for people. So what I've done is instead of giving you instructions step by step, I've given you a diagram for each tile. Oh. So this is the outline, and the outline I broke it down into nine squares. Okay. So you can see by working with one square at a time. This is how it looks tangled. So outline and tangled. Wow. I've done you an enlarged version of this one and split it again into oh, nine squares. Brilliant. So what you could do, and what I've been doing honestly, is been covering up elements mm. and then just drawing one. And don't be afraid of drawing over this. Draw your lines in. So maybe split the square up into four. Split this up into but four. It breaks so it down because that's the first thing I just heard my direction producer exactly. say. Oh, I could never do that. I could never do that. I yeah, could never do that. Break it but all down. Break it down, and it's doable. Exactly. But I'm not just leaving it there. What I'm actually doing as well is I'm giving you one of each printed tile. You could oh, get any right. colour, so I've got a mixture here. Look. So oh, you're going to throw one in? Yeah, so you're going to get... There you go, there's another one. Look. Oh, wow. You see, it looks like it's not been printed properly. Yeah. It has, but I'm giving you a choice. You can either create a border around it Ah. Or you can draw this bit in, yeah. so it goes over. Right. I, I didn't want you to have that. Oh, we you, don't want have, you don't want to restrict people. Not at all. No. So you've got one of each of those outlines. Oh, nice. Okay, one of each of those. Okay. So you can then either tangle on it, use it as inspiration, or do whatever you want to do with not it. In this bundle. You also yeah. get. Oh, because oh of course, we're not done. We've done all these tangles. How do you do them, or where do you put them? Instead of actually drawing them in the book, I've given you cards. Oh, great. So these cards, you've got 20, 40, 50, uh, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 52. so 52. 52 different tangles 52. that I've used across all six designs. Great. So this can go with your stock and your little library you're building up, yeah. your tangly trails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can use it independently and you can choose any of those different elements, which I'll do in a minute, okay. and put them into your tiles. But that's not it. Really? Oh. Here you can see that we've got little gems. Or oh, I've left them blank because you might want to do them as gems. Okay. But drawing an oval and a circle is a little bit tricky. Oh, you've got a stencil as well. So I've given you the stencil of all your basic wow. shapes. So you can oh, use you that star. if you want to. Brilliant. So I think I'll start with that if that's okay. I want yeah. to show you how you could use those. And I do have oh, one gosh, somewhere. Oh, gosh, it's I've made a start. I know. All Everything. Of so the sense of the book, the tiles, the cards for inspiration for fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So let's let's start That's then. Let's start with a blank out. tile. <laughs> All right, hang on. I've just I've got I've got loads of different printed ones now. We're over allocated on the original stock. Oh, here we go. Yes. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, we won't fine. we won't highlight how many, but if we could have those extra loaded in, that would be okay. wonderful because we have just sold out. <laughs> These are about to sell out, sorry. Right. So uh, get, you get them in your basket, okay. LM1263. And the good news is, although we had, um, oh gosh, a lot this morning, we are about to sell out, but we are going to add some more stock. So please do bear with us. Right. So this morning, I did actually go through how to draw from the diagram. Okay. I had to do that. And then, of course, a little bit of colouring. So I did have one here that we've uh, started, look, one that I've started to colour. Oh, wow. So just a bit of colouring. It's lovely, isn't it? Okay, yeah. But, um, what I'd like to do is not, I've not touched on the stencil at all. So okay. 
I thought we'd get a macro tile in the stencil and actually see where it where it yeah, goes. Right. And we'd usually use bubbles and ovals, but I thought this time let's let's go with let's but go it's with to be square. Square. Mm -hmm. See so what we Louis said. So I'm so we are still working on more stock, don't worry, we will get there. I'm gonna put a little bit of a frame in there, look, and I'm gonna join that one in. There we are. You see, look, I can then join the sides. Mm. So I've got a bit of a shape already for a gem. A second. Yeah, yeah it does look like an Asher cut so in a gem, doesn't it? I'm yeah. going to just stick with squares and let's just put some squares in and see where this leads us. And this is where, you know, when you sometimes you really don't know what to do or where to go, you've got those diagrams that you can follow, you've got the tiles you can mm. tangle in or just colour, but then you think, well, I want to use maybe just the stencil and let's see let's see what happens. So I've got a couple of little squares. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's overlapped. Like, you see, I've just overlapped them a little yeah. bit. And then if we bring in one of the cards, mm -hmm. let's use this one. Actually, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll use this one. I used this one this morning. Get my little dice. Oh, I was just going to say, can we throw the dice? Do you want to throw it? Yeah, can I, can I, can I? Throw the dice then. Here we go. So it's not oh, number 20. 20. So number 20 is this design here. Ooh. Okay. And let's have a look then. So I could either put it inside, I could put it outside. So let's put it outside, it's a little curve. Yeah. So here you go, little curve. There it is. Ah. And it says do another one. So do another one. And then it says, okay, do another one. And what we're going to do is overlap them along we go. Ah, oh yeah. So I, would, I can't plan this, I can't pre-draw it because I didn't know what was coming. No. It's got some little lines in. Uh -huh. So let's put some little lines in. So we could do more of those we could keep going we could add some in here just quickly we have managed to get the extra start we're about to load it onto the screen lm1263 we're taking the price down to 14.99 so if it did just come up and you any problems just refresh your um your website and uh hopefully you'll get the extra stock so good luck on that we've just loaded some more thank you to sandra and john okay i've loaded the dice again number eight number eight here we go look number eight oh We've got yeah it doesn't have to be that shape okay you now it's just that particular design so let, let's see if it works with a square mm -hmm. okay let's do it i'm going to do it pointed so i've okay. got a point at the top it says look do a little line so here we go a little line there and it says do the other side mm -hmm. a little line there and then it says okay keep doing it so a little line here a little line here oh I like that and here and here the thing is, with these cards yeah. as well and the dice and whatnot, you might find a new favourite that you love doing, mightn't you? Absolutely, yes. Mm. Or you might rediscover one that you've not used for ages. That makes me think of the Sydney Harbour. Um, yeah, it's lovely, isn't yeah. it? So we, let's bring a little yeah. bit of coloured pencil in and see, how that, one, yeah. and see how that looks. Do you need me to get that, sweetheart? No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've sort of got like a little a pistachio coloured uh, tile, so let's bring a little bit so of So what sort of here. pencils are these? Are they uh, watercolour or these are just regular coloured pencils. Okay. So you can you can use watercolour on the macro tiles. Mm -hmm. They would work fine. What you'll find though, a uh, real good quality cardstock, when you put water on, it'll bend. It'll do that. Right, it'll pop them, yeah. But that's what you want to do. You want to then just leave it to dry mm -hmm. naturally. And if you sort of think, oh, it's still a bit that shape, yeah. turn it over. And just uh, a heat, very very light heat gun. Oh, or sometimes okay. I'll uh, put it underneath a tea cloth and iron it. Ah, Not steam iron, okay. just an iron, and iron it. It'll go flat. But that that's a good sign of a good quality uh, cardstock. Just can I just highlight as well? This afternoon we might just have a brand new heat gun that you might be able to hear over the other side of the studio. At yes, the it's very quiet though. Brand isn't it? new quiet heat gun on this afternoon with Crafters Companions. So yes. I thought I'd just tell you that. Hmm. So there we go. So, you know, you can come in and you can add a little bit of colour to it. You don't have to, uh, you know, do all of it at once. There we go. It's quite nice, isn't it? Look how that sort of changed that That's up a little gorgeous. bit. That would make a really nice uh, leaf, wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it just? So yeah. then you think, well, OK, I quite like the idea of a leaf. Let's yeah. put some leaves on. So this is sort of a shape that we had on the tile earlier. There we go, a little leaf. And then let's do that design on that leaf too so it's all about just sort of seeing where it goes and this is where the the challenge comes is you want to try something a bit different this looks great so how different it looks depending on the outline shape as well absolutely yeah we can bring some little some of those little curves in there and then perhaps create a flower 
You see how it sort of starts to build and just by using those first little squares yeah. and then bringing the little cards in and having a look. That's great. Well, yeah, and let's have a look at the, uh, let's have a look at this shape. So same sort of thing, we've got these little flowing yeah. curves here. Really nice they are to draw. So let's bring one of those in. Yeah. Let's put it in there. So I want to sort of take you out your comfort zone and give you something a little bit different to try. There we go. You see how that sort of then starts I to form I love underneath. that. So you can see how, in a sense, these were formed because this is where it started to go. So there's all sorts of different things you can do with That's it. That's brilliant. Yeah. So leaving, leaving you with that, out yeah. of your comfort zone, yeah. we're going to move on. Okay. To a different material. Okay, what we're having we've now. We've done parchment. Yeah. We've done cardstock. What I want to bring in is a bit of wood. Like, oh, how do we do this? It's a nice varied show today. I isn't know. It? I thought I'd bring all sorts of things. You because, are. You know, it's nice oh, to I try. Like these. So what we've done for you, we've we've brought some little oh. wooden tags. These are lovely because, of course, they're veneered, oh, uh, cherry veneer both lovely. sides. Lovely. So you could detail. work on both sides, or every single one is going to be different. Yeah. Because if you look at the grain, do you get a pack of two? Pack of two. And you're bringing them for three pounds and two ninety nine each. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, five ninety nine. So I'm going to stick with the stencil for now, and let's bring in. Uh, let's have a look. Let's put that. Yeah, you think how expensive? Just that, just an everyday tag is out of out of card or paper in a, in a, in a card shop. And you're doing a massive yeah. piece of yeah. cherry veneer tag there. Yeah, which of course you can sand tangle onto. Absolutely. Now I think um, we've we've done some wood this weekend when we were in class. Yeah, and. People are a little bit, how's this going to work? You see my pen's bleeding a little bit? Mm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because it's going to go in the shape. Okay. But a nice thing to do, if you're a little bit unsure about working with pen, is you mm. come in with pencil, start with pencil to start with. Yeah. So what I can actually do here, Luke, is I can draw on it just like I would. Wood. <laughs> with... You've been here too long, oh, son. No. <laughs> been here too long today, yeah. Um, just, just the same as working on paper. So I, look, I'm splitting my space up around the outside. Okay. okay. Yep. And then within that, let's come in and put some little curves. So it doesn't have to have a pen anywhere near it at all until you've actually drawn what you want to draw. Can it stay pencil? Does it really, for longevity, it, have to go into pen? It can stay in pencil if you like. I could mm. leave it like that. Use some coloured pencils in there and it really doesn't matter. It's a more dramatic you, outline. If yeah, you, pen, that's yeah. it. You've got that yeah. bit of drama. So if you look at my board yeah. underneath, if I didn't have this black in it, mm. then you wouldn't perhaps see it pop as right. much. Okay. Whereas with this, it's working. Okay. Thank you. So you think, okay, I've got this lovely little oval. I've just put some little shapes around. What, what am I going to do next? So... Again, let's come to our little book here and see. We've got one in here look, that's got some little oh, oh, yeah. shapes. Yeah. So we can take inspiration from that. Mm -hmm. So I could just look at the outline or I could look at a section of it here. Mm -hmm. So looking at this bit, for example, you see it's got these lovely little lines oh, yeah. around. So I could do that. I could bring in, let's bring in another one. So, so use my stencil. And again, if I do an oval, and then it's sort of got what we call auras around it. So it's got another border. See there, drawing that one in. It's lovely to draw on, actually. Mm, you can just glide, feel, you can see yeah, it. It's, yeah, it's very sort of, um, yeah. yeah, easy to work on. And if you find you get a piece, because of the grain, it's a little bit rough, use just a piece of paper and just rub just over rub it over and it. it'll soften it off. Yeah, yeah. So this one, look, I've got little crosses. You can see that quite clearly. I've got crosses in there. So I'm going to just come and bring that in in pen. Again, I'm using that O2, so you see how that sort of uh, puts little... Now, this looks great round a gem because you can actually colour each of these little yeah. shapes in and you can get a really nice... It's an easy fill, isn't it? That's it. I yeah, don't mean that rudely, cross, but it's, crosses, it's, you know... It's not hard, is it? Any of us could do that bit. It's just, Absolutely. if you feel, I'm just thinking if people are feeling a little bit overwhelmed, when you watch you do that, you fill that whole section with just crosses. Just crosses, yeah. Absolutely. So this one, I've done zigzags, yeah. like a zigzag line. So again, let's bring that in. And now I could split up the space, but I know here it's going underneath. So yeah. I don't really have to worry about it. Okay. Because it's not going to sort of go all the way around. But you see that I'd have to draw that oval in because you see, you can't see the, diff the change between one and the other. You need those borders in. There we go. 
So again, I'm actually doing my own thing, but I'm not. I'm yeah. using yeah, something. Yeah. So but that's the lovely little... thing of people put their own twist on it, don't they? Yeah. Little curves. See, just sort of adding that in. Sort of working it along. There we go. Same all the way around. All the way around. Now I'm doing this very quickly, so mm. let's put that line in now. So you'll see the difference between wow. having the line and not having the line. There you go. And Look that at way that. as well. What a difference see that makes. How that sort of starts to come together. Yeah. I can continue, I can follow those It's like swirls. webbing almost, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna ignore the border on that one and come into the triangle, do you see? Because mm -hmm. it's my decision, it's up to me to, as to what to do. Well, you own it when you put your name on it, don't you? Of course you do. So if I bring one in now that I've sort of done a little bit more work on. Okay, yes, please. And I've added a little bit of colour. And... Okay, so there's oh, my oval. Wow. Look. There's my little wobbly line that yeah. I've done. And I've added a few extra bits and pieces. That looks incredible. All as an inspiration from here. So whether you use the diagrams, whether you mm. use the cards. Yep. So, I mean, for example, I don't have to roll a dice. I think, well, do you know what? This is going to look like, this is one I did this morning. I'm a little bit addicted to this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get to that stage and you say, yeah. okay, I'm going to bring that one in. What would I do with it? So what's so, that, number three? Number the... three yeah. there, yeah. Okay. We actually did this yesterday as well. So anybody coming to class knows how to do this one. Let's do some bubbles. This is a bit bigger than normal. Mm -hmm. It's got a little line either side there. There we go. Um, the cherry veneer tags, the pack of two for £5.99, we are in single figures. So if you've got it in your basket, please remember it's not your basket until you've actually checked it out. So, oh yeah, I do like those. They're lovely, aren't they? That little that bit of makes, sparkle in the middle. Yeah, that makes me think of like a tunnel as you go through when you, got, when you hire a narrow boat for the weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what it makes me think of. Oh uh, yeah, we did that once, you know, and I was oh, up, dreaming up the wall. It's, I didn't like no, it. It's oh, I love it. Not too really too um, too out the way for me. Too well, much. If it wasn't too expensive, I'd have bought one. I absolutely yeah. loved it. No, and uh... uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That looks. I like See, look those. how it's bringing yeah. it in. So that little bit of filler. I mean, I could have gone to a thicker pen there. But yeah. It's, it's well, with that pen set, eight ninety nine. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can use versions? different pens for different, yeah, different things. Thicknesses. But you see how it works, and then of course. Coming back to this one, if you think, I don't like that one, then you bring in your rubber, which oh, I did yeah, have. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. I did have a rubber. You didn't drop it on the floor with your paper, did you? Oh, do you know what? It could be absolutely anywhere. <laughs> but if you've got... It, it's, have you rubbed it, it out? It works exactly the same. Oh, no, as, that's your ball uh, pins. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's like my craft room. It doesn't matter. If you actually you just use you a rubber, rub it out, just like, <laughs> just like you would with paper, yeah. and it'll disappear. Yeah. What I would suggest you do with this is... Um, and I actually do do it with my tiles as well. Okay. If I want to keep them and save them. Uh, use a bit of spray varnish afterwards. Oh, great idea. And then that will actually bring the colour out. It'll bring the grain out and it'll also protect it. But a nice thing for this as well that you can do. Yeah. You know, and I think you paper crafters, that's what we do. We've mm. got inks. Oh, yeah. So if I bring a bit of ink in. Dorby Dorby. You know, oh, so, nice. I mean, this is, oh, yeah. not, this is not like we're doing anything different than working on paper. Oh, that's... If anything, it's a little bit more forgiving, honestly. Oh, look how lovely that looks and it ties everything in. Yeah. And then, you know, a little bow over the top and you can hang yeah. it. You can put a little message on. There we go. You see, just sort of work my way around. That looks lovely. And, of course, you know, we've, we've done all those background stencils recently. Mm -hmm. You could bring... Oh, have I got one? Of course I've got one. Um, can I just highlight all the people that have this in their baskets? Could you please think about checking out? Because otherwise, you are going to miss out. They are about to sell out. So good luck, my lovelies. Code Ivy. Oh, Ivy. Uh, one two nine two five pounds ninety nine. Yeah, these uh, backgrounds are are in my uh, box all the time. Oh, so look what you can do. I've used exactly the same colour ink. Oh, See how it's started to yeah. change it a bit. So all I've done, I've drawn the shapes using the stencil. Lovely. I've added the inspiration from either the cards or from the actual tiles themselves. A little bit of colour, a little bit of ink. and I mean, it's that a little bit more to go right. yet, but you can see how yeah. it's starting to come yeah. together. So a little bit of ribbon there, a little bit of a... And we did these in class the week. We did keys yesterday. Drew do you ever have a weekend off, Sandra? Uh, no. No. We had actually have little key charms that we did added you? to it as well. They're oh. beautiful. So, yeah. 
I expected photos today, actually. I expected photos of them. Might have been the snow. Yeah. Snow affects people in funny yeah, ways. Yeah. So, you know, with, with the wood, you can do exactly the same as you would with paper. It's just a slightly different That's medium to stunning. work I on. love the size of those tags. They're, They're not too nice big. Size, aren't they? Yeah, because nice they're size. just not like quite five A5, but no. lovely, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, could you ha actually attach those to a, like a door panel, do you think? Of course you could. I, I mean, even you could just put like a little bit of string in. Yeah, just have it on the handle, yeah. Work, but yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, it, and the, the colouring is beautiful. It, it works really well with pencils, so have a go. Thank Try you. On. Can I have the names on the screen just to give you a little heads up because you might have forgotten? So, could I give a little heads up to... Right, now, how many are left, darling? OK, so oh, Jennifer, okay. Crafter, Crafter, Mary, James, Crafter, Crafter, Judith, Maureen. We've got nine um, currently on the phone and in the baskets and things, and we've got seven left. But Mary did just have two, and a Crafter just had two in South Yorkshire. They are, so really, they are really beautiful. Good price as well, with uh, the Because yeah. you can use both sides. Yeah. Nice. Oh, we've had a message come in from Avril. Hi, Hello, Avril. Avril. She says, will there be more stock of the diamond stencil, please? Oh, we launched that the other week, didn't we, the diamond one? Yeah, now we actually, like, the other week, we brought a new book, and in the book, the instructions were how you could use your frames in a different way. Because we had the one with the prototype, didn't we? That's it, that and I it, actually yeah. gave away the prototype. You did give away the prototype. I have actually brought the frames the actual oh, have you? frame with me today. Oh, brilliant. Oh, so, so we launched this uh, yeah. morning and sold so, out. Yeah, absolutely. Now, if I, I want to open this. So this is how you get it. You get it in an envelope, a nice little sticker on the front. Oh, look. lovely. And if it's not straight, that's Tommy. Oh, Tommy, Tommy. So uh, we break, break the seal. We've got the Santanga label at the back, of course. We open the yep. seal. And here we go. See, looks a bit in my bag. That's... And what we actually get then, we get our instructions. Brilliant to create these two frames, which you've actually got there. So I have got one here, yeah. There you go. Look at that. So this frame and this frame. Oh, so you can make it, it bigger or as small as you want. You could even fill this in, make it all full mandala. Yeah. You could cut this out, put parchment behind. Yeah. Use one of those sentiments. Yeah. So then opening it up, you can see the difference in oh, the gosh, size. Oh, gosh, that is much bigger than the prototype, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's as big as we can get it in the envelope. Wow. So you've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven round the edge if you want it to. So you can go from like a two inch all the way up. I mean, that's, that's actually bigger than an scale. eight by eight inch yeah. card. But whether you use it as a frame or whether you use it like in the book yep. to create a piece of artwork, it's entirely up to you. But what I do, I give you instructions. So this one is complete instructions for how to do the, uh, let's have a look. Oh, which one is it? This frame. Yep. Yep. And then this one here, I've actually started, so there you go, pick number one, all the way along, even down to the tangles you use. So oh, this tangle, yeah. you can actually stick onto one of your cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just keep building it up all the way along, see, to here and how to do it. So I, I go through it for two, but then there's so many more frames. So how do so you So this is brand it? new this morning then? Yeah. So you sold out this morning. Yeah. Can we have some more? I think so. I think she's put some more on. Laura, have you put some yeah. more on then for Avril? Have you managed to get some more stock? Oh, yeah, 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 but you've got it. them, so that's like, that's. De oh, okay, Avril, you can check out then. Yeah, we've restock. Done that. Oh, that's all right. That's what I thought. <laughs> where have you been? <laughs> I said, where have you been? <laughs> where have you been? Oh. Yes, one, two, two, nine, Avril, and everybody else, fourteen, okay. ninety-nine. So I'm going to show you from scratch how you, okay. how you would use it. Okay. Hello, Sandra. And this, is, <laughs> this is for how you would use it to create a frame. So if you've got a nice flower or something you want to put on, okay. but you need to dress it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose this size. So actually, you only really need to draw those points, honestly. But you've got the extra line if you need it. Yeah, so you could draw that line in. Okay. And then I'm going to go down one, so that's like a single frame, which mm -hmm. will make sense in a minute. I'll draw them all in so you can see it. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark all those dots in. Okay. Now, this is why you have a sketchbook, isn't it? So you it can is try indeed. things out. And we do have a few more of the sketchbook that sold out last week as well. So get prepared for that one. Yeah, I've got mine. It's all ready. I've not actually opened it yet because it's December. So I'm still using last, oh, this year's yeah. sketchbook. Right, okay. So sort of uh, January the 1st, that'll be, uh, maybe before that, to be fair. Yeah. It'll be open. So if I take that off, you can see there, look, I've actually got oh. like... A single frame. Oh, yeah. So I can use that just as that, but I'm going to actually draw in a second as well. I'm just going to put those little lines in, you see? And then if I join them up, 
And notice I'm using pencil for this because yes. it's construction lines. There you go. I so say the book that we brought last time, it, this, it shows you how you can create an yeah. image with this, but this is all yeah. about using it as a frame. So there we go. Same one in there, look. So I'm just sort of joining the lines up and that gives me my, my shape. See, same nice. on this side. Of course, you uh, you know take a little bit more time over it. Keep it light with your pencil as well because you don't really want to see them all. So then your little line, your dots here, look, we can join that up there. Yeah. Edge to edge, can't we? And notice I'm not using a ruler, I'm using yeah. the edge. So then what we do, perhaps do we need a ruler for this, but you would then take this dot to the left, to the right, sorry, of this line, and this dot to the left. Okay. Join them up. So that's where you need a straight edge. Join them up. See? Yep. And then you take the next one and the next one. Oh, I see. And join it up. Right. And the next one. And the next one. And the next. And the next. You see, once you get the hang yeah. of it, every yeah. one of my stencils works this way. See, there's the it's middle. clever, isn't it? Yeah, and again, if I wasn't sort of, you know, on overhead, <laughs> I would move my, move yeah. my paper. <laughs> um, so, yeah, don't think you, you've got to stay. And there you go, there's your corner. And then I do Great. the same with the other side. Yeah. So you see where you've got your design. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then following my instructions, or, or not, as the case may be, mm -hmm. what you're actually going to do is going to take my pen. Yeah, half of the reload is stock of the brand new diamond frame okay. stencil that was launched this Let's morning at 7 a.m. So has what, now gone. I'm going to put a curve in each one. So I'm going to use each section mm -hmm. and put a curve. Now, this is not following the instructions. This is a completely different one. And I think if you've watched this, you'll think, oh, I know a different way to use it now. And I'll just keep that going all the way along, all the way along. And I do that all the way around. That looks great. So then let's do this next one. So I know that that's going to sort of be there. So let's put that one in. But let's do just part way. You see, it's going That looks through. like a rocket. Yeah. You see, I'm actually following. I'm, li I'm lining it yeah, up. Yeah. That section to that. So I'm doing a diagonal, but it's going underneath. Mm. You see? So that I could just have that on its yeah. own. So then let's bring a different shape in. Let's go in that way. And that way. And that way. Every time you use a frame, you are going to get a different design. Yeah. There we go. And there we go. So then I can great. do the same sort of thing. See, I'm going to sort of take that one up to the line. And again, it's going underneath. There we go. So see, each one is going to there. I'm, I'm, you know, you could take your time. You could do it in pencil and then yeah. rub out. You see how it's sort of all yeah. forming? So I could then leave that as is, and maybe I could put little dots on. But the idea behind this is if you've got one of the other stencils, maybe the flowers, you could have a cascade of flowers yeah. here and have this as a frame sitting behind it. But the lovely thing is, and again, hang on a second, I've got pencil. And do I have a torch? Oh, I've got my rubber, look. Did you it find is. it? Found it. Ah. So what I could do is rub out all those lines now. So you see, you've got this lovely yep. little shape going on. Yep. There we go. Probably got about six in my bag, you know. <laughs> and then if I actually just add a bit of pencil, and again, you could do this with colours. You could use your little tangly trails, or yep. you could use the, the highlight of the day we've got with the cards and fill it in with different tangles. Yep. But just for this purpose, if I add in a bit of pencil, now you think she's drawing that right scruffy. What's going on there? I think she's coming in with a tortillon. Aye! Yeah. I'm starting so to get to know when you're yeah, going to bring a in. You don't need to be able to colour. You really don't. You add some of that pencil. Mm -hmm. Now, this won't work with coloured pencils because, okay. of course, their very nature, you would have to blend them. Right, OK. But because this is a, a nice great. chubby little pencil, or you could do it with pastels. Mm. We've brought pastels before. And Look at you that. see what I'm actually doing? I'm softening off yeah. that uh, pencil. You see, this one's well loved. Look, it's been it's used. It's lovely. Uh, when, they, when they lose their point or they get a bit too dirty, you can use a nail file, file them off. Okay. Job done. There we go. So you see where it just sort of softens it off. Mm. And you work with this all the way around. It's just, this is just like a little stick of magic. It is, isn't it? It is. There you go. Can you see what's happening I now? You've I got this love wonderful you... yeah. three-dimensional mm. work around. That's stunning. So that's how it works. And then, of course, you could add another layer 
or you could put something again sentiment in the middle or whatever you want to do but i think that's feeling flowers up here isn't it yeah and having this sort of coming round and it all working together so that is your diamond frame it's a real unusual shape you could do just the triangle or you could do the triangle look at this you could do your triangle there. yeah 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 and then you could use the other triangle to create a star Oh, so if that's what you wanted yeah. to do. So don't just think of it as I'm just going to use it for a frame. Yeah. It goes with all sorts of different yeah, yeah, things. Yeah. And that is just one. And that's completely different to that one. Yep. Completely different to that one. But it's using amazing. the same frame? Using exactly the yeah. same frame, that's different brilliant. sizes. Yeah. Get lots of different tangles well, in. Well, the good there. news is Avril did get hers. So congratulations. Well, Avril. oh, thank you, you Avril. You did, you did, you did. We'll get it packed for you as soon is, as we can. Well, she did. Thank you, darling. She just got to craft a. Uh, we've got four new customers, I think, there. So welcome. Uh, you only pay your post and packaging once a day with us here. Um, Laura, do you want to pop your mic on, darling? There you go. It's all right. I just wasn't sure if you were talking to us or somebody on the moon. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling. Where Actually, is that sketchbook? Where's the sketchbook? Oh, Where is it? I've got, I've got one here. Let me show you. Can you would you mind? Because I don't yeah, have one. That's fine. This is the one that I used last year, the, yeah. this year gone. But you've this gone is, back to it. Yeah, this is, the, this, I'll let you have a look. this is my last year, the no, year you before. Show, you I, show. Are you sure? Yeah. This is the last year. And I really like this one because it's... There's so many things about it. Is it white as opposed to... It's white as opposed to cream, and right. I, I like that about it. Yep. It's a real solid cover. Yep. And I like the fact it's got stuff on it already. Yeah, it so when it does get a bit dirty, it? Yeah. it doesn't matter. And does it say Sketchbook of Dreams? It does say Sketchbook does of it? Dreams. And on the back, it's got a really nice little verse talking about, um, you know, look, look idea, look, those la one of many, those lines became ideas, those ideas become drawings. We love them all. We believe every drawing is an expression of imagination. So I really like that little touch that is about lovely. it. But the pages, if I look inside, see this is it's been used. We've it's got that loved. lovely little end paper. But then here, look, I've actually got. Never think a sketchbook's got to be neat and tidy. No. No. no, and you don't have it's to share it with workings, anybody, doesn't it? Yeah. So here, look, I've got an, a part done owl, and I've oh, tested wow. an ink. Yep. But you can see here, look, that's the say it with owl stencil. That's oh. where it started life. Wow. And then I've actually stuck something in, and then on my tiles. Yeah. This is actually uh, one of the books. So is I was it? designing. Yeah. And look, oh, oh, tile in there. Oh, look. Hello. Tile in there. Yeah. So that was the uh, words. You can see, like, you get a bit of a build up of what yeah, you've done. Yeah, of course done. you do. And what's it's a really diary nice. for you as well, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely little corners. Yep. I like that about it. Yep. I like the fact you can stick things in. You can actually sort of use a bit of paint in it. Yeah. It's so dirty. But let me show you when you use colour. Oh, my days. That bounces I mean? off it's the page. It's just lovely. And if I show you, actually... Um, could I just highlight that A4 five. sketchbook, by the way? Um, as I said, Sandra moved away from it last year. She's had to go back to it because she's just... I do. I do. I, I really love it. It's a really nice book. And it's... I, I've got mine again for this year coming. So. Exactly. Now, fourteen ninety nine. Um, it sold out last time we were on a, a week or so ago. Half the stock went this morning. So if you do want to get hold of your sketchbook of dreams, which is exactly what Santangle is all about, we've only got about a few minutes left of the show, so we need to get on to the parchment, if that's okay. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back with you in a moment. So we've got a hobby maker bumper pack of parchment because you had your parchment plate earlier with the sentiments absolutely yes and, and this is an amazing deal so we're going to start with the 150 yeah. gsm which is the thicker of the two yeah you get 50 sheets okay we're doing you a bumper pack because we know that once you get santangling with with sandra's brand new parchment yeah. sentiments pad and do you know what the a4 you've got a4 look what fits on it Ah, do you want to take that over? So yeah, we can, you can actually brand use... brand new diamond frame. There's your parchment, A4 parchment. Just you fit. can use your diamond on it. So don't think that this is just for drawing in. You could actually, you could use one of your ball tools in with your silicon mat if you want to. Brilliant. Or you can draw it with pencil. Yeah. And then you can turn it over and use like a ruler or a straight edge and actually emboss it. Right. So you can do these with parts. You can do it with any of the stencils, brilliant, actually. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Parts brilliant. With it. Everything works together today perfectly, so we, we wanted A4, yeah. so any of my stencils. Yeah. I think a dragon. Yeah. And the owl you've just seen on this parchment paper, that's why we wanted to bring exactly. it. Exactly. So just to, just to reiterate, if you manage to get hold of um, um, Sandra's uh, brand new sentiment parchment pad earlier, this is what you'd use. Mm. This is, and is that what you were using earlier? Yeah, yeah, I've just cut it into half. 
because it was easy to manage on screen. But right. yeah, so you can cut it down if you're going to just use a little tiny tile. Yeah. So just cut strips off. That's what I mean. There's a lot there, isn't it? There's a lot there? there to go at. Yeah. It's going to keep you busy. So Plenty this is practice and test. This is a bumper pack. It's the translucent white, which is tends to be the one that's the most used, isn't it? It the is. Translucent yeah, white. Because then you can colour it. You can yeah. ink it. Whatever you want to do with it. So it's 150 GSM. We do have another bumper pack coming up in a moment. Oh, have I got the wrong one? I do apologise. Oh, yes. All that. Oh, you can feel they that the second the you pick that up. Oh, my goodness yeah. me, yeah. yeah. Well, how could you possibly get yeah. that wrong, Zena? I don't know, but I do it with style. So, yes, yeah, so if we take that out... Yeah, you'll feel the difference. Oh, my. That's yeah. one... When you feel that... That's... that's yeah, absolutely. Have I got one sheet there? Yeah. Well, that yeah, is. So it's a real decent yeah. quality. So you could even do, if you want to do something three-dimensional, like little boxes and things, you could use that as well. That is a good... So that's 150 GSM? Yeah. yeah. Is that harder to sort of trace through, is it? It does take... You have to go over it a couple more yeah. times. Okay. So, but you, you know, were doing that as you were going Yeah, as I was going anyway. On. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. It's half really good the, stuff. Half the stock has already gone on this. 150 GSM, A4. You get 50 now, I think we'll all, the next parchment to give you an idea is 40 GSM less, it's 110, but that is absolutely phenomenal value for money. 50 sheets, A4, bumper pack, trans, translucent, I love that word, can't say it, <laughs> translucent weight tracing parchment, that is about to sell out, £9.99. And then this one is 110. Yeah. Um, I would get ready for this one very quickly because we think this one... Would you say if you're going to start with yeah. something, you so go for the lighter? Bit, I'd be a little bit more delicate with this one. Would you? Yeah, it's it's a really nice delicate. So if you want to do something that's very very detailed, very tangly, be less hard on the hands, it. wouldn't it? Yeah, you don't perhaps have to sort of go in as many times with your ball tool. Just, if just I get, be be gentle with be it. Gentle. Be gentle with it. So if I just if I just you get one, yeah. Hang on. So okay. you will feel, you you can feel the difference. Oh, it's complete. It yeah. feels completely It's very delicate, different. and you sort of you know you can feel yeah. it. Yeah. And I think what it'll do, it'll sort of you'll you'll think I need to be delicate. Yeah, you can feel, feel that. that yeah, it does, think, doesn't it? Sort of, yeah. Think yeah. lace and delicate tangles yeah. and think lots of sort of swirls. So and, would you think yeah. if you're starting with parchment and you got your parchment plate, yeah. would you opt for the 110 before the 150 GSM? Do you know what? I'd go, I'd go with both. Would you? <laughs> I really would because I'd want to try both. And it depends if, if you want to do a frame, 150, great. Yeah. If you want to do a detailed tangling, this one's nice too. So. Hang on, you still get 50 sheets. You put the right price in. Because it's less. If you put, you know, yeah, but 4.99. Look, 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 look. It's not half the GSM though, is it? I mean, if that was 70, 75 GSM, that could be half yeah, price. Yeah, but it's yeah, not. It's only 10. That. Yeah. <laughs> That's a but 50 pack yeah. of A4. It's a nice. Uh, yeah, Do you know nice what? Place. If you if you if you've never tried parchment and you want to get hold of the parchment pad, can we pop that on the screen as well, Law? Um, Sandra's brand new positive parchment yeah, my, pad, my plate, the sentiments yeah. plate. I keep saying pad, plate. Just we know what you just mean. Just, we know what you mean. We just like yeah. just flick me and go, oi. <laughs> plate, woman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Four pad. Oh yeah, my oh it's Sandra, right. I'm so sorry. Sandra, get the other. Come here. Come there. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I did say yeah, that's fine. I've oh, had words. Sandra, I've had they just erased you like a rubber. I know, I know. it's like Dan, isn't it? <laughs> it is that Dan. It's that Dan. <laughs> 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 oh, look, she's doing it again. Oh, look, it's too this late. is what happens if you upset a director. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's, he's nicking my ideas. He's doesn't he's, saying, he can bring in things like like duck faces and things and just put it straight here in front of our face if he wants to wind you up. Good, he can do that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you want to look hard in him and go. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. four ninety nine for your fifty sheets of your A four hundred and ten GSM. If you want the other one, I mean, how I mix them up, you'd never know, would you? That's the one hundred and fifty GSM, and that's nine ninety nine because it is much more substantial. Okay, but you need both, as Sandra said. So there you go. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Oh my goodness, mate! Now, is there any of the as the Hobby Maker highlights sold out again? Well, I think I'd, I think it. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. Not, yeah, yeah. Grab. It's sold out again. For the second well, time yeah. today. Well, at some point, we'll we'll sort it at some point. We always do, but we, we've got to have 
chance to. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, course. Yeah, we're on it. We're on it. Could I suggest as well? It's, you it's nice. get it's those nine pens yeah. that you got. You, we've done this in conjunction with Sandra. You're getting nine of the fine tip pens from 0.2 right no, up no, to uh, 005. 005. Oh, yeah, there you go. Way then up to a brush. up to a brush. Nine of them for eight ninety nine. We went to a pound a pen and and pound a pen and ninety nine p for the brush. That's what we said. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Uh, now then, I'm a bit concerned. Why is there so many with you still in baskets? I don't want to give you a shout out, but I'm going to June, Jean, Shan, Peter, Daphne, Nikki, Crafter, Elaine. Well, I'm going to name in shame because it's going to be a shame for you if you don't get them. Elaine, Lynn, Jean, Dawn, Claire. Now, it can't, Claire, don't worry. She said, I'm not being named and shamed. I'm going to come out of the, I nearly got it into their mine column. And all you need is a credit card, a debit card, or a PayPal account, and it's yours. DMGP24. These are the ones that Sandra's been using through the show today. Perfect for Santangling amongst many, many other things. Karen, good luck. Helen, have we got enough to go around, sweetheart, at the minute? Are we all right? Because Sheila's just come in. Over half the stock's on. Okay, for at the moment, we're okay. I love that. Sheila's just come in. She's in England. She's not telling us where she is. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm in England. I like that, Sheila. There you go, look, there's your nine pens. There's the nibs. Ms. Nibs, his nibs. What do they call his nibs? I've no idea. No, I've never idea. No idea. Yeah, well, they say his nibs, don't they? We're just agreeing with it. Yeah, I've never heard of that. <laughs> oh, you have, you have. When somebody says his nibs. No. You've heard of that, haven't you, Craig? No, no. Craig's heard me, yeah. Yeah. They say his nibs. I've never, Perhaps I don't it's know. it's too far north for me. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Right then, well, the good news is in the last few seconds, Helen's got them, Maureen's got them, Catherine's got them, Sheila's got them, Claire's got them, Julie's having two. Again, even if you want to write a card with a really nice pen, grab those. They're a pound a pen and they're brilliant. Um, right, Sandra, thank you so much. So, thank are you. you in again before Christmas Day? No. I said hey, Christmas Day is the next one. Day. Day. Yeah, so Dobby will be with me as well. Dobby's so. there. He is. He's, he look, he's loading it up with the mates. And, he yeah, is. He's, he's Hello, getting, Dobby. He's getting friendly with all these little lady angels. Yeah, oh. he is, isn't he? Yeah. And he's with the gonks. Yeah. Our lovely gonks. He looks yeah. a bit shattered, to be honest. He's had a few operations. I was going to say, he awesome. looks yeah, a bit he's, battered, he's doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, he's like... <laughs> Um, you've been amazing as always. Thanks for the Thank brilliant you. hobby maker highlight. Been great. Thank you. Everything today has been brilliant. So if you've seen something you fancy, obviously, get it checked out. That um, A4 sketchbook of Sandra's has nearly sold out again. Um, so if you need a fresh, pristine one for 2023, yeah. don't. But use it. Don't yeah. leave it fresh. Yeah. Pristine. Don't keep it use special. It. Yeah. Use, use it. it. Use yeah. it. Uh, right then, my lovely. So if you want to tune in at midday and two o'clock on Christmas Day, then you'll get to see the lovely Sandra. Um, after the break, now we were just talking about heat guns, weren't we? We were. We were yeah. I was about to shout. Oh, there you are. I was just about to say, I was going to shout out to Craig yeah, in his Christmas jumper. Yeah, it looks and there, look, there, yeah. can you say, I was like, where's he got? There you go. <laughs> He's doing the show as a gnome, aren't you, love? <laughs> yeah, you. You walk, you're taking photographs, are you? I thought you might be, yes. <laughs> right then, Molly, watch her in a bed, because she, when she's in a bed and you disturb her, she might go for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she can be a bit funny in her bed. Right then, my lovelies, I want to make sure you've still got your hands for the demo. Right then, my lovelies, do join us after the break. Thank you to you. Thank you've been you. fantastic. Drive Hello, safely. Have your air ups, lovely. And join myself, the fabulous Craig, crafter's companion, and a brand new heat tool after the break. <laughs> When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. You know, we're really pleased we're getting more and more brand new suppliers here at Hobbymaker. We'll wait until you hear the latest. Cricket is joining us at Hobbymaker. And we've got exclusive deals just for us at Hobbymaker featuring the Joy and the Maker 3. And if the stock sells out, which it probably will, you won't see it again until next year. 
So make sure you join us this Thursday for the exclusive exciting launch of Cricket on Hobbymaker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and p Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. If you've recently missed your favourite show on Hobbymaker, it's really easy to catch up on our website. Simply visit hobbymaker.co.uk and click TV Guide. Here you'll be able to choose any show broadcast in the last seven days, which you can watch, pause and rewind at your convenience. And to make shopping even easier, any items featured in the show will appear underneath. With Hobbymaker's catch up, there's never a reason to miss out, no matter what time of day. to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Loveliest man in crafting. We've got the loveliest. And I just said to Craig, I'm so sorry, Craig. I had my I've had Christmas jumpers all through December. You never Bonk. said no, you never said that to me. <laughs> you know you never yes, even uttered a jump. word about Christmas. Yes, yes, fibber. You so I've hung up two lovely jumpers. Hi, at Dame Edna. I've hung up two doesn't say something rude, does it? No, but is it meant to just have one antler? Oh. Oh, oh hey! There you go. There you go. I've got double antlers now. Yeah. Oh, we're a bit lopsided. Like a festive Deirdre Barrow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's a compliment it's better to me. Than Dame Edna. Well, there you so go. I said, then. To, I said to Craig, I said, oh, I love your jumper, Craig. And I just said, Craig, I've got two jumpers hanging up on my kitchen door, so I couldn't forget them. What did I do? You forgot them. I got them. So uh... I do apologise. Christmas jumpers throughout December. It's got to be done. Where'd you get that from? This one. I like that. Um, I, th I think it was a certain inexpensive. Oh, one of those. One of those. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. yeah like it. Very thick. But right, I'm going to take these off because it's not about me. It's not about these. We have got the launch mm -hmm. of. Now, is this class of stamping foam and a heat? What what stamping foam with a heat gun? Well, let me show you. So first and foremost, I kept teasing it last month. I was meant to be here last month, but with delays, we couldn't have it. Beg and beg oh, and beg. on and on and Kelly. on about it. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. Kelly that deals with that deals with our schedule here. I begged her to make sure I still had this show. Right. We're going to go over the, the bundle just shortly with yes, yourself. Yep. But you've got four blocks of foam. Now, this isn't something brand new. This has been around for years and years and years and years. But I've never seen it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it looks like plain foam. But as yeah. I say, this is something I've never seen in all my crafting. So okay. what we're going to do, we're going to get our foam, right? So do you get this with the bundle? Is this Get with it with the bundle, yeah. Brilliant. So get that as well. There is the bundle with the two of them. So on the foam, one side, two side, yeah. whatever way you, you want, you're going to heat it up. So you're going to take go. a few moments to heat it up, plug it in. Now, it's going to start to manipulate itself. Now, what I mean by that, it's not going to melt, it's not going to dent, it's not going to do anything in front of your eyes. What you're just going to do is take a good couple of moments. Now, tin foil, money, paper clips, button, strings, dried leaves, hessian, embossing folders, stencils, die cuts, 
embossing boards. Why are you throwing random words at us? Because you're going to take any of them and anything else with a textured surface no. that you can find in your house, dried pasta, dried no. rice, um, foliage, anything like okay. that, you can find in your stash at home, anything, gems, pearls. You're going to then come in, right? So I'm going to go in, do it quite quick. I'm going to go at my favourite. Press it in, press it. Now, you're not having to go really hard, but still put a fair oh. bit of pressure on. Yeah. And do you know what's great about these, Zena, is go you on. do get your pack. Yeah. You can get more. Yeah. Once you've used this, yeah. if I don't like the design... Yeah. Heat it up again. Heat it again. It oh. goes completely flat and you can use it over and over and over again. Now, I'm not sure... There, oh, look at that. Look. Right, you ready for this? White multi-purpose cardstock, any cardstock's oh. up to you. We've got pigment inks on the show, but I am just going to go in with water reactive. So we're going to go in. So we can take and make our dies, our embossing folders, our leaves, our pennies, our paper clips, our buttons, crinkled up foil, which looks awesome. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. And then you can look reheat that. that and reuse it and do it you again. You can go back and back. So oh. if you love the look of that and you think, Craig, I want to keep that, keep it. Don't reheat it. It will stay like that for as long as oh. you want it to be. But if you don't like it, give it a wipe. Now, of course, I would be a lot quicker or take my time at home. But all then you're going to do, you don't like that, you don't want to waste it. So all that you do is you go back over again. It completely oh. levels out. You might still see some pattern, but that's from the ink. It goes completely, completely flat. And then what you can then this do... This is magic. It's, it's what it's like, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go in, let's just go in. We'll go over the bundle just in a second, but I just want to show, serve a purpose. I've got a little swatch book here to show you all the different things oh, oh, that you oh. can do. So we're this going to go brilliant. in, reheat it up, switch it off. Let's just go back into there. And then we're going to press, I'm doing it on my glass mat. Yeah. But think about your dies that you've got that you yeah. can now make into stamps. So press it in. I have been waiting and knowing this product was coming to us and waiting for so, so oh, long. Look at that. No. Once again, let's just use the same ink for now, seeing as I've got it here. Oh, God, but it we've all got to get this short. Could be, it could be your pigment inks, and then it's still a heat embossing tool, so you can go over with your embossing powders, which we'll show you throughout the show, and then you can emboss it with all your embossing powders. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Look at that. Look at that. How fab is that? It and then looks like a neon light, doesn't it? Yeah, you all can spell words in there. You could do, but all you're going to do is let's bring in oh, your great. nesting dies, your guillotine. That can then be a background, of course, you can see. Now, do you tell you, tell you what? Go on. Will I give a quick, quick clean? Yep. Shall I show what's in the bundle? And do you want to go Brilliant. in the bundle? Brilliant. And I'll just keep going yep. because we've got loads. So... Final price on screen. We've popped it in there already. So this is... Can I just say as well about your about your heat gun? I know I've not even properly mentioned that. You what, darling? I'm not even properly mentioned I know. It, I mean, over. we just glazed over the fact that he was using... This is the... This is... I like this because it's pretty. It's a pretty it heat is, isn't tool. It? Some of them are downright ugly. I don't like to say it, but you've got to stand. OK, it is very ergonomic. Mm -hmm. So you've got... Uh, this is the heat tool, so it's a perfect addition. I think we all need a heat tool, don't we? I think that's it, because it, it expands your crafting. It does. It really does, of course. It does work for what we're doing now, but it enables you... If you don't want to let things like your glitter paste or glues, yeah. anything like that, if you don't want to let it dry at room temperature naturally, you want to heat set it, yeah. that's what your uh, heat exactly. gun's for. We haven't all got the patience, have we? Well, that's it. No, we don't. <laughs> we also, really if you, don't. If you make it to make money, you need to speed the process up. Of course you do. So Absolutely. there's lots of reasons why you would use one. Absolutely. Um, so loads of techniques, loads of crafts, but obviously it's not just 
limited to heat embossing. You can dry your paints, your inks, your moulding foam, your shrink plastic. Again, if you want to get into that, we've been doing some great shrink plastic deals at the moment. Uh, it's stylish, it's lightweight, so it's really, really comfortable to use. You've got the built-in standard, you can see there, that just flips down. You've got two speed settings, if I'm right, so you can control yes, it really you do. well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, there you go. Two speed settings. I thought it had. Um, so, yes. Yeah. So, um, there is... And it's a UK plug. Okay. So, UK plug. Lovely and quiet. That's mm -hmm. one thing I will say about that this. really it's is. Really, really quiet. And then you also get the box of your heat and mould stamping foams, which we've got here. And am I right in thinking you're getting four, You Craig? get four. You wow, get four. And as I say, you can use both sides. You can Just use all you the that. edges as well if you want to. If you like one side and you want to keep that in a set design, mm -hmm. you can reheat the other side over and yeah. over again and it doesn't transfer that exactly. heat through to the opposite side. But I was thinking, you've got money down there. So imagine it, especially this year in 2022, mm -hmm. when we've transitioned from a queen to a king yeah. here in the UK. Can you imagine putting oh. half of it with the queen's and when the, with the queen's uh, silhouette and then when the new 50 pence piece comes out with King Charles III, doing something like to, to reflect what's happened this Ex year. That's exactly. a massive deal. What we were having as well, because this does not affect anything. So we were talking about Let me this. reach them. Please. Thank you. Because all that I've done, as you can tell, I've just got loads of stuff out. Because what Laura in our ears just said, and that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to do the first thing. Thank you, Zena. Pleasure. And you're going to be looking around your house, your room, exactly. your car, anything. I've got tea, tea towels. Towel. I've got so, oh, well, so we much. see the leaf at some point? We will, up, definitely. Thank you. But all that you're going to do, I've literally raided my piggy bank, as you can see. <laughs> I here. can see. It's your and pocket money. It's my pocket money. <laughs> now, I did heat that way longer than I needed to while you were chatting, but all that you need to do is go in and then you're just going to press in. Oh, I can't wait for this. So I like to press into the object. There'll right. be some items where you might want to pop that object on top, for instance, like a large die okay. that we'll show you just shortly. But back at the head office, we were talking about on like tuition shows and that that we do, people were messaging and saying kind of like um, their medals and that, their husbands, oh, their granddad's that's medals. that's a lovely Doesn't idea. Because you're not heating the product. You're yeah. not heating the metal. You're heating the foam. Oh, what a lovely idea. And then lift that up. Oh, look at that. We've got the impression... And then let's go in with our foam. That really oh. shows it off. And then look, you've got the 20p piece, you've got the oh, 10p piece, the one, the five. Let's just go in with oh, another piece that. as well. And then you're just going to press it, press it in. So whatever object you've got, it doesn't matter if one is a couple of millimeters deeper or okay. shallower than the other. You're just going to go in Oh, look at that. Look that at that. That is cool. But imagine it, like, if you've got friends abroad and you get some of their monetary, their That's coins it. and things, and you do that, you know, like if they're in New Zealand or Australia, it's just a nice touch, isn't it, to a background or whatever. It really, Clever really idea. is. It's such a great idea, and it's fun as well. Isn't it? It's do. great to get kids involved in crafting as well. well. That's the thing as well. You know, obviously, you do have your heat gun, so, of course, keep an eye out, um, you know, when you would probably use it. Key thing to say as well is, that's a great bundle that we've got. Well, I was going to say, a lot of heat guns are more than that. So exactly. the, you're effectively getting that thrown in the stamping foam, aren't that's you? That's what it's like. Yeah. That's what it's like. But just to say as well, you know, we know everything that's going on in the world. So if you're thinking, ah, Craig, so you're telling me I can only use that foam with your heat gun. No. No. If you want to try this, but you've got two, three, four heat guns like I do. Yeah. Use your own heat gun, as long as it's a crafting heat gun, mm -hmm. which a lot of us got, use that, just get the foam. Right. You can still do it. Are we doing the foam I'm separately doing. today as well? We got that separately. Yeah. Right, we do. Oh, that's good of you. We don't have many of it no. on its own, um, but we are going to, the producer's going to load that for you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Okay, we don't have the heat gun on its own, but I, obviously, if you don't, you want the bundle, it's more cost effective. So if you don't have the heat gun, get this. But if you want, and if you want extra mm -hmm. of the foam in addition, then we are going to pop those. Thank you. I thought, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So the pa 
The pack. Let me move you out the way, Mister. Trying to claim all the attention there, Mister. Heat gun. That could be a missy or whatever or undecided. Um, so then we've got. There's your four um, crafters companion heat and mold stamping foam. This is this is like pure magic, and you can get all of those uh, for six ninety nine. And the heat gun. Uh, bundle is the one that we had before so if you want to add more molds or you want to just like Craig said you've already got your own mm -hmm. heat gun that's great so it's six pounds 99 this is such a good idea it is and you know you might say well if you need to if, if, if you don't need to reuse it over and over again what I mean by that is if you're saying why have you got them available separately if you're just going to if you like something don't heat it up yeah but for instance the, the one, okay, I've remelted it down there. When I say melt it, it's gone flat. <laughs> yeah. um, the one with the scoreboard, yes. I love. So I'm keeping that. Right. So it just saves me having to do it time and yeah, time yeah, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you might get to a point that you've got one with a scoreboard, one with money, one yeah. with leaf. Tell you what, let's, I've got a swash book. We'll show you that in a minute. Yeah, I'd love to see that. As well as the scoreboard, tin foil. This is my absolutely favourite technique. And you can do a different one on each side and all the sides of this. Of this. So Absolutely. if you think about it, you've got those two sides for the big ones, then you've got all the smaller yeah. edges for borders and things and frames and things as well. The only thing I would watch for is if you have already done the indent on one side, this full side, yeah. if you go to re or heat the sides, it may start to flow oh, out into that, just yeah. at the edge. Okay. So maybe you want to keep what maybe you like the elongated sides. Mm. Maybe you want to use one just for that. Right. But you can absolutely use the whole foam time and time again. Or as I say... Or just buy extra ones. Heat it, put it into a press of whatever, and then even afterwards, if you were to come really lean on it, it stays in the shape wow. that you've just created. But this one here, this is, is one of my tin favorites. Foil? Just tin foil. Just wow. tin foil that we can see just here. So we're going to go in now. Now, what I would say, and just had a really good question in our ear there. Yeah, well, thank you, Dan. Really, Director, really good Director question. Dan. His question was, is there any kind of ink is best or not to use? Best one is water-based ink. So okay. anything that you love to do your <coughs> water-based techniques with, quick dry, although it's not a fully absorbent surface as such, quick dry is best for what it does, quick. Whereas you want something that's going to kind of sit so you can transfer. So your water reactive inks or any other branded water-based ink pad. We do have right. pigment ink pads on the show. You can use them because you're going to transfer that impression uh -huh. and we'll sprinkle it with embossing powders afterwards. But let's go oh, in here. So we're just going to Sprinkle. heat this one up. And Zena, I'm purposely trying to use the same two yes. over and over again yeah. so that you can see yeah, how, reusable it is. how we're using yeah. it, how useful it is. And you can simply flatten it by adding the heat. I so can't wait for the reveal. Isn't it exciting in? to get the reveal as you turn it over as well, isn't it? Just quickly, the, um, the stamping foams on their own, the mould stamping foams, they're nearly sold out. Three quarters of the stock has already flown out the door at £6.99. Oh, look. Play. Look at that. Oh, Nick, these are great. Aren't they good? Look, Look at, at that. that. So if you, if anyone loves oh, the reptiles lovely. and the wildlife. Oh, like if you've got that. like the dinosaur. Dinosaur, and, yeah. Uh, uh, dyes and things. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Because you can cut out a oh. die and then you can press, wait until you see what I'm just away to show you just shortly. Yeah. So let's go in. And then all that we're going to do is press that one in. So that was just a black water reactive okay, yeah. ink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we go in, press that one in to here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? Isn't oh. it fab? Looks really, really cool. Brilliant. Look at the textures that you've got in there. Completely flat. But do you know what it's like as well? It's like someone's put something on a photocopier and just yeah. sent it through. Oh, that's nice. So, so far, in the last few minutes, we've done our tin foil, we've done pennies, we've done string, we've done Scoreboard, our embossing yeah. board, scoreboard as well. Still got loads to show you. And keeping in mind, it is a heat tool, so it's still going to do all your heat embossing, yep. whether it is your stamps, of course, but then you can then die-cut your sentiments, 
pop them into the, the foam if you want to, or your actual dies, your actual dies, you can press. Doesn't damage the foam, yep. although it's a die, there's not enough pressure for it to damage. So that design on the die mm. has then transferred onto the foam, so your die then becomes Brilliant. a stamp. But speeding up the drying of your paints, of, you know, and you think about the shrink plastic, and I mean, on Jewelry Maker, we use heat embossing tools, uh, uh, heat tools rather, on Jewelry Maker as well, so often. Uh, so again, it, it's one of those things that it will really, exp it's like when you finally invest in a die cutting machine. It totally transforms what you do, doesn't it? It really does. And it really, really does. But also, if you've got anybody in your family, like my dad, still saying, what do you want for Christmas? Mm-hmm. You know, and you're thinking, I fancy one, but I haven't. I don't necessarily have the money. Get a friend or a family member to treat you to that. Yeah. You know. Definitely. Yeah. We've had a question from Ruth. Can we have that then, my darling? What she say? Um, ooh, oh, you're a ooh, Ruth. Can you use with embossing folders? Ruth, was it? Yes. Great minds think alike. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. So is that a yes? That is a yes. <laughs> so I'll tell you what we'll do on this one then. Yep. Let's stamp it with pigment, put embossing powders on. So we're using the heat tool to heat this and then the heat tool to emboss the powders. Okay. So let's go into here. This if, bundle. If, I was going to say, if you've not got a heat gun yet, yeah. you need to get this with these with these mould stamping foams. Definitely. Just brilliant. And the, it's still got the two settings. And for a heat tool, you know, you are going to get noise. You've got that directional very, very heat quiet, coming out, though. but it's still relatively quiet. quiet compared to others in the you market. Have, neither of us having to raise our voice over No, we're not. No. no. And when we do the other branded heat tools that we use on the tuition videos and all that that we do on our YouTube, yep. if we use those other ones, either we have to shout yeah. or while I'm doing it, I have to go have, quiet exactly. and you chat yep. or vice versa. Yep. So that Whereas is incredibly quiet. That. Yeah. It do you really know what is. this also does with these these mould stamping foams as well? This makes your card making completely unique to you. It does, yes. On every level, because nobody will have the same as your mould. No, they won't. They really, really mm. won't. So I'm going to go in, let's go in at an angle here. Now this is one of our six by six folders. I actually brought the original set of these in the past. So it had a little die in that to go with it. Mm -hmm. But I purposely brought this one so that you could see it's a split folder. Okay. It's not just one edge to edge design. So our folders, anyone else's branded folders. So okay. press this one in. So let's go in. We've then <laughs> got- oh, This is great. Our impression into the mold. I think that was just an ink pad or something. Fun, Thank you. Right, sweet. Let's go in with pigment. So this one is Lagoon. So this one is on the show. So what I'm going to do, oh, this like one is nice and juicy. So what I'm going to mm. do, first of all, is let's do one impression. And what will happen is- You do impressions as well, Craig. Oh, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> the only impressions I can do is when it comes to this foam. I'm not great at uh, normal oh, impressions. That's amazing. Now, I just needed to add a little bit more ink. As you can see, that's ink I needed to use. Yeah. Not wet, look, you can see it there. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. not yeah, even yeah. put enough. Mm -hmm. But still go in, where is my, I've got one of Cosmic Shimmer. So this oh, is their, actually, well, that's a white one. Let's go in with a clear one, Sina. Mm -hmm. And then let's pop this one over the top here. And then I'm going to bring in a piece that I've already done. So let's give a bit of a sprinkle. So that's gone cloudy now because we've got our white embossing powder over the top. So let's go in with our heat tool. Now I go straight to setting two. Many people will maybe start at one. Ease one the powder. cooler and two's hotter. So it's not necessarily hot or cooler, it's about the force, the force. of the heat. So if you find you're using, you know, another branded ink pad or powder and your heat gun is really forcing and blowing off the powder, start at two right. so it's subtle and it gently melts your powder. Then, sorry, going with one, oh, yeah. then jump into two. Okay. But I know with the Cosmic Shimmer as well as our pigment ink pads, if I go straight in with the first one, and then what I'm doing is, is I've work all my way along. Now keep in mind this is clear, but it'll have all stuck. You'll be able to see it I'll from your nose, angle. Craig, sorry. So I'm starting at the top and I'm working my yeah. way down. So you've now taken your embossing folder and then you've created a stamp with oh, it. Yeah. And then you've gone in with your heat tool 
and you've done an impression onto the foam and then you've used your heat tool to go in and then melt all of the powders that you can see here. That's lovely. See, straight away, you doing that makes me want to buy one. Yeah. Straight away. It's fun. Yeah. That is yeah. the thing. And this sort of bit. It's exciting. When it comes to heating up, when it comes to young kids, then of course you'd be uh, doing it yourself. Or big kids. But if it's big kids, yeah, or big kids. <laughs> but look at that glossy that's effect that that's got. Gorgeous. And that is from. Okay, it was a six Embossing by six. Folder. The size is irrelevant yeah. of the folder. So you can then ink with your pigments, pour your embossing powders on the top. So as I say, water-based yeah. pigment ink pad. Water-based and pigment ink Never. pads are going to be the best ones. Ruth, so there you go. That's an absolute, bits. ooh, yes, with an ooh on the end. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's lovely. That is lovely. Isn't that fab? Isn't it fab? Uh, now, we've got another, is it a comment from Elaine or a question from Elaine? Sorry, don't, don't ever say sorry if it's already been covered. We'll say it again. Um, but could you take, no, it hasn't been covered, but we were all thinking it. Could you take hand impressions with it, Elaine says, or feet or all sorts of so, things like that? No. Uh -huh. Because, certainly, please, and that was something that I was coming on to just shortly, babies and animals, for this, for a, us as an adult, it doesn't get boiling hot it gets very lukewarm oh, that's a really good point but oh, for yes. babies safety. or animals it will potentially be too hot for oh, their gosh, skin that's a really good safety warning. plus you'll have seen i'm not putting lots of pressure on but i'm putting pressure Enough, on yeah so if you're doing that with a, a baby's hand or fruit footprint i love the thought i know why you've asked it's a great idea but you need to think of the heat for us as adults mm. teenagers absolutely fine heat wise but for babies and animals it will just be potentially too warm That's a really for good their point. skin so absolutely not <laughs> but any, the, anything else anything it's a good else oh, you know it's a find. really good point you really good question you asked that because i was thinking that, and that wouldn't yeah. ever even enter nope. my head not about the heat aspect of it have, and when you say it, it's obvious but then yeah. if your brain doesn't think it you're like oh well, i wouldn't have thought of that well i tell you what, i'll heat this one up yeah. and before i press it in if you want to might, touch it like to see how just hot, so yeah. that you can see oh. the key thing with these as well zina as soon as you have whatever you are stamping have your ink have everything ready to go because it cools quite quickly okay so therefore you need to be quite quick right Knowing how long you need to be on, what yeah. you're going to do is you'll do it the first time. You will know if you need to add a little bit more time. Okay, right. Because you you'll have maybe not well. got a crisp impression. Yeah. The key thing as well, it's not wasted. Well, because you just reheat it you again. You just reheat it. <laughs> yes, if it's not you right. You just reheat it. So and that's clever. it. So you, w and you will become familiar with that time. Well, you, know, you get to know each you kind do. of item that you're working with don't you they've Absolutely. all got their own personality every single one of them well that's it and yeah. then you think it's worthwhile spending another few moments with the heat on it instead of not enough then you need to yeah. clean it you need to reheat it again and it's so lightweight it's not as if it's too much of an not effort at all. Is it? not at all no. do you want to i'm a way to put we would just get do you, i'm oh, already on it my director just said and i was about to ask the question we're already all on the it. same thing can you use your metal dyes on it and Sorry. he's already there. Already on it. Do you want to come and press? Do you press? mind? Excuse you me. I'm going over there because I want to say thank you. Just so, so you can see. So I'll turn that away for now. Ah, see, it's not too hot for us, no. but I would not put my dog's no. ball on there. No. No way. Or a baby. No. Not that I have a baby, but <laughs> wouldn't borrow one and put it on there. Yeah. But no. then you'd be able to see. Yeah. But you see, oh, you've yeah. got your fingerprints. Oh. No, that's hey. a good... Hey. 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 What are you being up there? Mm-hmm. But something you. like that. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. oh, I'm just reheating it because I've taken it off that heat that little you bit. You might use my you. DNA in your cards, please. Uh, well, it, no, I won't, <laughs> I won't do that. I certainly won't do that. Now, Can you this imagine when the police are on the phone? <laughs> could unlock your phone, couldn't I? Just turn that. <laughs> this is where now I would say have a play with the way you apply it. And what I mean by that is love this dye. Debbie Robinson feels it easier to put the dye on top and press down. Mm. I've done both, and for me, it's easier to have my dye laying flat and then press my foam. Yeah. So there's not a right or a wrong way. It's okay. what you feel comfortable doing. It's not going to damage the foam once again. Because you would think it might cut it, mightn't you? Yeah, but it won't. It definitely okay. won't. Because you think with dyes, the yep. dye isn't doing the cutting. It's the pressure machine. of your dye cutting yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have enough pressure unless you're 
Hulk Hogan or Arnold Schwarzenegger mm. or The Rock <laughs> or anything like that, Stone Cold Steve oh, Austin, you can tell I watch the wrestling, yeah. <laughs> then you've not got enough pressure to yeah. damage your dies. And once again, you know, I'm probably pressing a few seconds longer than I need because to. Because you're on the telly. Because I'm on the right. telly. But you're going to know. You're going to know. Now look oh, at that. look at that. Can you see that impression? Oh, these are an absolute game changer. So let's go in with another. Let's take our, what one will we go with? Let's go, uh, let's go fuchsia again. Let's you go with go this one. You always go back to the fuchsia. I all, uh, that's, that's my gag back at the office, yeah. If we're showing anything and we've got fuchsia, I always go back. You were Michael J. Fox in another life. You think so, mm -hmm. yeah. I wouldn't mind some of these uh, super cool, like, Oh, the DeLorean. Hoverboards and oh, stuff like yeah, that. the hoverboard yeah. was ice, wasn't wouldn't it? Say, wouldn't say no to that. Mm. Look oh, at that. yes. Look at that. Now, that could Are even... You're turning be... any metal die into a stamp. Absolutely. Would that you... could be translucent, clear, and go in with your coloured uh, impressions if you want to yeah. as well. You can do that. And did you hear that idea off Dan, our director? He's on fire He's today, on fire. I'll tell you what. He's Mr Ideas, man. He just said, to, to use your stamps and then turn the stamp into a negative version of the stamp. You could do, absolutely. So, hey, following on. kind of onto that, what I'll do, do you think it's worthwhile, Zena? Yes, we'll please, show yes, this, please, yes, we'll show this swatch of, yeah. swash, swatch of this and keep in mind, you can do a lot more oh, yeah. than this. This is just a sentiment, an old crafter's companion sentiment die. Okay. Now I've die cut that three times and with my tacky glue, I've stuck it together. Okay. So it's like a quite a thick chipboard. So I'll pop that to the side okay. and then we'll come back to that in okay. a minute, just so you know what we're doing. But this is Hessian fabric wow. that you can then be pressing onto. Metal chains. Oh, oh. Leaves, now we'll do that one yes, after for you, please. Zena. We've got leaves. Oh, look at the paper clips. Paper clips, <laughs> the scrunched foil. Yes. Now look at the difference. Oh, wow, yeah. Have I got mine what to was that? hand? I did You've have it. You've got one on the stamp, haven't you? I've got one, I've yeah. Just, yeah. We'll come across it, but it goes to show the difference in impression, that one compared to the one that I done. But then what we've also got is oh, look fine that. lace. Oh, is that one of like your edgeables, is it? No, that's actual lace. Oh, that's actually, actually okay. lace and pressed in. So if you've got even materials or that, you know, if you're oh, doing a wedding your sewing garter or... for a memory. Oh, you can you imagine? There you go. Can you imagine that? Maybe die cut a heart or something. Oh, You can yeah. do that. So think about those that you can do. Resin flowers you've got here oh. for the, the males. I know <laughs> That's ladies great. love No, but I know, we're well. just going stereotypical for now. Yeah. Get it, yeah. Screws and nails, oh. wooden embellishments. I thought you captured a snowflake Seven. then. Mm -mm. Well, the, the, <laughs> How did you do that? Like that one, <laughs> liked it. But then your stencils that you've got. Oh, just of course, yeah. Press the impression from the stencils, stencils and the stamps negative. and dies and, oh, this is. Mini pegs, oh. a knitted top. You've got zip. Oh. You have got but it, tiny little buttons. Oh, this now, that was actually the die. <laughs> Ironically, oh, oh, it was the die that go. I just used. So you have then got sequence. Nice. You've got a background stamp. Lovely. You've got cotton lace, round-headed pins. Great like for sewing and things or knitting needle. Absolutely. Yeah. Boss and folders. One? Oh, is that your 50 coins again? Yeah. yeah. So really pressing it oh, in. Oh, I like the keys. Keys, so if you've got new the house. The key to my heart. Key to my heart. Ooh. All these different 21 keys. 21 today. Yeah. The key to the door. You look at that as well. Mm. Metal, metal, metal embellishments. We have got elastic bands, bubble wrap. Oh, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Now you might think, well, that's going to pop when you press. It doesn't. It doesn't. No, because the foam also cushions it as you're pressing. Oh, I love it. Because you get the really big bubble wrap when you order a bigger parcel. That'd look really cool, yeah. wouldn't it? Looks smart, wouldn't it? Yeah. Pasta spirals, uncooked, oh. by the way. Don't do cooked. <laughs> Twigs. Twigs. Little shells. Oh. And then my favourite as well, the scoreboard. Scoreboard on a diagonal. So we've got them. Now Elaine's come back Elaine's and I've got in. an idea that she's going to go plaster a plaster claim all there you go. So she's, she's determined this she's lady. Oh, I've got Let's something go stuck in it. Oh, if you made a sorry, I've got some tape on my talk back and it's just got stuck in Ooh. there. Ooh. So if you made a claim mold of the hand, 
You could impress it into the foam and use to make christening invites. Which could. Like. This yep. could do that. You to, as long as it's a hard surface that you're pressing into, and it doesn't get need to be by thick. The but as you can see, as we were saying, yeah, if as long as it's a hard surface, yeah. please not uh, human skin when I say babies, toddlers and pets. But yeah, if you yeah. can find another way around it with the, yeah. the clay or that, go for and it. Do you know what? Send some messages in and if you've managed to get the bundle and the, um, the moulding stamps, then, oh my goodness me, they're absolutely brilliant. You can get extra ones. Is there any left at the 6 for foot? We've got 12 left, so you've got a, was it another pack of four for 6 99 Great. So if you want to add some more in, because like Craig says, you're going to get your favourites, mm -hmm. you're going to want to keep some of your favourites. So I would suggest if you can afford to do so and you get the heat tool and the, um, those moulds, those uh, mould stamps, uh, foam, moulding stamp foam, there you go, mould stamping foam, I'll get there in a minute, rearrange the words, it's the same thing. Uh, and add in your extra four, one fell over, for 6 99 Okay, there's, sorry, 10 left. 10 left. Um, now, whilst we're all, yeah, message in and tell us what you're thinking of doing. Oh, yeah, it'd be good to hear. What are you thinking personal wise or what is it in your house that you want to do? Um, now then, we've got some really good extra cool, do cool um, deals that we don't want to miss. If that's like, that was a, that, I'll tell you what, I can see why you're so excited. What a great idea. That is, that is pure magic. Magic, isn't it? But it, trans it, it basically turns that into every stencil, stamp, and stamp, even stencil, stamp, and die. Oh, just g genius! Brilliant! What great idea! Would you like some deals for Christmas that are half price? Yeah, which one should we do? Which one should we do? This one. So, so basically, if it's half price, it means you're paying for that one. Well, those, those, those nine, aren't you? So those nine beautiful. Uh, and then you'll get those eight, I'll just double check that, those eight beautiful divine roses, absolutely free of charge. Now these are your polymer stamps, aren't they? Your high quality polymer stamps. They are yes. indeed, absolutely. They're lovely. So you, you could, so you could put those into the into you could, phones. You could, absolutely, and oh. get that kind of reverse effect. So, now you, oh, hang on a second. You, right, so the 998 is for the two, so that's, those nine are five, but hang on, those eight are um, 4 99 and those nine are 4 99 That's right, isn't it? Yeah. But that's the right price, isn't it? That's half price already. Is that going again? Are you going again? <gasps> oh! So you're going to get both of those for 4 99 Whoa! Whoa, hang on a minute. Seven, right, could you divide that by 17, please, Laura? Laura. What's... Oh, she says. Oh! Oh, can we have two? Divide by 17. No, divide 4.99 by 17. Right, you do realise that's just taking each individual polymer stamp there to how much? 29 pence for a high quality Crafters Companion polymer resin stamp. That's great, isn't it? Stamp with it, emboss with it, create your backgrounds with it. Um, you can do your colouring with them as well. Use one, use them all. Create I think how many times you're going to use all that foliage. And can I just say, thank you so very much. Because <laughs> you've got the sentiments in there as well. Mm -hmm. You do. Oh, what a great deal. Isn't that, that is. We love it when you're crazy. on, Craig. Because you bring naughty deals. Or do you want the bad news? What's the bad news? This is my last show until next year. No. Boo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Where are you going? Yeah. Well, well, next year's only a couple of weeks away. That's not the point. Oh, due to be fair, important. you have had to work hard on the advent calendar. I, I, I you have. You have been. had to put extra work in I have to Sarah's been. advent calendar. Yes, well, I you have. have. Have you all been making along with Craig? Did you all get your Crafters Companion advent calendar? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Just, if you have, just as an FYI, today's is a video because I'm here. I'll be travelling back. I mean, he's good, but he's not that good. Not he can't be in two places at once. No. <laughs> but he's had to pre-record all the videos mm -hmm. as well. So yeah. can I just say, on behalf of everybody, joking apart, thank you so much. You're welcome. You've been brilliant. Thank you. You're very thank welcome. You. Right, half price. Sentiments. Is it this one here? Is it these? Yes. It so these have got the stamp and the st and the um, the die in there as well. So it goes. You got both, haven't you? Ah, oh, special. So, oh, I don't know. Even, right, so ha, let's, um, hang on a second. So let's, which one? Let's say you've got that special friend. Hopefully you've all got a special friend. As long as you've got one, you need that one, don't you? I'd say I'd send, make and send that card to you. 
Uh, oh, Craig, watch it, because you're going to get a big fat kiss and cuddle. <laughs> and then I'll get in trouble, won't I? Isn't he lovely? Isn't he lovely? So how do these work? So, so there, look, you've got two sections. How does this work for anybody that doesn't understand? So you can either stamp that sentiment out, that this friend, one. so yep. stamp it out and then yep. pop the die over the top and cut it. Uh -huh. Or if you're like me, you find it easier to die cut the die first into yep. your card and then stamp over the top. Ah. And it works like that, look. Mm -hmm. It's so clever. So you're getting four pieces in there, right? Let's say you are having a party. It might be New Year's Eve, it might be Christmas, Maybe. it might be a birthday, it might be what, just any, I'm gonna have a new, my neighbours around for New Year's Eve. Oh yeah? Yeah. That'd be nice. Well, this is really awkward, because a few years ago, a few years ago, right, I went to Switzerland with Steve that, that, that used to, well, you know, Steve that runs this business. And um, we are in Switzerland uh -huh. and there was no snow. Okay. And then no about, snow in Switzerland. No snow. It was, <gasps> no. And then overnight we had like four foot dumped or whatever it was. So I rang work and said, "Do you mind if I don't come back and have a few more days skiing?" What I'd forgotten was I'd, I'd said to my other my old neighbours that are still my best friends, I'd invited them for New Year's Eve. So I was squiffy, drunk in Switzerland. My neighbours <laughs> rang up and said, "Where are you? <laughs> We're at your door." <laughs> I said, "Oh, I'm in Switzerland," <laughs> and I've never lived it down. So finally, after all the year, these years, I will be having a party. You will and be. I'd better send them an invitation, hadn't I? <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't manage to attend, okay. otherwise I would have. Oh, oh right, OK. D Craig was going to come as well. I was. You can, come to, you can all come to the unveiling of the new garden. There you go. Mm. Yes. How about anybody? <laughs> oh, you're all coming New Year's Eve, are you? Right, they're coming there as well. You can all come. How about if you know anybody that's having a new baby? Yeah, you know somebody's having a baby. Oh, you all know, oh, my team know that somebody's having a new baby. Oh. But the good news is we do have welcome baby girl and you. So it can be any of the above. Yeah. Okay. Oops, a daisy. New baby. So you get that as well. And then how about you know somebody that's just done something really well? Congrats, you did it. And that could go alongside the new baby, couldn't it? Of course it could. <laughs> Absolutely it could do, yeah? It could yeah. It. Could be, couldn't it? That could be for anything. This... Oh, yes, so, uh, yes. But look at the one that you get on the back. You also get, look, proud of you. Well done. You did it. You might just want to use them on their own. Yeah, exactly. And you could do. Uh... Just proud of you. Mm -hmm. That could be for anything. Of course it could. You know, and just well done, you did it. That can be for anything. And I'll tell you what, at the moment, we all need a bit of a big up. We all need a bit of a... A pick me up. We all need to look after each other. It's really important. I think, you know, there's so much going on with people. So, uh, how do you fancy 20 pieces across this collection? He's not doing his hair, he's still got no, his I'm not. going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Whoa. it's another half price. So, it might be like me, and you don't know anybody that's having a new baby. You think, well, I don't want that one, give that to somebody else. There you go. It might be that you think, I don't want to have a party. You're not paying for them. Oh, you were going to push I it. See, I see what you were doing there. Yeah, uh, I broke the illusion. He'd come in to grab it. I thought I was helping. You would be very helpful, Craig. You're lovely. You do realise that those, those with the dies and the stamp, they're $3.99 a set. Wow. Now, when Sarah was on recently, for, um, she did the most fantastic demonstration. You can go back and watch it again. Sarah had these wonderful foam flowers uh, collection. It was absolutely brilliant. Uh, now, this was the... Oh, thanks, Laura. That's really helpful. 18th of October was the day. Yeah. So if you'd like to go back and watch it, because this is... Was that, was that your birthday, 18th of October? That, that was birthday week. That was... Or that birthday was, a bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Sarah came in. We had a fabulous day. She's out on tour at the moment. She's having a great time. Um, this, including with the stamen and all the designs, this was Sarah's incredible Say It With Flowers collection. So you can go back and watch that demonstration. You can, you yeah. can as well. And this, that is the, the form that you get is your flower form and foam yep. with the flower dies. So we usually say a craft iron or home iron to heat it up. But if you don't have anything like that, just Could pin it down it? with a pokey tool and then use your heat tool. Right. So, done. Yeah, because um, so, uh, Sarah did use an iron on the day, yeah, uh -huh. uh, which we had to borrow from. But, but I don't have an iron no. in my home. No. Since my ex moved out, because he took it uh, on the ironing board. Uh, iron's so, underrated, isn't it? Well, exactly. So, you know, it's one of those. But I don't actually possess an iron. So, actually, the heat good would be cheaper than buying an iron. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. It would be, wouldn't it? Yep. Lovely, lovely colours. You get the matching colours of the stamen as well. And then if I hold these up for you, you get these. This is the, um, the charming chrysanthemum. 
And now peonies are normally so really good. expensive. Peonies. They're beautiful. Do you love a peony? Do you like flowers? I, 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 I like peonies. Peonies are gorgeous. Yeah, I do. I, I'm not a big, it's not that I'm not a big fan of real flowers. I'm just not good at keeping them. A lot of people aren't. No. A lot of people aren't. Yeah, Callum on cameras is nodding profusely. Mm -hmm. So there's your chrysanthemum. Why it has to be that difficult to say, I don't know. Uh, your chrysanthemum, uh, hang on a second, have I got it the right way? Yeah, there you go, chrysanthemums. I was the wrong way around. There's your peonies, look. I've done the wrong way around. Peonies are really pricey. So you get those and you get all those lovely matching stamens and the matching colours of the foam in this collection. And you can go back and watch the demonstration. There's 400 stamen in it. It's amazing. So 18th of October, hobbymaker.co.uk. Click on the TV guide at the top. Find the hour with the foaming flowers and you'll see Sara in full bloom. Wow. Now, look at that price. Mm -hmm. Now, look at what you're seeing there, plus the foam. Plus the foam. Let me get the foam over because that's the expensive part now, as well. those stamens yep. scatter a lovely amount on your glass mat and press your oh, yeah. heat and mold foam into it. Yeah. Or take the flowers mm -hmm. and do a little display on your glass mat and then press the foam into that and then you've created your own stamp from these flower dies. Just, honestly, that with the heat... I, th I think today, for me, I'd be having to get the heat mm -hmm. gun and, and, the, and the stamping mm -hmm. moulds because and that is... A really, really good point as well. When it comes to the foam and also when it comes to our cardstock, yeah. you actually get more than 12 sheets of the foam because these colours that you see strips, yeah. that is the best way that Leanne and the team can show you all the colours. So that red, that green and that peach, because they're like halves and quarters, yeah, yeah. so they're not included in the count. So you get 12 oh, full wow. 9 by 12 sheets, plus you get those three extra. Oh my goodness, oh that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. And it's all been taken to 26 99 They make the lovely, oh my hold, that's you're not getting sh uh, sort of blown away by the lights there. Sorry about that. Yeah, and there's your gorgeous colours, the most, the most incredible flowers. I was mesmerised when I watched Sarah doing it. Yeah. It was really good. Fascinating to see. Yeah, really, really good. Twenty six ninety nine. If you include the um, the same in there, that's a four hundred and twenty five piece set for twenty six ninety nine. Yeah, absolutely it's lovely. They make lovely buttonholes and brooches. Um, right, can we go back to your? Yes, we, let's do it. We need to it. see that again because it's just we're, we're going best to do thing it. ever. And I can tell you this, right? Yeah. I've got three things I want to show you. Okay. And that guy that's coming up next in the uh, next hour, well, tough. He'll just have to wait. Oh, he's going to have to wait. He's, he's just going to have to yeah. wait. He's, yeah. let, he's not coming again till next year, so he, he, he can knows wait. Nothing. He can do one. He can just wait. He can just wait. He's, he's about somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> but. Right, let's go. And we're going to do it. I'm leaving you hanging on with this leaf. I'm you leaving are. you I hanging on. I know you are. So, sentiment die. It could be any die, but this is one of our old sentiment dies. Die cut it three times. You can do it twice. Okay. The thicker you do it, the more the impression. Now, as you'll see with this sentiment, because I literally grabbed it as I was running out the house, it is a bit bigger than my actual foam, okay. but it's going to show you the concept of it. Okay. So let's go in, let's go in and you, I'm not going to use the tin foil because I'm going to keep that one because <laughs> I like it. It's going to too nice, isn't it? So all that I'm going to do once again is I'm just going to heat my actual foam up. Can you put the gun too close? Is there a, is there a sort of ideal optimum and that away from it. Yeah, that, and that's a really good question as well. What I would say is many, many crafters will already do heat embossing. Right. Think of it as if you're doing heat embossing. Keep it maybe about two inches, two, three okay. inches away. Yeah. Anything with heat, you would never go direct anyway. No. But, you know, what I would just say is keep it a couple of inches away. Yeah. And then when we are doing heat embossing, we always tell you don't waft. Yeah. This is the one of very few times we would say with a heat gun, although I'm not wafting as such, I am moving back and forwards because I want that directional heat to cover my actual pad. So as I say, you know, some of the things that we have just covered there, but you're going to do one thing, two things, four things, ten things, and you are constantly going to be looking at things and thinking, I can start my phone in there. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? When you take... You're going to become a bit obsessed, aren't you? You are. <laughs> when you take down your real Christmas tree, you've got all these pines that are just... Things. All the tinsel. Yeah. Anything like that. As long as you've got a bit it's of... an acorn picture, into it. Yeah. yeah. And acorn that's a good thing. Like acorn or anything like that. Although it's round, OK, you're not going to get a full impression, but you can still yeah. press it in. You're going to get an area that has got that impression. Yeah, like a cone, could you roll it across the stamp? You would need to be quick. Yeah. You know, I suppose 
there is a way around that. You would need to be quick and yeah. you would need to make sure you've got decent that, amount of pressure, that wouldn't you? decent amount of pressure. But let's press all of these ones here. So you can then go in and press with this one here. What you could also do as well, but you would need to be quick at this, mm. is if you have a rounded ball tool yeah. or something along those lines, what you could do, as long as you're quick, is write a little oh. name or something oh, like that. Yeah. But I, or an age or anything. Or an age or something or, like that. Oh, yeah. wow. Now, look at that. Oh, wow. Now, keeping in mind your sentiment would work in the size of yeah. the actual block. However... If we go on, it is showing you oh. the purpose that you can see here. So let's go in with a piece of card. And I would press a little bit longer, but let's just show oh, you brilliant. the idea. Look at that. Look at that. So you've gone from a die that you have then die cut. So we can set that, that to the side. Awesome. Let's now, Come on, let's go in with the leaves. Yee. So let's just go on either side. Let's heat this one up. So we're going to go in with the leaves. I'm just doing uh, the one Xena, but you could have some leaves. You can have little bits of foliage out in uh, mm -hmm. the side of it if you want to. Keeping in mind, you know, dry pasta, rice, it could be your string, it could be uh, flowers, it could yeah. be stencils, it, I, anything that well, has you, a little bit of thickness. Yeah, if you think like, you, you know, you're not, you, if you've got like a bowl of potpourri and you get all that pressed in as mm -hmm. well. Absolutely. Yeah, you could yeah. do everything like of course that. Of you could. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. If you've got a flat hanging bobble that's got texture on it, yeah. then you know how you can get sentiments with bobbles with little sentiments and stuff like that. And just like more there's baubles looking, behind yeah. with stars in and, and there's all glitter baubles behind. Do you know what you could do? Oh, what? Go on. One of the glittery stars. One of these? Yeah. I'll get one I can actually reach, Craig. Can you get me one of those? There you go, Flower. Let's, right, so you we can will do, that do before, the leaves. No, it's all right. You do the stuff. Well, we'll do it because now it probably goes to show. I've been playing with this for a couple of weeks or so now, so you know how excited I am. Okay. I've not tried this. Okay. It's a star. Now, keep in mind, it is bigger than the block. Yeah, but you get the sentiment of it, don't but you? But you're going to get the yeah. sentiment, the purpose, and it's glitter that you can see here. So what we can then do is let's go in now. You could if you wanted to. Now, it's not going to be permanent, but if you put two side by side and on one side put a little bit of low-tack tape on okay. and heat it up... And get the whole thing. You can get okay, the whole great. thing. Good idea. But let's go in and then let's just press that in. So let's press this one in. So I like the noise. It makes it down as well. It's, it's quite nice noise, satisfying, isn't it? isn't it? It is a nice noise. Oh, look at oh, that. Yeah. Look at that. Let's go in with the fuchsia now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh look. brilliant. You're even getting the glitter texture. Yeah. You're getting oh, that outline idea. of the star. So once again, I would always press all the way around the edge unless you're wanting a rustic look. So for time, I'm not going to apply lots of pressure around the edge. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, yeah. Now, if that was... You're a star, you are, Craig. Translucent clear, and then that could be your embossing powders. That Isn't that is fab? Love it. Absolutely fab. Now then, I'm a bit scared for those of you with it in your baskets, because if it stays in your baskets, then it stays with us. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid you don't get the joy of creating your own personalised stamps with anything you want to put in. I mean, it just blows your mind, actually, doesn't it? It's just going to be the coolest thing. Might be you've got an old pair of, of, of spectacle frames. Absolutely. It might be something like that. It might be something completely random. You know, now the heat gun with the four of your mould stamping foams is a remarkable £29.98. We've proven that the heat gun's nice and nice and quiet, really lightweight, really comfortable to use. It is not a heavy tool nope. at all. The foam on its own, where you've got four blocks for £6.99, has now sold out. So if you would like to get it, the only way you can get it is now with the heat tool at £29.98. But again, if you've already got a heat tool, you can always sell the heat tool on. Right. Zena, I yes. apologise. Laura, I apologise. I'm going to be very, oh, very well, quick here. He's a kind man. I've been Let's to see the leaf. Let's go in with the leaf here. So heating it up. It's again for Press autumnal it. designs and autumn weddings. And... Look at that. Oh, Look at that's that. my favourite. Let's just go. Now, I've just got black, but it could it's be, of okay. course, yeah. um, brown or orange. Green, that. red or yellow. Anything that you want. Oh, so... 
please don't do it with a wet leaf. Let yes. it dry, yes. like I've done. Yes. Sat them all out. Oh, oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Doesn't that fab? That's lovely. Thank there you. you. Go. Thank you. For, he's great, isn't he? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right then, there's some there's some uh, there's some chappy coming along in, in in the next hour, and apparently he's got. We're not sure who he is, but he's got loads and loads. <laughs> he's putting the stuff back. He's got loads and loads and loads of more treats for you. So would you like to join us after the break? <laughs> You'll see you in a minute. <laughs> When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. You know, we're really pleased we're getting more and more brand new suppliers here at Hobby Maker. We'll wait until you hear the latest. Cricket is joining us at Hobby Maker. And we've got exclusive deals just for us at Hobby Maker, featuring the Joy and the Maker 3. And if the stock sells out, which it probably will, you won't see it again until next year. So make sure you join us this Thursday for the exclusive, exciting launch of Cricket on Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24 7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day you still will only be charged one p and p shopping made simple with hobby maker if you've recently missed your favorite show on hobby maker it's really easy to catch up on our website simply visit hobbymaker.co.uk and click tv guide here you'll be able to choose any show broadcast in the last seven days which you can watch pause and rewind at your convenience. And to make shopping even easier, any items featured in the show will appear underneath. With Hobby Makers Catch Up, there's never a reason to miss out, no matter what time of day. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube, so you can watch at home or on the go. Like it over here because I get to stand by you. And it's nice, yeah. Yeah. I, I want you shouldn't... to be my brother, you're not old enough, but I want you to be my younger brother because I think you're lovely. Oh thanks. Isn't he, isn't he lovely? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Everyone's fun here, but yeah, we do have some fun, don't we? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. Now then, <gasps> we are starting with now. I did a show um with one of the Sorry. crafters companion to so you carry on, darling. You can knock yourself out with your gin. That's um, back and forth. <laughs> And we did some festive dyes, uh, bows mm -hmm. in a dye, and they built, I think it was Corinne I did it with. Um, I think, so, I think yeah. it was. And honestly, I, everybody talked about these. In fact, one of my jewelry makers came in earlier and she said, is it the dyes, that you, the bows that you've got? And I said, yes, this is the, one of the best things you'll buy. If you mm -hmm. ever wrap a present for any occasion, whether it's an anniversary, a birthday, a, they don't have to be Christmas, you will never buy a decorative bow again. 
There's 50. Now, this originally sold out, and I said to Craig, Craig, I can't get them. I can't get them. And he was so lovely. He said, you can have my set. I said, I can't take your set. And we got them back in. And do you know what? He posted me a set. And he said to me today, did you get them? And I said, no, I didn't get them. I wonder why they didn't arrive. I'm saying nothing. And I felt awful because I was going to message Craig going, and Craig just said, did you get them? And I said, no. So there's Craig thinking, well, she didn't say thank you. There's me thinking, saying, well, he didn't send them. And I thought, I was thinking, have I upset him? And he went, no. Anyway, anyway, we've got 50 got it set. back. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm going to say, because once they'd gone originally, that because they're Christmas, that they're, was it, they were gone. But brilliant. like you said, so many people, we had customer service in at the back in stock, when the back in stock, and didn't have the heart to say, well, actually, now that Christmas period was not going to be them. over, so we've, we've managed to get them back. Honestly, you've made my so. day today. You've absolutely, honestly, this is genius. You can make single bows, double bows, triple bows. Yes. You get 27. We're going to show you them in act. We're going to show you them made up, aren't yeah, we? Are indeed. Brilliant. You th right. How much money have you spent on bows in your life? If you actually mm -hmm. added it up, it's got to really, be. Yeah. It's got to be way into the hundreds, hasn't it, for most yeah. of us? And the thing is, these bows will be cut out of the same paper you've wrapped in if you want to get it to That's match good. or contrast if you want. That's good. So you use up all your scraps as well. Mm -hmm. You it's, use all your scraps. It's, and look how beautiful these bows look. And it isn't just for gift wrapping. No. It's for your bottle bags. You can see here, for your gift bags. It's for adding to it. And you could just buy a lovely little little candle. Little 10 percent has gone already. This is a festive creative bow. But again, it doesn't have to be festive. There no. are just festive elements in there, like your poinsettias and your holly, to make it festive. That's you can it. leave those out. You can leave them out. Yeah. A couple of them have maybe got like snowflakes on them. Mm -hmm. But yes, yeah, you're saying there is some in there, bows themselves. You can make that is not necessarily for Christmas. No, but they are fabulous. But they Honest, are brilliant. Honestly, I was so heartbroken when I didn't think I was going to get them. It's been it's probably the most desired set of dies I've wanted since I've been yeah. on this channel. Really? That's how oh, on these if somebody said to me, What is your favourite die set? It's the festive bows. Festive bows. This just blew my mind. And they're gonna work with the Gemini. They're gonna work with any die cutting machine. Because and they're most not too big, of them, they? yeah, most of them, if you've got a really small machine, you're gonna be able to create a big, extravagant, full bow. Yeah. with a tiny little die cutting machine, exactly. most of them. Brilliant. But then, as you said, you've got embellishments if you want to make your yep. little poinsettias, yep. foliage. Take the poinsettia, take the detail of the die, okay. heat your foam yeah. and press your foam into it. And you're done. You've got a stamp that's going to match a tag. Now, there's ten in here. Do you want to actually see one of the bows actually made up live in the studio? Because Craig's been very good and brought it with you. OK, so here you go. So here we go. So whether it's the top, of course, any of your gift boxes, yeah. you know, it could be any of the Look top of your that. wine or bottle bags that you can see here. And what these are so good at are Hello. the detail. It's a separate die. There's no cutting edge, which means you get an additional outline die. Yeah. So if you want those snowflakes to be like an aperture so yeah. you can see through them or put vellum through them, you can do. Or if oh. you want to use that full background die, yeah on its own, yeah. you can do. Mix and match, use the tails, uh, split them over and have them hanging down if you want. Do that again, but then compress it in the middle, so yeah. that's where you're getting your full bow exactly. if you and want to. Exactly, and put a gem in the middle if you want to. This that's the thing. so clever. This uh, half the stock's gone. But that means we only had 50s. If you, if you, if you, honestly, mm. you, if you feel like I've felt over the last couple of months, I've been heartbroken. Not being able to get and we're both kicking ourselves because, like I say, <laughs> I thought, well, you've got them, and maybe something had happened with you. And I've not, I've not said thank you. you. And then I'm thinking I've upset him, and he hasn't sent them to me. But he asked me for my address. What, what's gone on? And of course, he, bless him, and he's gone missing. You know the stupid thing as well. Both of us, we should have just thought, well, what's we going on in the asked. world? Yeah. Where, or what's going on in the world yeah. with postage? And gone, oi! We're just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, or, next time, if there's any equipment, you cannot upset yeah. me, I can't upset you, exactly. you go, oi, bird. Or, do <laughs> Did you, know you what, get him? What would be easier? We've got the two Debbies, we've got Corin, we've got we Michelle, have all, like, we've got all the team that could have brought them and handed them, them Well, we'll know next time, won't we? Yes. I won't send the gin or the thank you gift through the post. <laughs> no. <laughs> but look at these. So this is a good example. The snowflakes. Yes. If you use the snowflake die without the background, this is the sort of oh, look nice. that you get. So you get that nice, you get that feel, but that detail die. Love that. But then it's quite vintage, it, isn't it? it is. But the thing, the thing is, uh, Zena. Yeah. It's vintage because of the colour card that exactly. you've used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The papers that you use. It's like the kind of thing you've got in Charles Dickens' time, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. You know? yeah. It would be. But then that poinsettia to decorate in the middle, optional, but you can make that if exactly. you want to. They're 
brilliant. You can do that. Look at Battery this. operated tea lights. Oh. Look at that. Now, this is the one yeah. that you fold over. So therefore you would need like a Gemini Junior or a MIDI. Right, yeah. But the other ones, you can use your smaller machines, but look at that. Really is. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And it's such a great way to use up your scraps that you've cut up or you've got left over or of course you've wrapped is. a present and you're like, you know, and you want it, you're like me, you love everything matching. Mm -hmm. it's you want a it matching. Dream. Yeah. Dream. Card, pattern paper, sentiment with a little bow <laughs> on the corner. Look at the that. edge. So cute. That's it. But then look at that as well. So Look at that. think about what you've got. Now, I always say this quite a lot because as all of us on the team, we've been crafters for years and years and mm. years. So please don't just think of Nature Garden paper, Sarah's signature paper. Think yeah. of the pads that uh, Pea Wheel brings from yeah. um, Hunky yeah, yeah, Dory yeah, yeah, yeah. and Marie and, and yeah. Natalie and the team. Yeah. You know, the things, backgrounds you create from creative expressions, die cut them and create yeah, your bows using amazing. the background. Honestly, it's endless. Let's craft all of Can them. Can we see the dyes, actually, yeah, what they look craft. like? Because I think it's, it, honestly, when you, and again, you can go back and watch the demos. As I said, I'm pretty sure from memory it was Corinne. I might have that, I'm sure it was Corinne. It rings a bell. But you can see them in action. So they are on double, double sided. Yeah. So you can see, look at all these ones that you get. And this is what I mean by they are cut ah. in and cut out. So right. there's a the snowflake. Yep. That's got a perforated edge. So if I oh. cut that into my card, Zena, that will stay in my card. Right. Got you. But then come along and use the outside oh, edge. That, cuts it out. that releases it. But right. then that's a good one to use on its own if you want to. Yeah. And then you've got all these different tabs. So you might use that tab for that bow, uh -huh. or you might use that one for mix, that one. Mix and match, edges, yeah. and then look at all the ones. You've got some already pre-done. This is the one, the only one that you would need your midi or your junior. Okay. Look at all the other ones, you're going to be able to go, go through your smaller ones. ones. Yeah, and there's your poinsettias, and you look at even your little pine cones. Your pine cones and, and everything. Just to let you know, it was the 7th of October. It was Corin. thank goodness for that, otherwise I'd have felt really rude. And you will see Corin actually mm -hmm. using the dies. So if, again, if you just go back either through YouTube, we can see it here, look, and just shows you some of the detail with some of the lovely uh, glitter card behind, look. Here she is, there's your points edges, and she uses all the dyes. She shows you exactly how to make them. Honestly, it's epic. So 7th of October, you can watch them being made with Corinne, and they're phenomenal. Absolutely mm -hmm. phenomenal. They really are. They are. Really, really Honestly, are. Honestly, they're brilliant. 24 99 they will sell out again today. Okay, so the stash and stack mm. bundle we've got. Because we're doing a bit of a best of 2022, wow. aren't we, lovely? This is my last show here for 2022. Do you want to do this, son? We can do that. Should we do it together? Well, let's do it, to Should do it let's together. Let's just do the whole show. <laughs> We're back together. I can't sing. Can we go together. together. Forever. I wonder what song you were going to go if you were thinking of something different. We to go me. together <laughs> like Rem <laughs> Oh, what was on your foot then? What was on your foot no, then? Oh, you would have known about it. Greece then, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we, we did good Carly and Jason, yeah, and then we yeah. went into Greece, didn't we? Yeah, see, I'm, yeah. See, I'm a neighbour's fan, so... Oh, are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's coming back, he's isn't coming he? Back. Don't get me started. Are you really excited about that? Don't get me started on that <laughs> one. <laughs> I used to be a fan. Right then, so we've got the stash and stash and thingy box, which yes. is brilliant. And is this the one that comes without the inserts? Uh, no, so you, you... Oh. I think it is the one that comes without the inserts, isn't it? Can well, I, let's, be, I did not know that we'd done any without the actual... You do the, what? Yeah, now you do. Ah. Ah, this, yes, Sarah came up with the idea, because what she was saying is, sometimes when we have these, we have that many inserts that we've not necessarily used. She said, actually, you can use those in this one, or a lot of people have been asking for one without the inserts. Well. It works out a bit cheaper. Mm. There we go, you learned something there new. You see. Someone never done yeah. their homework before mm -hmm. they came here, did they? Mm -hmm. I'm just, well, it was just a, a, a guess a -rama. So, this is one of the stash and stack boxes, okay. but without the inserts. But you might have inserts left over from yep. other stash and stack boxes, mm -hmm. or you just might want without. Easy, easy fits for mm -hmm. your A4 that you can see here. It does uh, go a little All bit stackable. bigger. All stackable. You can fit your 9 by 9 by 12 foams in here if you want okay, to. Okay, good. 9 Maybe by 12. Maybe putting them in flat, you could, of course, go in. So if you want to then section off any of your foams. You can do projects. Your projects. Yep, your stencils, heat gun stamps, in there. everything in there. So, yeah, it's a really Bard good stock. stackable one. Because as you said, once the lid's on, so, so sturdy. But then Listen what you can this. do is Listen put the other this. one. Oh, oh, that ain't opening, is oh, it? Oh, between that and the noise of the guillotine that goes... Oh, I love that's them. That's very satisfying, isn't it? It is. 
Now it doesn't just, now that's if you've got some of the inserts okay. and you, like I say, it doesn't have to just be for card making. It can be for anything, any oh. craft, any hard, oh, go on. Oh, you do actually get the. Oh, you get that as well. Ah. Get all that, all that. That's why I put them to the side because get, no, I thought it was, no, this no, is no, it. No, no, no. Contents is just for a demonstration. Get, wow, okay, okay. So what me. else you get then? So you're going to get your tacky glue. Now you see us using this day in, day out, so, so good for doing your construction. Uh -huh. You get your red liner tape. So if you don't like a strong wet glue, you can use your red liner Brilliant. tape. Now that's, you can heat emboss on that. Can you? You can heat emboss. And then you can even put your flakes on. Now we've Gilding got our flakes. gilding flakes. So nice. you've got your glue. So pop glue on wherever you want it, sprinkle some of the flakes on, let it dry. And then with your little squidgy foam, just, just scrape it, it off, rub. scrape it off. I am shocked that that is all included within that it's one. It's all included. It is. And the session stack. And the actual stash box stash itself. Stash and stack. I think the reason that Craig didn't think it was included because Craig does know the price. Envy, well, that I do. Yes, and that's why, that I do. I love the way you speak. Yeah, so a lot of people say that. I love the way you speak. It's really weird. That do you know I what do. it was? Is Because I'm, I'm in con uh, County Durham now, so I'm used to not many Scottish accents yeah. about. Yeah. And then uh, just last week there, uh, myself and my girlfriend had come back from a few days in Edinburgh. Oh, Felt so weird actually being somewhere where everyone spoke, spoke your Scottish. Like <laughs> my girlfriend oh. was speaking and she was the ones that were going, oh, oh. So from here. She had a lovely, you had a lovely photo. Oh, I had a beautiful. great beautiful. time. I am lucky. Um, now, the reason we were confused is because the box is normally 11 99 mm -hmm. on its own. So that means you're getting a full 100 mil of tacky glue. Oops, a tacky glue for a pound. Mm -hmm. The... And it's the thicker version of the red liner tape yeah, yeah. for a pound. And more alarmingly, the gilding flakes with the glue and the sponge for 99p. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes, it is, Craig. Well, clearly, oh, yes, it is. You know <laughs> yeah. We're into pantomime mode. 14 99 for that incredible, robust box. The adhesive, the glue, the gilding flakes, and the, and the and the red tape. And the red tape as well. Wow. So there's all your construction done, even if it's just mat and layering. Yeah. But storage, little gift. Now, little gifts, or split it up. Maybe give someone that's a crafter that you know the flakes. Well, yep. I'll probably keep them myself. But you could <laughs> give them that, and you can keep the adhesive and this is, the tarp. Yeah, this is the studio example. Yours won't yes. come with gilding no. flakes on it. No. We just, yeah, we've, we've obviously had it all together, and it's if, all got a bit friendly. If you have any, what I would highly recommend, keep it in the packaging it comes in, because yes. it does come in packaging. We can prove that here, look. Oh, we can indeed. Whoops, a daisy. Got the chopsies today. Or if you do want to open a few different sizes or a few of them if you've got like grease proof paper or anything like that yep. just a couple of sheets in between oh, that's just a to good stop idea that's a good idea or the backing of your foam pad sheet so you know once you've used the foam pad you're left with the actual backing sheet but mr chicken Use doesn't that. he that's a good idea as yeah. well sounds wasting your, ba your baking not paper just a then. Hat rack, my friend. oh not just a hat rack <laughs> so you get all of the so just to reiterate the box the gilding flakes with the glue in the and the scraper that's my scraper. And the glue and the, uh, yeah, that's brilliant. Oh, now this is wow. brilliant. Oh, look at us. Everything's brilliant. It is. Everything's brilliant. Wow. It is the best of 2022, because we're not seeing anything until 2023. No. <laughs> I am back in January, though. I've yeah. got my dates for January. Have you? I have. Oh, can we have a look? It's my birthday in January. Is it? Yeah. What date? Eighth. Oh, my mum's the fifth. Oh, oh, oh. my friend's the fifth. Oh. oh. Mine's the same as, um, Shirley Bassey, David Barry, and Elvis Presley. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Yes. Anyway, so. Your mum's first. Oh. What's your mum called? Denise. Denise. Hello, Denise. She probably won't be watching. Oh, charming. She will. She'll, she'll probably will. So, what do we get here? And why do we. Ooh, is this your craft knife? Yes, it is. You get two. You do. Ooh. But. I like the size of that cutting mat. It's a nice cutting mat. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Now, our packaging is wrong. Oh, why? Because, and this comes from Leanne herself. So, if I show you this, mm. it says it's a six pack. Yeah. It's actually a seven pack because what we've not done is included on, and see. counted the blade. That's a pack of six. That's inside. Oh. So, there you go. So, you get a Brucey extra. So, you get a Brucey extra. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, you're getting the knife with the blade and then six extra blades in the, in the packaging. So, mm -hmm. that's seven blades then. Oh. 
Nice. So, so well, it's, it's seven items in total. So it's yeah. your actual craft knife. It's one of the blades already there, and then your pack of refill blades. So there's five in there. So that's five. Ah, six, and then sorry, seven. Dan. Dan yeah. was saying five, and I was ignoring him. He just overriding yeah. him, and so he, five he in was there. very polite. So yeah. Isn't that far? <laughs> but yeah, so the reason you've got two, because they are completely different. So this one here is a self-healing cutting mat. What does that mean? So you may be familiar with glass cutting mats. Yes. Glass cutting mats, they glide. Great. Most people think they are the best ones for themselves. But sometimes for you, that glide is off-putting. Okay. Sometimes you want something that's going to hold and hug your craft knife while you pull. So you put your cardstock on, and then when you craft, cut with your craft knife, what will happen is the self-healing mat, it grips your craft knife and it holds it while oh, you're so pulling down. Oh, so it gives you more down. stability. So it's creating more stability for you, but then once you're finished, it's self-healing. So you're not going to get any marks or anything. Right, can I ask a question? Push cam. A, that's genius and magic, a bit like the heat moulding stamps we had earlier, but if I was, like now, I'm learning and I have not used a craft knife yet, mm -hmm. okay, would you suggest I would pos... I know it's going to be personal preference, but would you tend to go for this before the glass if you're learning? If you are learning yeah. as an absolute beginner, and I will say this day in and day out, a self-healing mat for me and a nice small one, which is like perfect size, here, yeah. is the perfect way to start because... If you progress onto a glass mat, which is great, but because it's a glide, sometimes I don't want to say you lose control because you absolutely it's just don't. Different, isn't it? It's just different. Yeah. It's a different forum. Whereas that, it's like you've got the security that the, the self healing mat is holding that blade. So if you're using it for the first time, you're not quite sure how the blade's going go to go. If you go with one of these, okay. it's holding it. It's then just creating that extra okay. um, grip. I to like it. this size as well. I've it's got a, a cutting size. mat, but it's quite a big one. I think I'm going to treat myself to that today. And that is centimeter and you do have your you inches do. on the back as well that you can see here. So that is your craft knife. So that is your uh, mat and then your craft knife. Okay. You've also got a swivel craft knife. A what? A swivel craft knife. I have knife. not seen a swivel craft have knife, have I? I don't think if so. I, see, oh, I thought I've just thought it was the same. Oh, it's... Oh! So if you I, haven't got one, you can open this one. Dan says you can. I, I've got mine here. Oh, he's a good lad, isn't he? So this is your craft knife. Yeah. And key as well, you do get your protective Yeah, do keep well, that on. Because these are very, very sharp. Mm. So now I'm waiting to do this from the back, so don't worry, it's just to show you. So there, that stays in place. That okay. does not move. Just to say as well, uh, maybe a little cloth or something if you're a bit wary, but hold the side of it. Hold there and then twist and then that will take ah. it out and then all that you're going to do is pop it in and then just hold ah, the purple okay. and, twist, and that. twist and then that's going to grip it perfectly. Oh, okay. Thank you. So that stays in place. So that's kind of when you're going in one direction. So that's your everyday craft knife that we're used to. Yes, it is. This and one. then this oh. one here. No, I am good. Can you hold that What's just a for a second? Because what I'm going to do. It's a little diddler, isn't it? This I don't want to put my hand on and my finger on. That swivels. Whoa. So if you love... I've never seen that. If you love... Actually, I'll tell you what. Oh, I've got a bit of card here. Can yeah. I just show you I them can. both? Yeah. Let's do that because... Can I hold that, darling? If you love fussy cutting... So I love fussy cutting and I love fussy cutting with my scissors. OK. But if you love fussy cutting and you don't want to use your scissors, this swivels. It's like dancing on ice, <laughs> but with a cutting knife. <laughs> don't ever do dancing da on, on ice, ice with, with a craft knife. Craft no, knife. OK. Disclaimer, Thank do you. not do that. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not do that. But so then, this is your standard craft knife? So this is standard craft knife. So all that you're going to do is going to go in and then you're just going to go... Now, of course, you can go round in a okay. direction. Yep. But then if I take oh. my swivel... Oh, I keep thinking that's I was def my definitely not me, Sorry, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry. When it comes to this one, you've got <gasps> more of a swivel <gasps> glide. If you love doing straight, I would highly recommend you go with this one first, although you're getting them both in. But if you are wanting to go straight, you can, but the point of these ones is so... You've got manoeuvrement. You've got that manoeuvrability. Yeah. I just need to press a wee bit harder yeah. that you can right. see here. But if I do that again, just into here. And don't worry about, oh, my God, you're trying to chase the swivel. As soon as you go into the glass mat, the point of the craft knife will come into place... Oh, and then yeah. you can go round. It's so small, you don't think it's going to cut, do no, you? No, you don't. What a great piece of kit. So you've got the two with the replacement. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get this well. today. I'm having that as well. And then you still have 
your full oh, ruler as well. as well. With all the measurements. So when it comes Oh, it's got a stainless steel cutting edge. So oh. you've got a stainless steel edge along the edge here. So if you are wanting to use your craft knife yeah. with your ruler. Now, I wouldn't use the swivel with a ruler because right. it defeats the purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. wanting the swivel. Yep. So all that you're going to do, this side has got your seal rule blade at the side or metal edge, and then just go right against the side. You've you got see your straight. You've got, try that yeah. again, Craig. Do you know what it is? Can you see? Got, sorry, love. My metal edge has come off. Oh, Can you see okay. that's, that's what that yeah. is? But I've had it a while, haven't I've you? I've had it a wee while. <laughs> so all that I'm going to do is go down and got you can you. see Okay, yeah. Do you know? Yeah, yeah. Let's have a new one. Otherwise, well, we're not seeing it used properly. I'm not going to take it, but let's. Well, now you've opened it, we it. can't put that back into stock, can we? Here we go. So, your metal edge, what we have got is more of that fine. Oh, oh fine there you go. That you can see here. There you go. And that proves a purpose as to if you're using your craft knife with a ruler, it's beneficial to have yep. that metal edge. Yep. And you've got that one just to do your drawing, do your lines, your measuring. That is four pieces of great kit. It's good, isn't, isn't it? it? What's Absolute the price essential. point? Oh, I'm going to treat myself to that today then. I've got to stop spending. <laughs> but it's things that you would need, so Sina. But, you're going but to the use thing them. is, once you've got them, you've got five spare, spare, blah, 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 blah. Do you get what? Ah, ah. Yeah, you what? get them too. Oh, so you get five in each? What about this? Oh, no. So the swivelly one, how many do you get? So oh, when you it comes. Well. So you get five in each of them. All yeah. spare blades. So, yeah. So you get all the spare blades in the swivelly one mm -hmm. and that one, and you get that. Fab self-healing cutting matter in inches and centimetres, and you've got your stainless steel edge ruler as well for fourteen pounds ninety-seven. It's great. That's and ace. These are items that you're not going to bother about having duplicates of. So if you've already got a little set, maybe treat yourself. So maybe you've got a set. Maybe you go out to craft clubs. Yeah. So maybe you've got a set in your craft bag, and then this one just stays on yeah, your yeah, craft yeah, desk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you might just have two sets. Some people have ones up and downstairs. You yeah, might you have do. a craft room outside. You mm -hmm. might be in the shed. Mine used you to be. You might have a caravan. When I lived in did Scotland. You, did it? Yeah, I got a, uh, just a, a big shed. Did you? Insulated it, plasterboard, and that was my craft oh, room. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, that's what we got now. Uh, I've got a spare room. Have you? Although, when I moved in, it went well. Oh, here we go. Story. In England, mm. it's classed as a two-bedroom and a little box room. Okay. In Scotland, you would class it as three bedrooms. Three bedroom. Bedroom. <laughs> Oh, so I thought we'd be the same the in England as well. The tiny room originally was my craft room. Okay. And then I had my spare room when family come. Okay. But then I thought, well, I need my craft room more than I have Bigger. my family yeah. coming. So earlier on this year, Swapped if you them. follow me on social, um, you'll have seen that I've done that move across. <laughs> never, ever, ever, ever again am I doing that. I really I will never move house on the basis of having to move craft room. Oh. No. That wasn't a good idea. No, no, um, no. Great now Painful. that I've done it. Great <laughs> but now it's again. done, but never again. Right, say again, Laura. The easel card die bundle. Do you ever forget sometimes that you're actually on TV and you're meant to be doing just something chatting. instead yes. of just chatting? Sorry and it, you can that. always tell by the producer because we're chatting away and having a lovely mm. time, like gossip. I mean, all we need is a nice... Still need our Christmas drink. We do. Um, and, then we, and then we suddenly remember where we are when the producer goes, would you mind... <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got Jimmy there with a the hand action Going, saying, would you? <laughs> You're on telly. Right then, so do you want to hold... Oh, I will. Oh, I like... Oh. Beautiful. To funeral tomorrow. <laughs> horrible, Oh, no. It? Especially this time of year. Exactly. How amazing And these? these would work for that, because you don't want anything overly substantial when it comes to no, decoration. No. You want something subtle. But then you could these use it for clever. other occasions. I love the way this stands up. So these are your easel. They're, they're dies that are going to create these easel cards, aren't they? They are, yeah. Do they create the full effect? They I don't think I've seen these yet. Effect. So you oh, are them. going to yeah, I'll hold cut these them out. Again. Yeah. So there is actually two ways that you can do that. So you can either fold your card. Let's see. There's oh, another I sample see. just shortly. But you're going to cut three of your butterflies oh, or clever. the actual heart or the actual rectangle for the cross yeah and then using your scoreboard 
Oh. We're just going to erect them like so to create. That's clever. But then what you can do, Zena, is then you can have fun <gasps> and then you can then oh, offset wow. them that you can see you just here. Yeah. Just there, uh, get that going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it's we go. Cool there. So you don't lift that one up first. There you go. So you can see with your oh. little stopper as well, you've got your decoration. So once again, you can use that decorative die on its own to cut in. That's but lovely. But then look at these ones here. Aww. So the concept of all of these are easels, but that could simply be on the front of a card if you want. Yeah, yeah. That could be on the front of a card if you want to, like this one here. It's not been made into an easel. It's just been popped on the front of a card. And then there's a love heart being yeah, made. You think of into... communion and things like that as well. It's, it's not it. just with sympathy. Or it? because you've got a couple of oh, outline wow, dies, nice. what about oh. use them to create an aperture? Oh, I like that one. Isn't it really nice? Yeah. It's beautiful. And that creating the actual easel is taking the main outline die, cut it three times, giving it a score. If we've got time, I'll maybe quickly show you that. That's really But that is lovely. how it's all about the easels. And that's the sort of thing. This is just a few things. What and the key clever, thing as well. Clever, clever idea. Best of 2022. So these products, we've had at Crafters Companion for a few weeks or a few yeah. months. So if you go onto our YouTube and just put in Crafters TV. There'll be loads of demos. Type in easel dies or the board dies. And you're going to find all of us on the team with master classes, step by step, tuitions, all these different shows that you can then that's find. That's another thing on your own, are you? Never. This is the great thing. With Hobby Maker, with Crafters Companion, you just search it. Just search it on our website, search mm -hmm. it on Crafters, search it on YouTube. You will have umpteen different demonstrations from, from, from any of the team from Crafters Companion. They're all awesome. So, is that your price tag? That's not the... Nope, price is coming down. IF2032, it's coming down. 27... 99 so that makes them it's not it's not it's not i've got it oh you little are you sure you've done that? laura laura oh. put your microphone on That's it's all right weird. laura it's all right we like to is that have you got that right darling craig's a bit scared is that yeah that's 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 that, that's good mm. £9.33 for a creator card effect like that. And then concept and a easel. A concept easel and it's... Mm. Mm -hmm. We'll enjoy those while you can, IF2032. And it's not oh. Christmas, is it? Well, it nearly so, is. Well, well... It's not far, yeah, is it? Yeah. But then these aren't Christmas themed. No. So you can no. then, of course, use Obviously them. what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, I know, I know we're Christmas only... Is, I'm like, it nearly is. What, we're like 24 days away from... Oh, it's not. So it it's, is. Not, it's not that it's long, is it? It's not that long. How long? How many days is it? Oh. One week and six days. Oh Can man, I need to get rapid. Oh, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Are oh, you? Yes, we've all had a busy couple of weeks back at HQ, so I'm day off tomorrow. And then you're going to talk. I'm going to sit. I'm going to watch Christmas films. I'm going to oh, wrap. No. And yeah, what I'll probably Christmas film what Christmas film. Uh, I'll probably go back to the same ones all the time. I love Home Alone Two, Lost in New York. Uh, it's my favourite yeah. ever. Mm -hmm. I love Home Alone, but I love the Santa Claus with Tim Allen, oh, Miracle on Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. I always say the recent one. Now, keeping in mind the recent one is nineteen ninety four. Yeah, the not the original Dutton two. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, I'm Scrooge the Musical with Albert Finney. Okay. Oh, that is my absolute. Oh, I love yeah. it. That's Polar my, Express. Yeah, and and the slipper and the rose, but that's difficult to get. I'm showing my age here. You won't even know what that. What was that is. called? The slipper and the rose with Richard Chamberlain, Gemma Craven, and it's the story of Cinderella, but it's all set. We watched it at school when I was about oh. seven. It's really old. No, but it's it. Right then, Craig, should we do something that you love? Mm -hmm. The vellum. The vellum. What's the vellum. Right in front of us. Right oh, these ones. Oh, no, sorry. Honestly. Why do you love vellum? What is I, it about vellum? It's beautiful. It's delicate. It's got an effect of background papers, but it's got that slight yeah. translucency to it. Yeah. But you can die cut with it. You can emboss with it if you want to. You can do wraps around if you want Couldn't to. Could we do those dies with the festive... The, the, the bows with the festive... But could we do... Oh, you can. vellum. Can you imagine those bows mm -hmm. in vellum? Oh. Shall we? Yeah. Will we do it? Yeah. Do we have any bows left? Oh. Have we got any bows left? 
Oh, I don't want to rip that. Well, well I'll just do this. This oh, one's okay. open. Yeah, because I don't want to rip that. I don't like to waste. No. I don't like to waste. Well, I would... I would the, the bows, the bows, the bows, the bows, the bows. Um, there are 13 of 50 left. Okay, and there's not much of the vellum left either. So if you want the festive bow dies, which are the best thing ever, mm -hmm. there's only 13 chances remaining and they were 24.99. Okay, so there you go. Sorry about that, darling. No, it's okay, yeah. Oh, yes. oh look it really at It really is worth well seeing, isn't it? But yeah, yeah, this is set with flowers. So in that last show, with, what's his name? Can't remember the guy's name that was on in the last show, but it had a collection set with flowers. That yes. would complement that. It would, wouldn't it? Should mm -hmm. we tell him? Tell him, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, that would we'll complement that. Yeah. But yeah, maybe That's you just lovely. want to go in with a wrap around. Looks lovely. If you, I mean, if you got, let's do this one. I mean, it looks lovely with a torn edge. It does, doesn't it? All the way Look along. at that. that. torn edge there. Little background from a memory book colours. or a scrapbook. But the colours are beautiful. They'll team so well with many different colours and pattern papers that you've got at I do home. like watching it when you've ripped it, but I do struggle when you actually rip it. When you're actually it's doing it. It's too beautiful to rip, isn't it? Do you know what I, I mean? It's almost like, oh. Yes. Oh. I would. I, I know what you mean when it comes to paper. I think with vellum, it enhances yeah, it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Happens. I think it absolutely enhances it when you start to rip. So if you want to see that white edge, like mm. I've just got here, what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to then just rip towards you. So if you okay. rip towards you, you'll get the white edge. Yeah. If you were to rip away, you'll still get a light white edge here, prominent. but not as prominent right, okay. as the other side there. Look at the colours of the vellum. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Look, we've got the flowers the right way up. <laughs> and if you've got an embossing folder as well, run it through. So not only are you getting all of that beautiful design, not only are you going to get all that beautiful colour, but nowadays when it comes to card making, we're very much about the touchy-feely as well. Yeah. So, you know, if you've got someone that's a little bit visual sight impaired yeah, or, yeah, you know, yeah. maybe yeah. Uh, can't see at all, having that texture feel, because you still want to make course, them a handmade course, card. More importantly so, I think. More than so, but yeah, then you're totally putting agree. the texture on. So yeah, yeah. leave it as it is, nice and smooth, yeah. but then run it through with the embossing folder. You're going to get the smoothness of the vellum, but then you're going to get that, that touch like of feeling. a braille texture almost, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, honestly, when you see these bows in action, we're about to get, Craig's about to get the festive bows out. Honestly, it's the best thing. Oh, honestly, my favourite thing that Crafters Companion, I think, have ever done personally. Um, the vellum's very, very, there, there aren't many. We've got the country lane one as well, haven't we? Yeah, so, um, but Craig's going to very, very I kindly. Am. So. 12.99. Brilliant. Now. I, but this show here, yes. I wasn't planning on properly demonstrating anything because some of these deals are just redonkulous. Yes, too good. And I thought, I know what's going to happen. I'll sit at home, all lovely, cosy, warm, drinking my tea, prepping my demos. I'm going to come here and potentially sold out and not have time. So I thought what we'll just do is we'll just cut and see what we okay. need to see. Yeah, brilliant. So what I've got here is I've got one of my actual bows. Now this one doesn't necessarily say Christmas whatsoever. Okay. Uh -huh. Loads of swirls in it. Mm -hmm. So if I use that on its own, what will happen? That will stay in, in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the two dies together. Okay. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my low tack tape uh -huh. to hold it in. Yep. Now I am very, very pernickety. So although against time, I'm still just going to straighten okay, yep. that one up. You, you want it to be here. right. Don't we? Yeah, I'm, I'm very much like that. Good. I want it to That's be right. Looking. Now, when it comes to these as well, as you can see, with all of them apart from the large one, yep. will go through your mini. Okay, great. But I'm just going to use my MIDI for speed. Now, I know the MIDI isn't in stock. I'm purely using this for speed. Okay. But you can still use your junior, your large Gemini okay, if brilliant. you want to. Yep. You can 100% do that. And is it that. just the cutting plate either side you need? So with, when it comes to your MIDI, it's just your folder. Okay, Same yep. with the mini. Yep. When it comes to your... Gemini, your junior, junior, your yeah. large plate, same plate configuration as your cardstock. Okay. Two cotton plates, plastic shim, magnetic shim, and that's, that's it. it. Okay. But it's all the instructions. All it? it's all okay. there for that's... sure. So if I bring in, I wonder if that's the black. Beautiful. So let's go in. I did have white, but I think I've been using it. Um, here we go. You got one. Okay. So you can oh, see no. there. Look at the detail in that. We have got the most beautiful vellum, in the vellum. But then what we can do as well. Yeah. Let's well let's just do it all. Is that beautiful bow? You've got these different rectangles. 
You can use any of them if you want to. Okay. There's not a really a specific one for a specific And that's bow. a bit around the middle, isn't that's it? That's going to create yeah. the wrap. Okay. And then you've got all these different uh, endings. little uh, endings. Yeah, you've got all of these that you could use. Let's just go for this stitched so edge. So it makes it so clever. You can change the bows really easily. You can. You really, really can. Yeah. So I thought what we can do to add that little bit of striking focus, yep. let's cut the tails into the vellum mm -hmm. and then what we can do is that little wrap around let's do it with white oh, a little bit nice of white contrast. lovely it could be glitter yeah it could be yeah. mirror yeah it could be satin if you want to it could <laughs> be one of the other vellums if you want to okay let's set that out the way right that it goes to the midi it, as well yeah. with the manual handle so yeah. handy yeah. So you could be sitting at night time, you know, maybe the, the hubby gets annoyed or your wife gets annoyed with using an electric die cutting machine. Mm -hmm. Could be watching Coronation Street, yep. Stenders, the football, the racing. Yep. And you can sit and just cut loads of these. Exactly. brilliant. And you can see from the size as well, Zena, how many of you at home have got a bit box. Yeah. Just bits of card and paper. Exactly. These great are way fit. to use it up. Great way to yep. use it. Now, I could if I wanted to... I could have taken that outer die mm -hmm. and cut the outer die on its let's very I'm not going to use this but I'll run it through to Just show to you. Show us. Okay. Because Thank you. that can then enhance the color of Aww. the vellum or the paper you're using Got you. because the white's going to shine through. Okay. But again, this could be glitter, You've done it could that before, be haven't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's it's a standing uh, joke back at uh, head office, the videos and that, that we do, because I do... So you're on fast forward. kind of challenge myself to see how quick I can go. <laughs> but if you back that with either your sprays, your oh, dotty lovely. tape runner, yeah. it could be your tacky glue, yeah. that is how it's going to look. But what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use that. Mm -hmm. Now, this bit, certainly with vellum, be really quite careful. You're going to take a pokey tool yep. or what you can do is if you've got a bone folder from past collections that we've done, okay. run that through or on the edge of your desk, yep. creating that right. curve. Yep. Now, with the vellum, it's really quite malleable and flexible as it is, mm. but if you're using your card stocks, then this is where you really want to do this. Because if you just twist it on itself straight away, there's a potential that's going to crack. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to give that a helping hand. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use my, I tell you what, Zena, I would always use my tacky glue. Okay, yep. But let's use our... Well, we had that in that, kit, in that bundle earlier, we did. didn't we, the tacky yeah. glue, yeah. Now, you could make a load of bows and then secure them in the box. Nice. So they're going to be nice and secure. So then we can go in and then I'm going to pop that one in on itself here. And then I'm going to come in and then let's go on and I'm going to press that in yep. on itself. Now, keeping in mind, this bow set yep. is a festive bow set. Yes, it is. Does that look festive to you? Nope. Not at no, all. That's what I mean. And then to really, really enhance... You got your little white Where's section? my little white section gone? What did you do with that, mister? Well, where's it gone? It's not still well, in there, is it? No, it's gone. And you know the funny thing is as well, anyone that... Um, follows us on our shows and watches my lives, will know this is not how I craft. I am quite... You're very fastidious, I would say. And yes. um, like to be But we did neat and I did tidy. throw this at you. You weren't prepped for this. No, not yet, but no, not at all. You know, but so then it's it, my fault. No, one, it's no one's fault whatsoever. It's good to show that there is, right from scratch, I've created a bow. And then all that I'm going to do, once again, I would use my tacky glue... Okay. So I'm going to pop my little strip in there. Oh no. Press it in. So cute. And then I'm going to go on the back here. We're going to fold that around on itself there. Right. Pop another bit on here. Can I just ask why you'd go for tacky glue? For what reason? So That's all I'm learning. So for me, now as Leanne would always say, when it comes to our tape runners, these are wet glue properties 
in a dry forum. Right. But when it comes to actual wet glue, it's to do with it dries into the fibres. Right. So what will happen is tacky glue will dry into the fibres of the white card yeah. and it will seep into the vellum. So that means right. that it's completely held together. It's not just sitting layer on top of layer, like a dry adhesives. And I love my tape runners. Yeah. I use my dry tape, double-sided tapes a lot. But for something like this construction, I'll use a wet glue where it actually dries into the layers, makes it really, really strong, and it's not going to pop off. Right, okay. But then look, look at, that. at that. So a little look at that. vellum bow that you can see here. So oh, if I turn that, you can see how it's looking. And that centre piece could have been another piece of vellum. But look how well that that white works. But you think about that on napkins and on candles. That's and it. Play settings. Mm -hmm. and it's just. And then you've still got like this tail here mm. works for this die. So instead of using the long one I'm using just here, could have cut that one and that could go at the bottom. Yeah. But then look how well it looks with these tails and these exactly. tails together. And then you could, but but then again, look at. Oh, excuse me, Lena. You take them. Sorry. But look at that on a remote control candle. Mm -hmm. Look how lovely that one looks with the contrasting colour behind. And then the different tails coming out. And then the poinsettia in the centre and the holly. That's incredible. It. This is about to sell out, this one. Okay. Um, oh, no, we have the acetate, mm -hmm. the red liner bundle. Um, those are nearly sold out, the bows, and there were only 50, and I don't think we'll be able to get them again. I, I, don't, I don't think so. It was, because a, it, was a re, we, it was a remake out of, out of people like me, absolutely desperate. Your demand. Yeah, your <laughs> demand. Your customer demand that, and they're about yeah. to sell out. So if you do want them, now is your chance. Okay. It really is. A lovely, lovely. Right then, my darling, so we've got the acetate and the red liner bundle now, we haven't do. we? We do indeed. Absolutely. That's a nice have. size of acetate. It's a nice size because... I've not seen that before either. You've not seen this no, one? No, not that size. You will... I can't speak for yourself. Me, crafting for so many years, I don't think I've ever used a full A4 sheet. Oh, you always okay. cut it down. To be honest, I don't think I've ever used a full A5 sheet. You okay. cut it down. But still, cutting it... If you don't cut it down or you've got A4, it's about the storage. It's construction, so it's quite point. heavy. Yeah. So therefore, if we compact it down into smaller sizes. But can you see there how it's still, it doesn't actually look properly clear. There's no. still a little haze yeah. to it. Yeah. And that's because there is a protective backing on these ones. Ah. So let's take, oh, I well, didn't I think, know that, did you? I don't know why I'm looking, because they're all exactly the same. So what I would do is in one of the corners with your fingernail or with a pokey tool, just start to scrape the corner until the backing starts to come off. And then you can see there. Oh, I bet you there's, I bet you there's a lot of people out there going, oh, I did not know that. So I forgot. Sorry, John. No, I'm just trying to see side look, by side. Look, look, look. So that's the look, hazy look. one. You can see, look, and then dee -dee. And it's more clear. And that is to protect it, to stop any scratching ah. when it comes yeah, to Yeah, it's transit. like SD and then HD, yeah. isn't it? It is. It really, really is. So oh, that goes for well, I'm glad all you of your that. sheets there. Protective backing. Oh, I didn't know that then. So you're getting 75 sheets of those and wow. you're getting a red liner tape in the 6 by 10, 6 mil, uh, which by 10 three. metres. Because I think three. I think we get oh, this one Oh, did we well. open that one? Oh, we borrowed it earlier, didn't we? Mm-hmm. So we get the three mil, the six mil, and, and the 12. 12 mil. Ooh. Yeah. So this is great for, maybe you don't like wet glues. Maybe you're not a big fan of wet glues, but you want ultra strong dry glue. Yeah. Well, this is your tape here. So it's ultra, ultra strong. Yep. It's going to work really well with acetate, hence why we've popped them together. When you're making your boxes and things. Boxes, models, anything like that. But then you can then sprinkle your embossing powders on the top. Did not know that. Take your new Crafters Companion heat tool oh. and melt the embossing powder so you can create your borders and your corners. Could you do that around the centre of the bow like you've just done? Of course you could. But where you put the white bit? Absolutely. Oh. Of course you could. Absolutely. Or if you're not using embossing powders, your gilding flakes yeah. or your glitters. You said that in the bundle as well earlier. like that, yeah. What? We're cooking on gas today, aren't we? Mm -hmm. On Christmas gas. Christmas gas. So three different sizes as well. Ten metres of each, that's yeah. 30 metres. 
a red liner tape red in liner three tape. different sizes. Mm -hmm. Very essential. Really is. So yep. you can make your box, construct your box with it, and before you assemble the lid, any sort of assembly of pattern papers, anything like that with box lids, we'd always say do it before you assemble it. So do your lid, get it ready to go, and then go around the edges yeah. with your red liner yeah. tape and your flakes and your bossing powders Put if you want to. Put your bow on. And then create the lid. Put the bow on. Cut your bow in the acetate. Is there any bows left? Honestly, do not miss those bows. I have been heartbroken. There's 10 left of the bows. 10 left. 10 left of the festive bows. Just saying, mm -hmm. the best guys. Go. TE2021 is your, um, is your code. Just remember, you only pay your poster packaging once a day. So you may as well treat yourself. Now, in case anybody wasn't talking, wasn't, wasn't talking, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't watching early, you might have just got home from work. Maybe. Maybe. Now then. Oh, you've got to talk oh. through this again. It's the best thing ever. It is. Heat tool. Mm hmm And you can see on your screen there, we've got our own uh, Crafters yeah. Companion heat tool. It is an embossing tool as well by embossing powders, I mean, when it comes to your heat. You've got that two speed function there. You've got the one, you've got the two. It's lovely, it's sleek, it's a gorgeous white with the branded it's logo nice as well. It's nice as well to use, isn't Nice it? and light. And, and with stand. And the stand as well. Two settings. Two settings. And if you did see the four o'clock show, you'll have seen and heard it's not necessarily no, it's not too that noisy. loud. Nope, you didn't have to raise your voice at all. No, okay. not at all. But again, if you missed the four o'clock show and you want to see this in action, you are going to want to you see are. the mould stamping uh, foams in action. I promise you that now. It's the, like, they're so mm -hmm. clever. And you get four with the bundle, You don't get you? four with the bundle. Yeah, now, sold out. This is something that has been around for many, many years. But in all the years I've been crafting, which is quite a few, I'd never seen this you hadn't before. Had you? I hadn't seen it before. Uh, we had on videos that we'd done at, at HQ, there were some customers messaging in saying, gosh, I remember this from like 20 years ago when really? I had a product. And they've still got it. Oh, I but didn't know that. We've updated it. We've put that purple right. stance onto it, as you can see. And the good thing with these is, once again, if you've seen the four o'clock show, great. If not, we still go got back the, the and swatch watch. thing. Have you got it? In, oh, uh, do you want it? Yeah, you've got it there. This is about Sorry. heating up the surface. Any of the surface you can heat up, heat it up for a few moments and press it in. So it could be so good. Hessian that we can see here. So this is all completely flat. Yep. You can then pop it into Hessian. Metal charms. Metal chains. charms. Leaves. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> metal, uh, metal leaves. You've got paper clips, scrunched up foil. We've done that in that. the show, didn't we? Yeah. Lace. Fine lace. Completely flat, but look at that. Resin flowers, screws oh. and nails, wooden embellishments. This is simply popping and it on stencils. vellum. With stencils, we yeah. look lovely stamping onto the vellum when it comes to the actual pads. Little popping them flat onto your glass mat or your little mat that we had yeah, earlier Yeah, yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Self-healing mat. Yep. And then press the look. heated foam. But then if you don't like a design, you can you can keep it. You can keep it. Or you can just reheat it and it, and it, and it, it goes, yeah. disappears. It disappears. So, so if you don't like a design, as Zena was just saying, not only are, would you be left with it, yep. and you've wasted it. That was in it. your bossing folder, wasn't it? It was. Yep. And then we say to you, you have to go and buy more. Yep. You don't, you just reheat it. And, do it and it goes back to being flat. Create your you own moulds. So look at that, like pasta, yeah. hard pasta, twigs, shells. I done that. The scoring yeah. board, genius, being it's able to just do that. Ice. And that is all. But if like somebody's into knitting needles or crochet, yeah. you just press in the crochet needle, the knitting needle, the the wool, the. You know, if you've got some his favourite jumper and they're into mm -hmm. cricket, you press into a cricket jumper. We've done a star decoration. We did the star decoration, didn't, didn't we? I was going to do that literally you know, at the end. A pine cone, an acorn. It could be so many mm -hmm. things. We're saying, you know, a particular key for a particular person. And yeah. it's just brilliant. But we did say, it's like when you invest in a die-cutting machine. You There are so many reasons you'd use a 
I am. Texture yeah. of that. If you've got something, you're going to look about, you're going to do one thing. Yep. You're going to look about and see, right, what have I got that's texture that yeah. I can stamp into? Can we just do the safety aspect one? Because we had that lady message in, we didn't did. we, about the can you do paw prints of animals and babies? And we said absolutely, absolutely not, no. didn't we? No, and it was a really good question. We were asked question. it as well yep. because it is something you'd think of. Yeah. For us as adults, teenagers, it gets lukewarm. Yeah. It's not hot, warm whatsoever. Lukewarm, as I say. Not lukewarm, but warm. It's not too hot for it's us to too touch. Hot. But it's, it's lukewarm for us. However, for babies or animals, for oh, them, so sensitive. it's going to be too, too hot. hot for them. Plus, you'll have seen, you need to put a bit of pressure down if you're using your hands. Uh, you don't want to then press a baby's no. foot or hand or, or a animals. Dog or a cat. Or so a... anything like that. I no. love the idea. We did, uh, forgive me who it was that messaged in, but got a print potentially of, of a, a clay uh, mould. Clay mould. Yeah. Is it then Sylvia? press that in. As long as it's a hard surface, mm -hmm. absolutely. But babies taught humans and pets. Elaine, it was. Elaine, no. sorry, Elaine. Elaine. That was Elaine. Yeah. So it was a no. no. <laughs> Basically, no. No, but it's good that's question, why though. you Brilliant wouldn't question. do it. Brilliant question, yeah. Really good question. So the, the, um, the mould stamping foams that we had on their own for 6 99 they've sold out because we thought it'd be a great idea to mm -hmm. get some extras. But the heat gun with the uh, mould stamping foam, which is just the best idea ever, OV2068, you get the brilliant two-speed setting. And again, that's whether you want to use it with shrink plastic, moulding foam, uh, dry your paints and your inks a little bit quicker as well. We use it in jewellery making. Mm -hmm. Such a useful tool. It really is. Uh, but it was great that it wasn't too noisy. Mm -hmm. That's the key I thing. I really like that about it. And a good it. thing, you pointed it as well, because really, for me, just yep. been focusing on the foam, really, but it's still a yep. heat tool. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's still a heat Absolutely tool. brilliant. So really key, that is, as well. So... Oh, so how many more live advent calendars are you doing? So make along with Craig. Tonight is a video because I'm here. here. So videos will be the 23rd and the 24th because okay. I'll be travelling. But Fair between enough. then, uh, nine nine fifteen here in the UK. Okay. Uh, on is that on night. the evening? So that's in the evening. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Craig Laird, Crafters Companion. What I do, if you don't know very briefly, is we open each door of our advent calendar for an hour and we make something. So I will be live tomorrow night if you want to pop a call. And, it, on, and All can we just us. say on behalf of everybody, honestly, you put an awful amount of time into that with the pre-record videos mm -hmm. and the lives. And it's a big ask of you. And I think you've absolutely done Sarah proud. I really do. And while you're there, we're all on social media. So it's our name with CC at the end. So Debbie Robinson, CC, give us all a follow. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So thank you. Well, happy Christmas. Happy lovely. Christmas to you Happy too. Christmas, my lovely. Uh, do join me tomorrow morning. We've got stencil up and... Uh, Something. Yes. <laughs>